Are you ready? Through the internet. I would assume you're just wearing either a Vaporwave album or a literal Arizona green tea can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but in person, I can see all the little things on your shirt. Yeah. I got I, it from my honeymoon. I'm not sure. I mean, one moment. Let me see if, <laughs> how much like. they can see it. Oh, Troy Baker's not amused by your shirt, man. Sorry, sorry <laughs> Troy. Can't press everyone. You, you, I mean, based on his face, you can't impress Troy ever. <laughs> yeah, that live reaction He dropped. won't let you. <laughs> He's too on top of the uh -huh. Bless you, Bob. Excuse me. <laughs> so, um, is that an Epcot? It is. Okay. It's oh. a many, yeah, it's a, it's a big old Disney shirt. Man, that's extra Florida. Good yeah, job. I know. It's the that most is, Florida yeah. thing. <laughs> Damn, you kind of you kind of knocked us out in one go. I understood the assignment and got an A+. <laughs> please. You got a B at best. Please ignore Soul Rock. <laughs> <laughs> he disapproves. <laughs> Fifth disapproves of lots of things, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're here with the the summer of gaming. Hope everybody's ready to see the IGN Expo. Such as it is. I really hope. I really hope Gungrave Gore's there. Yeah. Based on what was said in chat a moment ago. That would be cool. I hope there aren't seven space horror games get so wild. That was fine for Summer Game Fest. I don't want multiple events that are that. <laughs> oh, Mukbun says they're just here for Geek Week. Isn't it geeked? Yes. We've been geeked. You're a fake geek. <laughs> Unlike Bob, who is in fact a real human being. <laughs> oh. oh, good. Geek. Yes, geek. <laughs> It's still there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, common advent, maybe. That fits way too well. I don't have the calipers to measure my BMI. <laughs> this is what you all came here for, right? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Literally infectious music. <laughs> yes. And cat gifts. You know, I didn't, I didn't think about this hat plus putting headphones on over it. Yeah, it's so not that's great. okay. Our co-hosts have ghosted us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they were just like, yeah, it's IGN Expo. That's not real. That's too early in the morning to be you real. You made that up, Dan. Hazy was up a little late. Mm -hmm. Feels well, almost certainly working. Yeah. Well. I think Feel said he was going to try to make it at some point. I don't know. Yeah. But Casey stayed up a little too late. You see, Jordan was playing this really cool Pac-Man game. <laughs> Me and Casey just had to watch. <laughs> sure was a video game. <laughs> God. <laughs> so, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Dan, there's no way there's a power-up in that Wii U Pac-Man game, which was Pac-Man and the Something Ghosts. Because it's based on the reboot yep. cartoon thing. Uh -huh. There's no way there's a power-up in that that just makes Pac-Man big and round. He's already round. How would you tell? They found a way, and that upsets me greatly. <laughs> yeah, bloated Pac-Man's really rough. Don't, it was don't not... say bloated Pac-Man. He was that, though! Oh, my God. That was the problem! Can can chat see the speed of the IGN yeah. Expo? Yeah. Okay, I'm just checking because they're doing a top 10 list of Metroidvanias and Shadow Complex is on it. It looks like... What is wrong with you? I love it. What it if you at... never fucking left 20... Um... <laughs> 10? Yeah, I was like, that game was kind of impressive when it launched, but not good. And now it's just like, we've had years of indies getting into Metroidvanias. Yeah, that's the thing, like, Shadow Complex what shipped in an era where online digital distribution was its own fucking Christmas miracle, so... I felt like it had the ultimate buff back then. I actually have no thoughts on the game. I did not play it through, did you? I did, yeah. It was pretty good. It was. It was Would you put it in your top ten Metroidvanias? <sighs> if I literally couldn't think of anything else, but it would be like 
11 or 12. It's it's pretty good. I go back to it sometimes if I'm like, I want something I don't have to think about. Okay. Wait, that's... <laughs> You're like, I really like the game. It's good at not evoking any neuron activity. <laughs> sometimes you want that. <laughs> sometimes you want a waking coma. game. <laughs> Blastos, however, I did not slash could not beat or really get that far. Because A, it's very, very, very hard, and B, I kind of wanted to low-key vomit <laughs> as I was playing it constantly. The Last of Us? No, yeah. it is. Blasphemous. Oh, Blasphemous. I was trying to figure out, like, what the fuck is it? it there's a lot I'm... of, like, mm. Yeah. Yeah, there is. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. I played a few hours of it, and somehow I just, I just lost interest. I don't know. Oh, thank God Aggro's not here. We can bring the fucking camera back down. Oh, that's there true. we go. Fixed. Yeah, okay. He's no longer a gigantic man. <laughs> not until Sunday. I mean, I can. And <laughs> as we keep saying, because people don't know because they haven't seen him in person, it's all torso. <laughs> yeah, he's like a, only a tiny bit taller than Mira Dan. But right. His, his torso is twice as big. Right. So. It's intense. <laughs> it's intense. Uh, no, I have not played the phone Diablo game, nor did I have any real intention to. And I thought see, Diablo 3 was fine. See, that's unfortunate. I was telling them, you know, yesterday that I was hoping, you know, because there was a time where you were the idle game guy. It's I true. could ask about things. Wait, and is since, it? Does it have idle game elements? No. Am I, okay, well, then no. I don't care. It, it, it's <laughs> a phone closest, game, though. So the closest <laughs> thing it gets to that, okay, uh -huh. is there's, there's a function for you to just auto run to the next objective. And that kind of feels a little bit like sounds, an idle game. Sounds pretty idle. What does Cave Story count as a Metroid? Yes, I mean, yeah. It has like distinct levels that don't really interconnect no. that much. No, they all flow. I mean, the entire game's no, connected. It's right. It feels more also like a, like a, a oh, contra wow. light. They feel. They feel. <laughs> Hello. It's not bad, it's just I don't know if Metroidvania is the correct classification. I think that's the it, iconic Metroidvania, though. It, it does always get put, put in the same category, because a lot of people like don't even separate Metroids I, from, from Castlevania I, Metroids. I definitely right. think there's like a, a sub-genre of Metroidvania where the levels mostly aren't interconnected, they're just attached to a hub. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, that like that's how Guacamelee is. Mm-hmm. And that's definitely how Cave Story is, where it's 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 more you go through the door and are in a, a linear level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is true. They do just sort of like, okay, you're in the dragon hatchery. Yeah, this is where you are now. In that way, it's more like uh, Mario sixty four with a expansive hub. Are world you saying Mario sixty four is in a Metroidvania? Levels. It might be. We gotta go back. You and get the vanishing cap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have to go. You you unlock caps that you, you can use in levels to get more stars to get through the, the castle more. Common Advent makes a good point. Order of Ecclesia is also like that. Oh. Yeah, it is there's, distinctly a Metroidvania. And hmm. you do do a lot of exploration within each of those sure. individuals. Though. Yeah. So I think it still has the spirit of it. The interesting thing is that unlike Mario 64 uh, and Order of Ecclesia, I feel like Cave Story, weirdly enough, ends up with the least exploration of those sublit areas. Yeah, it does feel very Yes, weird. it does. If only we had better words for fucking genres and they weren't all made by psychopaths. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be neat. I remember when people were like, well, we're going to call this type of action game stylish action. And I'm like, are you doing this so you can call a third person shooter an action game? And then they just looked at me like they stole a biscuit and shoved it in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then Jeff Gershman game. comes up with character action. Yes. Which we have to live with now. Thank I you, Jeff. know. Was that his invention? I never knew where that's it originated. The first, that's the first place I ever heard it. Okay. No, that's and, and sad. Once, and once he started using it, everybody did because so many other gaming content people on YouTube and stuff were also watching Giant Bomb. Right, mm -hmm. that makes sense, and that's how you disseminate it through people actually connected <laughs> to the culture, not normal game journalists. So, so many actual people listen to Giant Bomb, and the new ownership was like, "We don't need to keep Jeff Gersman around. We don't need <laughs> oh, to yeah, keep him happy." Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's already making uh, over 6,300 patrons on his, on his fucking Patreon just for him. What? So it's like, yeah, he probably is making 30K a month. I was... Dude literally went from internet royalty to damn near real royalty. Mm -hmm. I, 
when he sp- spent up and did this, I was like, he's he's gonna become the Joe Rogan of gaming podcasts. Yes. Don't don't curse us like that. <laughs> no, How no dare I you? want that. <laughs> I want that. Yeah, I, I think he'll be able to get literally anyone on his show and talk to them. Like, right. That's the main okay, thing. Okay, that's fine. Like not not saying In he's gonna sense. become some weirdo. <laughs> but, but but you actually played Bray too. Yeah, I played it. Okay, that's great. <sighs> Did you I, do I it high? If Jeff Gershman was like, uh, pull up the videos of the monkeys eating each other. What? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> uh, as I explained to people earlier, uh, Casey was up late. Uh, watching Jordan play a bad Pac-Man game on the Wii U. <laughs> a good decision. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Who would question that decision? <laughs> Not I'm I. I'm really, I'm really, like, Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. Uh-huh. Why did Namco and Sega decide to do that at the same time? I don't know, it was weird. Yeah, we were I think a really weird and impasse. The Go- Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures was even before Sonic Boom, so it's not like yeah. Sonic Boom could have inspired it. No. No. And then somebody, I asked this to people on Twitter, and someone was like, uh, Keiji and Afune, and that's probably the answer, and it makes me mad. <laughs> <laughs> there is a non-zero chance. Because <laughs> yeah. that was, the, both of those would have been after the Mighty Number no. 9 Kickstarter, I think. I mean, it. I feel like it always makes sense for someone to try to make a new Sonic TV show. The, mm-hmm. the weird thing is the the Pac-Man TV show. Yeah, well, well, it wasn't. Well, the Sonic <laughs> thing was them trying was them trying to reboot it. <laughs> I think <laughs> that's Casey erupting yeah. from his <laughs> deep <laughs> Pac-Man <laughs> induced slumber. <laughs> <laughs> that's him sweating it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I was. I, I did. I actually didn't try to show up here. I was like. I'm just going to wake up when I wake up. And it's like, no, you, you have a normal schedule now, so you just wake up regardless. And I'm like, oh. Mm-hmm. No. We still have 13 minutes till this starts. Uh, based on things that happened on Steam today, it is entirely possible that Gungrave Gore shows up here, and that's exciting. Yeah, because then it would be that and Wanted Dead, and I just win. This would be, probably get an A. The Bob <laughs> Expo! <laughs> If, if those happen and you can actually give it an A, I'll be so happy, but I'll also kind of hate it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as long as we avoid another conference full of uh, space horror games, I'm good. Okay. Because while I enjoyed those, and I enjoyed Summer Game Fest, I really, genuinely don't want multiple conferences during the summer of gaming to be that. Ah! Yeah, I mean, that's really, going to happen again <laughs> on Sunday anyway. <laughs> Sorry, what does re- that feel? <laughs> I hope we see the sequel to Hollow Knight at some point. Oh, my God. One of these. <laughs> it yes. does seem weird that we haven't yet. Like, this feels like where it would show up. Honestly, yesterday feels like where it should have shown up. But mm. maybe Microsoft has some exclusive deal. Uh, I don't know. Is that a thing? Oh, I didn't know. Is, no one's screaming it every time there's an event or anything. <laughs> if that Nintendo Direct is Wednesday, I feel like that's where it'll be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because they Maybe. often team up. Bob's like, oh, but I could also see these... it just not showing up anywhere because that definitely seems like, like the kind of game where it's going to come out and people are going to go, why is this 40 hours long? <laughs> yeah, I hear the original Hollow Knight's made... way longer than you would expect. Oh, it, it, mm-hmm. it's big. It's probably the biggest Metroidvania ever made. Like, that game is gigantic. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it another it, it's, try it's when so that new big, one It's so comes big that they're like, uh, uh, we added more stuff in DLC. Do you want 15 bosses that are too difficult even for you, person who beat Sekiro? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Don't be gross. <laughs> no, I take, it took great satisfaction of me being shown the incredible nut-punching boss rush and going, no. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm an adult and I have better things to do with my life. <laughs> I beat Nightmare King Grim and I was like that was that was cool although uh, exorbitantly difficult and they're like that was like 
seventy percent up the food chain. Yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, no, okay, I, I I won't be seeing that other time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. So for anyone who's curious, because you're probably not going to see it live. The back of this hat has erupted open because my skull is too big, and it does just look like the Jotaro thing. Oh no. It's giving your hair crew too much credit, Dan. Uh, the back loop is just to, open. To you don't be have fair, ha hat hair, literally. Uh, yeah, I didn't like. My hair didn't consume the back mm -hmm. of. There's no well, the plastic thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's our Sonic gameplay footage. We're going to walk around slowly. What you love about right. Sonic? Well, I'm slowly. really, I'm really, I'm really starting to get mad about this. Uh huh. When journalists are having to be like, "No, guys, I don't know why, but they're showing you things that don't like look like a real game on purpose when they actually have a version that's like a real video game." And I'm that, like, "Yeah, what, what is wrong? What, why are journalists having to plead with me that there's an actual game here? What is wrong with you?" <laughs> when the journalists come out to bat for Sonic, something is in the water. <laughs> Yeah, it's insane. I have no idea what Sega is thinking with this marketing cycle from Sonic. Yeah, for anyone who didn't catch up and or if that person is next to me, uh -huh. none of this footage is recorded by IGN. It's sent by Sega. They go, this is what you can show. And the guy at IGN has played way newer shit than this and is just like, please, please, everyone, yeah, you're going to have to trust and my words. Uh, <laughs> and there's like rumors that like know this, this whole this uh, fucking unreal for Unreal Engine asset store dimension <laughs> is like is like the opening area and it's supposed to look fucked up because Sonic's trapped in rope in Eggman's VR trap. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Wh why is it anime filler? What's going on? <laughs> Well, they yeah, did that's literally well, Yu-Gi-Oh! That is just, that is like well, one of the top what, anime what, filler what people, premises. What people have said is Ian Flynn is writing this. Uh, and he, he writes the Sonic comic. Mm -hmm. And there's stuff with like, we know the setup of this game involves these characters and they also involve Sonic flying into the VR portal in the comic. Oh, okay. Mm. And and people who have played the actual game are like, yeah, there's like weird glitches in the sky sometimes that mm. look intentional. They look like you, you see like binary through a fucking crack or whatever. I mean, if they could like Zelda Twilight Princess tried doing that, but it was extremely tepid. If they mm. could actually make it look menacing. That'd be <laughs> <laughs> so there's a good chance that like this, th this Unreal 4 dimension is just like the opening of the game like the 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 uh, plateau in oh. Zelda yeah. Breath of the Wild and then the rest of the game maybe looks more like a Sonic game <laughs> yeah Did, um, or a Mario you've game you've got green hills that are in <laughs> yeah, a zone yeah. it's fine Dan are you able to do a bead so I can sync properly sure yeah yeah Boop. Although I will say this footage is wildly improved by the Yoshi's Island theme. <laughs> that does help with most things. I hit to stream them a video and it crashed Discord. Oh Good. Let's try Sorry. again. Ooh. There we go. Oh, I love, love this puzzle. Yes. Is it going to be the one where he gets it right? Oh my God. Okay, I guess I haven't. I've seen there clips, but not the whole thing. I'm very confused. <laughs> I love that bird. Well, you, you got a puzzle, you, you turn things, uh -huh. and then it makes this Zelda noise and something opens. <laughs> it's actually just Big the Cat making that sound. Oh, yes. You free a chow, it goes, yahaha. Ha. Finally. <laughs> the tree. Is it okay? Wait, wait, All right, these what? are the I guess yes. the old gimmicks. Yes. Yeah. The old, yes, these are the old games. Yeah. And now he can the lightning zap. What? Oh, that was the enemy. Yeah. <laughs> it came right from him, but now I'm realizing it was too. Him. Sonic's eyes start arcing <laughs> with electricity. <laughs> yeah. So we got five more minutes. Yeah. I'm gonna go get something small. To eat. Okay. Okay. 
untangle yourself. Actually, it's... you know what? Before I disappear, and before mm. we lose track of time... Yeah. I figured I'd show everyone what Eric gave me. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday to Dan. Yeah, Eric gave me a birthday present today. Ooh! Might look familiar. Is that Combo Man? That is, in fact, Combo Man. <laughs> oh my god! Flip it I over. Need... You can have the recipe for the top third or fourth of Combo <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh my god! That was from my old childhood things. I figured he needed it now more than me. Yes, I need it now more than ever. <laughs> to understand Combo Man. You're like, why the hell did they talk about Combo Man? <laughs> <laughs> Eric's like, oh, I have an NFT. <laughs> <laughs> Except mine's better because you can hold it and it's real. Oh, yeah, that Wait. does make it nothing like an NFT. <laughs> yes. So I've been playing Soldiers. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I played the demo for that, but I, I didn't pick up the full game. I, I want to like it a lot. Yeah. But goddamn, <laughs> does it not want me to like it? Like, I saw that tweet about how many glitches you were having where it, like, it deleted your save or something. Yeah, they fixed it. They actually released a patch. I, okay, I went nice. to save before a boss, and then I exited out and tried to load again. It wouldn't let me load anything. It would only let me back out of the save screen, and it had replaced my files with New Game, New Game Plus. They were from 1984. Uh, and I was like, well, I guess I'm not playing this for a while, but they, they knew the problem and they had released a patch, so it restored the save. So I could play some more, but also the game has... They're, they're releasing a patch for it also later <laughs> this month. But basically a lot of people are complaining it's a Metroidvania with hard souls combat, mm -hmm. which is sounds fine on paper until you realize that when you die, nothing, you revert back to your last time you saved, okay. which is fine for Metroid because it's mostly focused around exploration, the enemies aren't that hard. Right. But if your enemies are souls hard and can kill you in three hits, and you've unlocked a, sh a checkpoint or a shortcut that knocked down a ladder, and the next enemy kills you, that ladder is no longer knocked down. What? Mm. What's the point of Wait. a shortcut? That, that's not exactly. how Dark so, Souls works. Exactly. You, you <laughs> just made it wrong. Exactly. Just, does the shortcut <laughs> take you immediately back to a save point thing? No. It's just you now have that shortcut. You can. It's, it's quicker to get back here, but you have to live. I have to constantly yeah. you have retrace to my steps to make sure. Okay, I got the shortcut. I'm going back the way I came to make sure I can save. I, yeah, because usually this, what I game is this? Soldiers with soul instead of S O L. Uh, oh, yeah. It's like yeah. Dark Souls. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I've it's, never even heard of this. It's yeah. interesting. It's like got three different classes you can play as that have different play styles. Like one's like a melee, one's a wizard, archer. Like it's got neat things and it does neat things with that and elemental switching and stuff. But like, stop, stop <laughs> punching my ass I, repeatedly it, it when it I just want to enjoy nice. the game. I, yeah, it I'm does. very disappointed that it apparently has this crippling problem. Now they have been shouted at but hey did no one play test this game this is infuriating and they're going to be releasing some sort of patch to try and address it later this month okay so i'm, oh, I'm good. willing to try it then is yeah is military trying to co-op the hideo kojima game to recruit people yes they are sure. thank you ign mm -hmm. but i mean it every time i want to like it it just slaps me in my face. That's so weird, because I, I played the demo, and I, you know, there wasn't enough for me to get that. Yeah. But, like, um, okay. Uh, also, the last time I semi-rage quit or just quit, realized I have I have dishes I need to wash. Like, uh, <laughs> I it was in this, like, cool electric area, and you, you get an element switching, and I was fighting an enemy. Enemies can be weak to certain elements, but also, in some cases, they can heal from other elements. Mm -hmm. I was in an area where this flying electric enemy surrounded by electric current jumping like challenges and i was trying to beat it i had full health and i was trying to hit it i was hitting it with his weakness getting it like down to half it would recoil in the air knock itself fly into those like electric -y bits when normally if you like if an enemy hits and spikes they'll get damaged so that's neat but the electric bits healed it <laughs> so I was fighting it for like five minutes, trying to not die in the electricity challenge platforming section while it was being knocked into it, healing, and it actually went me from full health to dead. Oh, 
And that was like 10 minutes of progress that was wiped out. That sucks. So I was like, just sit down the controller, <laughs> walk away. <laughs> That's enough for now. We got 20 seconds, 16 seconds. We got this. this. Is this is exciting. I hope this Super isn't as bad as the future game show that one year where Eric no just had to contend with World War II games Samsung for Look, one man. Oh, God. God. I stand by everything I said. Oh, no, you were right. That was the only joy I could ever glean out of that show. IGN Summer of Gaming Expo. A showcase of brand new game reveals, exclusive gameplay, and surprise announcements of the coolest games Oh yeah, they, games of we're the gonna future. see more of that uh, DNF here, yeah. Nice. IGN's Hatfield and NARS. So sit back- Oh no, we're gonna have to deal with IGN personalities, right? <laughs> I made myself not yeah. think about that. No! <laughs> that, that's, that's why you said you might- now. You might like this. I was like, are you sure? <laughs> oh, we're just open on a, a gameplay trailer? The aliens here? Oh, that's that so. oh, the the wait, oh, what? Oh, oh. expansion this, for this some old game, Left I guess. Dead one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're making a bunch of those, huh? Yeah, I think this is like DLC for uh, for that one. Because this has been it, out for a while. It's so funny to think it came out and I didn't even notice. Oh my God. Are those engineers? Yeah, that's true. I only saw Max what playing it. Killed them? Uh, they, uh, do they, do they plan an expansion, an expansion based on Prometheus where fucking nothing happens from almost all of it? <laughs> uh, no, cause now, cause now we have this. <laughs> I, uh, I really appreciate Rocco Bodhi being like, nothing got me more interested in alien lore than Prometheus and nothing immediately killed that interest more than Alien Covenant. <laughs> oh no! It's like, god damn. <clears throat> as long as we're talking about Rocco tweets, I saw him talk, or tweet out that thing about the newest Jurassic World movie got some of the worst ratings like of any high budget movie recently. Yes. <laughs> and he's like, well, oh, yeah. um, nature got this guy to direct that new Star Wars movie. Yeah, he's like, imagine where, how it would have gone way better if we got him for episode nine. <laughs> Because that was the original guy, Trevorrow, up, to make to Star Wars Summer Episode Nine. That was a pretty Expo. good tweet. I, I lost it when there were eight Snarf. reviews so and it was in oh, like 88 percent, and now it's at like 32. Yeah. yeah, they always give the, the softball like, people early access. I think it was like I think it like opened in Spain for like a couple days earlier or something. For the upcoming Aliens Fireteam Elite Pathogen Expansion. If you like that, That's stick mouthful. around because we'll be closing out the show with a developer interview, giving you a closer look at what's in store for those colonial marines. I have a sneaky. Where's my combo man game? I've decided I love combo <laughs> man and I need a game. <laughs> this stage is hilarious because it's like IGN's version of a Jeff Keighley stage. I know, I love thing. it. No, I love it. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do, Dad. You oh, do this it. is this is going to terrifying. Nice. Oh my Yo. god. <laughs> I was like, zero. wait, that's a coffin. <laughs> <laughs> zero to 60. This trailer is really cool, but I hope they give us a date or show more stuff or anything. Right. Was this the same trailer you've seen before? Uh, it's showing new stuff now. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's yeah, got it is bits now. of old trailers. It was actually showing gameplay. Cut for fractions of a second. <laughs> Zip line oh down God. slowly as you murder everyone. It's like what the I feel fuck? like you missed the point of a zip line. I, mm. Can you can you tell that can you tell that the guy who made Trigun is involved with this? No. Dude, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I wow, see this no looks way more things. high rent than I no. than I expected. <laughs> they spent a really long time on it, so i you know, this is about what I expected. This is cool. Gungrave might be one of the best dumb as hell games ever. <laughs> was he chained down in front of that thing? I think that was just him mm. chained to his coffin, but Ooh, I'm not sure. Okay. Ah, nice. Good. Nice, oh. nice, nice. On everything. <gasps> I like things being on everything because that means they're not exclusively on PC or Switch. Yeah. 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 Oh, hey. Do you know? Or DNF. 
I'm sorry, I saw Hazama there for a second. This game is a trap for me. Yeah? It looks really cool, and I'm like, I'm sure I'd like it, and then I'll play it for, like, two days and be like, oh, right, I have to be good at a game. That's... <laughs> if I remember, this one was actually easier than most fighting games. I can't remember why right now. You but... say that. They had a lot of simplified control stuff. So yeah, might be yeah. Pick you, up, yeah, but... see? Yeah, you doubt how aggressively like mediocre button. I can be at games? Eric, I would never doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> this asshole, he's like, I'm terrible at StarCraft. I don't want to play StarCraft. He wrecks me and Bob, and then he's like, I'm still bad at it. And I'm like, can you can you come to terms with you're not the worst in the world at games? No. Was, I refuse to self-reflect, thank you. That was not a good trailer for that. No, not really. It was, uh, was uh, alright, though. Mr. Yeah, I don't think there is a good DNF duel trailer uh, in existence. Ground divers. So I guess this is like a drill dozer successor. I guess. The fact they got cocky happened to do this track for it. Yeah, That's pretty this, good. This is selling it more than anything else. <laughs> yes. Oh wait, there's AP. Is this mobile? Don't put that curse on me. Look, man. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I see the Y button. So it's like a. It's like a dungeon crawler mixed with a dig dug sort of layout oh. that's weird yeah I, I assume like it has ap like you can only go so deep it wants okay, and you have right. to like level up i've been burned so many times <laughs> <laughs> that's a sonic header yeah this looks Sonic's like uh this looks like one of those really old Rogue likes where it's like nothing moves except when you do. Oh yeah, yeah. Like um, Izuna the unemployed ninja. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's in the wanderers. <laughs> er the Eric's dungeon. like, I'll, I'll say like a established one, and then I say the, like the most weeaboo one possible. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, yes. I was sitting here like the, the next field will say Azure Dreams. Nope. Okay. <laughs> wow. I forgot I'll... about Azure Dreams because I didn't. I didn't play that one. <laughs> I see. All right. Zoom, enhance. Wait, wait, wait. Are you seriously going to ignore the real star of the show? You know, me? I'm sorry, the Grim Reaper at your service. I, what? You're. I, I mean. You're getting pulled around on a leash? I guess. Are there any snacks here? No. Oh, it's a dating game. I'm leaving. Wait, so you're dead? Sweet. Oh, it's all rhythm based. Yeah, it was like the fact it's yeah, rhythm based. Yeah, it was like this. This is. Well, this seemed. Well, uh, Crypt of the Necro Dancer did this. Basically, yeah, seems like that, but with. We're laughing at you right now. Freaked sleep. I'm sorry. That jerk and just subscribe already. Yeah, it does Next seem time, just be directly like this guy. That right thing Field just mentioned. Yeah, but with a more horny aesthetic. Nice yeah. Retro. First up, there Which is, no is valid. Sounds dark. <laughs> Let's take a look. I like explosives. <laughs> Then he woke up to justice. Oh, wait. No. No. No way to go. Oh. What is this fucking Doom track? <laughs> right. I know, yeah, I right? Know. It's really good. <laughs> okay. okay. Wait. Oh, this looks cool. Mmm. Sprite works oh, really I've, nice. I've seen this before. Yeah. Yeah. This. I really like the animation style here. Yeah. It's smooth Very... like blasphemous and detailed like blasphemous without being incredibly gross like blasphemous. Yeah. Oh, I saw Iron Pineapple play this. Who? Uh, he's a. Uh, he's a Souls. 
yeah. YouTuber. Uh, Sometimes he'll do videos where like, I played 20 Souls likes on Steam. Yeah. <laughs> Here's me talking about each of them for like three minutes. Okay. Huh. Yeah, the designs and aesthetic on that really nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the only thing I'd be worried about is your main character doesn't look like they pop out that much yeah, from the background. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, otherwise look real nice. Me. Sees a watercraft on water. I'm fine. Yep. Sees bubbles floating through the air. Thinks of bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> Thinks of bubble. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I, couldn't, I couldn't really tell that they were on, on rafts. I thought they just didn't animate and yeah, yeah. floated around. <laughs> I like this not having to see the IGN guys. It's nice. <laughs> Just give it a second. You'll hear smoking. Oh, the Yiz... Yiz beard? Okay. Yiz beard? Yiz beard games. Yiz beard. This is like... I don't know if I've ever fully liked the Sword Brothers art style. Every, like the gangly pixels. You mean Swords oh. and Sorcery? Swords and Sorcery really? by yeah. Sword, yeah. I feel like this isn't quite that though. It's it's giving me that energy because it, the, they still look like full size people. As I mean, yeah, but he does have the he has the legs are like yeah. that and the dot eyes. Mm -hmm. I get it. Like everything's really like expressive and animated, but it, the pixels are still very chunky. Mm hmm. I, I'm realizing now I haven't given a single one of their games a chance. Yeah, yeah same because of that art style. <laughs> well, their first game was like huge, but it was on phones. And I didn't yeah. really want to play it on a phone. Yeah, we had a big like social media, like yeah. interactivity thing to it. That seemed like a giant hassle. Unless you were into the that. Yeah, and, and, and it was of its era mm -hmm. for sure. So is this like a, a Doom like? It's a third-person Doom shooter. <clears throat> the armor and pixels that always face you. Mm-hmm. I love billboards. Mm-hmm. Read them all the time. Something about what is clearly a 3D model pre-rendered to a billboard for a 3D shooter mm -hmm. game. Yeah, a little weird. All right. Yeah, I like the style a lot. I'm pretty sure Civi did a video on this <laughs> in one of those. In one of those, I play five things that are in early access. I know what you're saying. You're saying Civi wins Project Warlock. <laughs> Expert. <laughs> How about I come to your house and beat you? <laughs> oh, okay. Can music begin anew? Got to keep moving. Wow, this is another really good looking sprite game. Being a bishop ain't easy. Not nice. <laughs> the, the, oh god, this, this this looks better than that fucking <laughs> AU Din Chronicle shit. <laughs> oh. But AU Din Chronicles rising. There are things that the living cannot. No, that's the bad. That that's the one's already out. I assume that was the one he was talking about. Uh oh. Demons. Yeah. We like. Oh, I mean, do, do, all right. Oh. 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 So it's oh. so it's like it's Star Ocean. I, I, I Star Ocean. Ocean yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I gave it about eight points. Yeah. I don't really dig the was style of main character very much. Star but. Ocean with like a hero shooter bar action <laughs> action point thing. The cooldown. Oh, Sacrifier. Yes. Sacrifier. Yeah. We we we've talked about this. Okay. Oh man, that's first time I actually seen footage though. Yeah, I think that was the first time we saw gameplay. Whistling Wizard is a good dev team name. <laughs> that was like a good dev team. Oh, okay, someone knows what it is. Name. Oh. I had to pause for mystery. <laughs> I like that you just slide. What is happening? The dead are rising. I like that there are games that I can remember here, unlike Day of the Devs. <laughs> Yeah. Day of the Devs was rough. All that Nemo game that, that, that had too yeah, long of a trailer's it. hit. That's that's the only one. This looks pretty neat. It yeah. seems alright. It has an air dash, so it can't be that bad. 
<laughs> Frankly, everything should have an air dash and maybe a grappling hook. We'll see. I, uh, I mean, you can't hurt. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm trying to remember if that Ikarga like from Housemark. That was a Metroidvania had an air dash. It did. Oh. I'm pretty sure. Okay. It didn't save it though. Oh. No, of oh. course not. Mm. Ooh, mm. look at this PS1 fucking game. <laughs> look at this. Yeah, I know. Wow. Warhawk like it, it has some really early 3D API <laughs> energy to it. Yes. What's Warhawk like? I'm glad I still haven't actually seen Warhawk. <laughs> oh. Okay. Huh. It's funny because the levels in Warhawk are, some of them are exactly like this. Oh, are they? I always thought that was more of like open area, not. A lot of it is, but, but there is like Jesus. a huge, a huge level or two in a row that are this. The like the Star Fox corridor. Yeah, but it's branching past yeah, just yeah. to fuck with you. So that way you have to figure out which way to go. I'm into this transforming floating ship thing. This Rayman mm -hmm. ship. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. cool. Yeah, this year. Mm -hmm. That actually yeah. is cool. Yeah. When are you guys playing Warhawk and oh, hey, Lair? It's you again. This is what are you talking about? Warhawk's a multiplayer only game stop, on the PS3. The <laughs> right. There is no light and core keeper, <laughs> along with no place for bravery, Project Warlock 2, Sacrifier, Rose and Locket, and Verge World. Phew, that was a lot. Hopefully you're brave enough to be left unsupervised for a couple minutes because we need to take a quick break. If anything goes wrong, the emergency numbers are on the fridge. Be are you Eric? Jane, Summer of Gaming Expo are you old break. enough to leave unsupervised? <laughs> no. I don't, I don't know. I, yeah, I should try. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> the US Army. Now I'm old enough. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, God. Man, IGN. What's your warrior? There is about one company you should never take money from. I know! It's so upsetting. It's so upsetting. Every year I have to be re-disappointed in them. Yeah. It, it's so funny, even as a kid who got really excited about when G4 appeared, I'm like, this is a video game channel. Why do they keep giving me military ads like every 30 minute spot? Whether it's the latest superhero yeah, it's, uh, fiasco, I didn't notice how weird it was just because we, right we've grown up in a military town our whole lives, so it's just like, yeah, that's how all of America is, I guess. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Make sure yeah. You catch the fix like, the, like when I was in high school, the military came multiple times to talk to people, just like everybody. Yeah. When I was a senior, it was like three times. I mean, yeah. I was in a military family and our, I was in ROTC, so... IGN it is, uh, all of your games yeah, in one it was kind of normalized. You can GameStop frequently did games. partnerships with the military Create to have them, like, bring out a Humvee friends. or something for Halo. <laughs> for what you're playing. Or Call of Duty. The games you love to share oh, yeah, you should, um, mm -hmm. at some point update your Available little scrolling your text. IGN Thank you. It's for See, Bob, they were hoping for that really cool watershed Tomino moment. Where they confuse some teenage boy or girl into being a fascist? Yes. Exclusives and all the entertainment you can handle. And well, you see, she was a woman, so without any other influence, she became a fascist with because she was confused. We, we left her in a room with a single printed ad to become a fascist, so it happened. Is this about Zeta Gundam? No, no actually, yes. F, F this F time it's about F91. <laughs> this, this sucks because it felt almost indistinguishable, but I've also if seen both of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, Zeta is the one that just has a uh, a man who can hypnotize any woman into a fascist. Yes, that takes <laughs> effort. Hypnotize any woman oh, no. into a fascist. Yes, oh no, that one takes second. effort. User -generated okay, there we go. We're good. And a whole lot mm. more. Be part of the conversation throughout. I was trying to check. Do one look quite good? I remember Instagram. being like, oh. damn. Yeah, no, yeah, it the, looks amazing. The first like fifty minutes are absolutely breathtaking. Stunning, amazing. It is some it of the best animation. Great. Yes. Welcome back to oh, it's back. Summer of Gaming Expo. Now, Halloween isn't for a few. It consumed in a vacuum. I bet F91 is really great. All year round. So scaredy cats. This is your chance to hide under the blankets. And by in a vacuum, I mean don't watch everything, everything else Tomina wrote, and then that. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Did I miss all the U.S. Army sponsorship? You did. Good. Yep. I'll end up losing my mind. I cannot trust anyone. Not even Albert. 
You didn't even trust Albert? Oh my god. If you are listening to this. I only know good Albert. I only know Fat Albert. <laughs> oh, uh-huh. So is this a blooper team game? I mean... <laughs> no. Oh. oh my, look at him go! I woke oh, no. up and started I'm back, waddling I'm, like that. I'm back in 2014. <laughs> I have to warn everybody about everything. <laughs> I have to buy Bitcoin right now. <laughs> there you go. I have to make PT. <laughs> God. That's like the lamest version I... of a PT monster I could think of. Bloodiest. All right. Yeah, I, it, I'm not really scared when the creature is like DMC troll dancing towards <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, they did not choose the best walk <laughs> cycle for that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I would obscure my monster to not make it a funny thing. <laughs> well, then they won't be scared because they still don't see it. <laughs> you can't be scared of a monster you can't see. It works <laughs> in fucking insomnia. <laughs> no, amnesia. And uh, yeah. amnesia. Yeah, well. This is a Morbius game? When it was. That's what I was about to <laughs> Wait, why are you guys saying it's a Morbius game? Because, I'm horrified. Because of the paper. Because okay. of, like, the paper. Because the paper's like, Dr. Morbius arrested for vampire murder. Hear that, Sony? We <laughs> yeah. want a Morbius video game. Triple-A, please. <laughs> Spare no only after, see, see that, only after see, the that TV show. Happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yes. That can't happen because the gaming part of Sony is actually too smart to get tricked into Oh, you're right. <laughs> that is true. So the HBO yep. mini ser miniseries is still all go. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, that looked horrible. I'm just yes, throwing it out there. Bob, Bob. What's up? Look out, Bob. It's coming right for you, the monster. <laughs> oh, the no. monster's coming for you. <laughs> oh, no. But I want to become becoming a necromancer. necromancer. Turn enemies into undead enemies. I might have misread that. <laughs> Crush 40 everyone in your path. Live and learn. Mm. All right, good. Would you say I sacrifice souls in some sort of soul <laughs> sacrifice? I mean, we definitely need more games where you're just the Diablo 2 necromancer, but more fleshed out. <laughs> and skeletons don't taper off an effectiveness late game. The worst thing in the world to me is how I constantly remember that one weird undead knight game that was there at the Vita launch, but I could never remember the name. Oh, oh uh, even I was just like, oh, Overlord? And I was like, no, not that. <laughs> this happens every time! Yeah. <laughs> That game was good. I enjoyed it. Oh, Overlord 2 is not good. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I meant the Vita thing. I've never played over it. Yeah, Army Corps of Hell. Thank you. No wonder I can never play. That's a terrible name. And protagonist of Moonscars searches for a mystery that will bring her closer More cool pixel art. Moonscar. Welcome. To the earth bowels. <laughs> All right. The earth, bowels the earth has IBS. <laughs> he must treat <laughs> get out now. He must have treat the earth bowels. to get the sacred Humira injection. <laughs> oh. Man, I would love like a what Captain Noble in style game. Where you have to go inside and like fight IBS monsters, colitis. Oh, is this? This has to be the same devs as that. God, what was the name of that game that had a very similar art style? I, I, I lost it's it It's not now. Elder Lilies. And it's black and white like that. I mean, good. Look, yes. Yeah, that looks cool. I would, I would play this. I think that the, they, the first the game they released was so bad, they did like a, a ton of patches and called it like Back from Hell Edition or something. Uh, oh, <laughs> Slayer? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Like, that looks identical mm, art style-wise. Or no, slain, 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 slain back. Oh. 
but I could see that I'm covering my head. I'm not trying to be cruel, but this exact art style and gameplay type, you could fill an entire expo with this genre of thing. They kind of are. So when you were trying to figure out what it was, I'm like, I have no prayer. Yeah, because my first thought was Salt and Sanctuary, and I'm like, I don't think he means that. Yeah, because that has the weirdo, every limb moves on its own the, thing. The paper yeah. doll movement animation. <laughs> and like a specific art style to it. I looked at footage of it again, and I'm like, how did I beat this? I hate this art. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I went through that moment where I'm like, I don't know, Dark Souls 3 wasn't out, so I was... That camera. Yeah, no, you get that craving. I needed something. I need just needed a hit. <laughs> You know, I was with it until it was like, start showing crafting survival uh, mechanics. I was like, oh, craft to survive him um, up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this looks indistinguishable. Oh, oh, it has swimming. I was going to say this looks indistinguishable from Fallout 76, but I don't think that has swimming. <laughs> Does Fallout have cameras or Jeeps? No. Oh, fuck They're off. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> The immersive you outlast him up. Madison, autopsy, <laughs> two different games, moon scars and outbreak island. Presented right by Ian Prime Summer Video, game. the terminal list. And I'm like, you're making shit up. This is a comedy yeah, bang bang <laughs> bit where you make up a show. <laughs> yeah, it didn't hold up long enough for me to want to mention it out loud. <laughs> oh, this is that game was a ton of adjectives, isn't it? Yeah. No. Oh, it's the other this one. This is a different one. Build and expand your own train while traveling through the void in solo or Sleep. online co-op with up to four <laughs> players. <laughs> with a larger variety of islands, enhanced weapons. I, you know, dangers, I think what what void creatures. It, one of these games needs to mm. like get me into it is to have a fucking story. That's a hell of a reload, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah no, I yes. Enjoy that. Yes. Because I think this like, is really cool artistically. Sure. And a neat idea, but yeah, all the all those mechanics and not having any story. Well, I mean, writing's like, easy. You just put words in front of the next word, and <laughs> you can do yeah. you can do a story in like your crafting survival game, like or you could do it like town builder games have stories, mm -hmm. right? Steam, it's Good. like how. It, it's Come like how I barely got into Minecraft really hard, but then Dragon Quest Builders came out with a story, so I played all of it. Yeah, yeah. there's that, and even and even you could even have just have like NPCs. Like Terraria has NPCs that show up to your base. Just make them characters. Yeah, I'm that sorry. Cool. Pre alpha's too done. Can you show me the pre pre alpha footage? Thank you. I want the pre pre alpha beta. Well, mm. well, beta That's now just means we're about drawing. to ship it, and alpha <laughs> now means beta. Uh huh. Yep. So pre-alpha means it, it can mostly work. Blom. Can you survive the Miyazaki swamp that is spread over the surface of the earth? <laughs> I just don't know if I'll learn the meaning of life and have me what, what what is going on? Who's raiding? Oh, it's Jack, not Jack. Oh, hello. Welcome, Jackheads. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the summer of gaming. Uh, for people who don't follow Jack Not Jack, Jack Not Jack's very cool. Plays PS1 retro games all the time. I hang out there when I can't sleep <laughs> because that's the time zone difference. Right. Do the shadow command. Is this the survival up. crafting segment of the show? I guess so we're just living here now. Oh, I really fucking hate this character design. Yeah, I was shocked you didn't attack it immediately. Just, uh, most of the time we play retro games and all sorts of modern games as well. But this is the, but the this is we, one week. Summer of gaming. But yes, where we cover every gaming event. For better or for worse. Yes. <laughs> Chat, please do not call every ginger Yik Man. It is if cool. If Agro was here, he would ask me to time you out at minimum. <laughs> I'm yicking this, out. This guy, okay, this definitely guy. don't say that. This guy is kind of aggro core now that I'm looking at him. I mean, he's walking through the woods with a knife. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's. 
Yeah, like, I'll just imagine young Agro's hair looks like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you did it! You successfully made it through our gauntlet of survival and crafting games. That was- They oh, was! <laughs> they, <laughs> okay, <laughs> shit! We, I, I tuned them out so hard, they were warning us about what it was gonna be. but it's a quick one, because there's much more to come. They're like, we're not like the wholesome direct, we don't have any more. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. <laughs> Now keep in mind the U.S. military might try to recruit you, and you know if, if you if you do that, then we accept no culpability in you joining the U.S. military. Mm -hmm. We have no idea that that could oh, happen. But actually, Mana is here to. Is what? Mana an NFT platform? Uh, I don't know, but they're not the military, so I guess that's an upgrade. Mana, a subsidiary of the United States Air Force. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's tailored for people who enjoy gaming, entertainment, and earning rewards. Let's take a closer look. Earning rewards. Oh, good. I Every love month we earn. send you a new box with a different jewel. <laughs> they all do the same thing. <laughs> oh my God, it's you their see? own fucking card. It's you a win. gamer credit card. Yeah, this is insane. insane. This is the most obvious scam thing I could imagine. What are you doing, IGN? You yeah, literally you only pick the worst. Yeah, I've seen YouTubers do this for non-gaming ones, where it's like, this card's better, I save even more. favorite games to your mana account and start completing quests for next level rewards. Like that skin you can't Oh, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Player, we go back to the recruiter. There's definitely... Honestly? It's the U.S. military. At least they only work for the final boss presented here and stage capitalism. Yes! IGN Summer of Gaming 2022 is presented by The Terminal List. No, it's not <laughs> real. You can't prove it. <laughs> the Terminal List. I don't know. I've never heard of this. What is this? Oh, get ready for season what? two of The Terminal List. The season game two already? <laughs> See, on the show, I've never heard of So check it out. The <laughs> Terminal List. Not interesting. The Terminal List. As though that's an occupation. I'm interested. <laughs> Remove one of the L's, you're going way up. Mm. Fuck you, you don't tell me what to watch. <laughs> Yo, we should do a spoiler cast on the terminal list. I don't this, know what it is. This is the worst thing since I saw Now You See Me, and Now You See Me Too. They were right, but fuck them for saying it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like Greninja? Do you want a game Good to sure. people who just said yes. Hey, look, a Triforce, a green Triforce shirt you can wear with your jorts. What's up, Dan? You haven't seen my closet. You don't know what's in there. <laughs> I've seen you wear that exact outfit enough. I haven't worn oh, jorts no. since, like, middle oh, school, okay? No. <laughs> but I've kept it in my closet to look at it and laugh at my past self. <laughs> Ah, you're so dumb and cringe, and I don't, I don't want to be you. I definitely am not dumb and cringe now. <laughs> I'm so not dumb and not cringe. <laughs> I've definitely moved past that point in my life. <laughs> I simply evolved past being cringe. Create and follow playlists from friends. I like how the last ad was insanely loud in this. Wait, one. Greninja was voted as the most popular Pokemon in the world. I thought that was Pikachu still. When did when did that that seems like a lie? Unbacked is just making shit up, that and you believe them unsourced. because they started their sentence with <laughs> right. Eric. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you talk to me, I assume you have good things to say. Yeah. Do you know where we're at? Uh -oh. <laughs> this is Twitch.tv. I'm in danger. <laughs> yeah, I'm in danger. Using the latest Xbox releases with Unlocked, looking for your PlayStation fix with Beyond, tracking everything coming to Switch with Nintendo Voice. You should have Ryan McCaffrey hold every show. No. Go It'd be too much blanking. You. <laughs> what? You're so lucky yeah. that I couldn't find that picture of him doing the middle stare. <laughs> he would be the Osaka for this stream. Oh no, they linked something. I will uh, I will ignore it to not want to live in that world. With the frog ninja. Well, it's a frog ninja. And it was two years ago too, Welcome so whatever, it's changed. The most action -packed Don't spin around me. Around, but it's Whenever they start showing all their action. logos, I Here's feel like I'm getting lost. <laughs> Just got real. I love explosive. 
Today, Dallas Synthetics is launching a new institute. Oh yeah, this is it. This is Wanted Dead. Hopefully it's a cool trailer. Ooh, nice. Bob gets what Bob wants. Bob gets what Bob wants. <laughs> it's time for the A. The Summer of Bob 2022. <laughs> oh, is this the one that we called like Devil's Third-esque? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because it is those people. Uh-huh. And the trailer was them saying a bunch of th lines that oh, didn't oh. make perfect sense. <laughs> I do. Now, did they mute the dialogue, or is that man actually mute? Yeah. Tell me he was moving his mouth. So. What happens when she learns the truth? It's so weird. This also animated. I know. Scene. It's so funny. Yeah. This game's gonna be a mess, and I'm so excited. Yes. Oh. Y yes. We're really get We're your hand yes. in there. What? Oh, fuck. We're going back to MGS4. We have to go back. Some of the ads were live action, but I wasn't sure if they were even for this game because of the way the marketing worked. Cat, though. Yeah, this looks uh pretty good. That weird battle tank quadruped just looked like the one in the Gungrave Gore trailer. <laughs> a little bit. This is a, We're sharing some assets. This is uh, another uh, game that's going to be better. They're going to have better combat than basically every action RPG ever made. Yeah. <laughs> Could anyone read the title? Um, it's, it's Wanted Dead. Okay. It was yeah. so Ooh. stylized. I could not parse it at all. Yeah. That chin. Yeah, right? It's most of the screen. <laughs> They're like, look at this gun, and I'm like, I'm looking at the chin. What are you talking about? The gun is, the chin is deadlier than the gun. Yo, wait a second. You could shoot in, in Minecraft? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure various mods have done that. Why Which... didn't you tell me sooner? Let me give you the routing number for my bank account. <laughs> now I'm trying Sorry, to Sorry, my mana account? Uh, you're right. Sorry, mana. <laughs> I can finally play to earn this game. Is this like a Minecraft hero shooter? Uh, it seems to be, yeah. I knew something something like that existed a long time ago that I knew people oh, sure. played. Yeah, there was yeah, one. Yeah, there's one that we I always sold what it was called. for at my job or at GameStop. Ace of Spades. Yeah, yeah. the chat came up with it. Is that what that was? That's I have what no was. idea. Yeah, that... Yeah, it was like I've owned Ace yeah, of Spades for years. I now understand what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember a lot of like MS Paint comics of like two soldiers being like, "We gotta go kill the blue team," and the other guy slaps them. Is like, "No, we build." It holds up a cube. <sighs> block and, block block and load, and load two. two. Wow, which implies a one, right? <laughs> Welcome to Carnage Corp, where we start you on the path to being a better monster. Just follow these simple steps. Smash, bash, and stop your way to okay. success. Okay. Oh, is this VR? Yeah. All right. I mean, is a happy not the worst premise. No. Whether it's tanks, battleships, or the latest kaiju defense technology, the smart monster is going to be Okay, anything. yeah. Anything. Clothes make the monster. Be sharp and find your own style. And don't forget Aww. to stretch. You don't want to get a cramp out there. Here at Carnage Corporation, we put people first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good so taste. VR Minecraft Rampage. Yeah, great. To being your beast yeah, uh, please come to PSVR. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Touch of death. I don't think that was the stream. I think the trailer just runs that yeah, bad. Yeah, I think it just right. runs bad. Wow. Is this like a Switch version? What of if you yeah. played a game that ate ass? Oh no, this is PC. What the heck? Yeah, I know. Our dev team couldn't afford a newer GPU. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how I feel about your your drivers just being parodies of existing characters. Joe Boomer eliminated. Because one of them down there was um, Big Cheese and just looked like Big Smoke from San Andreas.
There's a story? All right. That's good, at least. Why did the music cut like that? God. This editor needs to be fired. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bandycam.com. I think I'll go there. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was a joke. But no, the Bandicamp logo was there. Yeah, it was there. Oh, my God. The uh, <laughs> the frame rates in the upper left, too. It shows the Steam frame rate. It's zooming digitally so you can't see it anymore. Mm -hmm. But it just straight up... <sighs> that trailer of the show. A lot of so budget the, in that one. Is the subtitle of the game on registered Hypercam 2? Or... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's go, baby. Are you ready to be protectors? So will this be a battle royale? <laughs> Hype squad, are you ready to pre-order some games? <laughs> In Hype Squad, you play as a morb head. <laughs> <laughs> but goal, do you morb out? Get a, get a yeah, company to re-release a movie. <laughs> no matter what. Did you guys see that uh, that tweet, that petition? It was like, we, we were all busy that week and Sony yes. released it to theaters. Doing the yeah. time. No, we'll watch it for real this time. No, honest. <laughs> we, we, know no. Only, we know for the thousand theaters released, only eight people per theater watched mm -hmm. it. But come on, yep. we could probably do it again. It's this, really good. This looks kind of neat. Yeah, this looks good. Oh, shit. That, that, that's, that's in three days. Yeah. Guys, we're going to be stuck in the summer game. Uh, oh. Oh no. Oh. Ugh. What is? I. 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 All right. What am I looking at? You have mag. At? So you have magnet legs. That one character looked adorable. Yeah. Gonna have to be more specific. Well, they had a human-shaped character for four seconds oh, that looked adorable, yeah, and the rest of this is a nightmare. Eh, it's yeah. Not that bad. Look at him. Look at him go. Or enemies? <laughs> no, that's fair. That's fair. Summer of gaming makes me think of that too. Soon. All right. I'll I'll be ready for that soon. Oh, uh, Toy Logic. They did the uh, the near remaster. Thank you. I was okay. like, I know them from Hulk something, but trail out, hype squad and Tr triple quotes they remaster. Close beta, but there's plenty more of IGN Summer of Gaming Expo. Where that came from? Up next it's is more a game you can play than Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. It's a game about cows. Here's Quiet Farm. You don't sound bitter at all. No. <laughs> you sound enthused, and full yes. of life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, remake is in quotates because they basically remade the game. Yeah, I know. It's like a game, Black. but it's not Black. a game. <laughs> but it's but not it's... a real game. <laughs> <laughs> Say it with me. Say it with I love me. that cow. <laughs> yeah, that cow hasn't been in like every shot. This is the main character, I assume. Like a game. What? Okay, yeah, I mean, uh, aliens the duck cows, I get it. Well, it's crash landing, and the and the cows have to be like, it's go the fuck home. Oh, my God. Topo. I was right. Okay. No joke. This is, this is a lot more. This is firing a lot yeah. more neurons than a lot of the games so far. This is just... This is like a mini game that would be in Destroy All Humans. Yes. 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 So he's working with the aliens. The alien, yeah. I think I think the cow has taken over this thing, or this one is one of the good ones because you can see a tiny dude inside. That's true. At first, I thought it was a drone. Excuse me, Crytivo? Not I owl? Yeah, I don't know, man. You got nothing. Slash what? Did you not get QuietFarm.com? <laughs> that was too complicated. We didn't want to get quietfarm.gay either. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> At least I would have remembered. Right? The game's like, only fools would play our game. And I'm like, fair enough. 
<laughs> All right, I'll move along. Here we go. <laughs> So the whole thing is like one of those things that would be a one-off uh, level in a uh, beat em up. Sure. Yes. Or Resident Evil 5. <laughs> or Resident Evil 5. <laughs> yeah. There was a a game in space that was sort of like this. I forgot what it was called. Where you like man in each stations and try and fight off threats. Uh, I believe it's called Faster Than Light. FTL. <laughs> It was called Among one. Us. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I'll see you guys later. What, what, what is the, this? What the fuck is this? You're like blinks, this, but I have a giant sword there's cat. A, there's a cat. Oh, it's, the, it's the sequel to Fist. You didn't know you wanted. Oh, God. Oh. That cat looks horrible. Gory. Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time, Bob? Yes. Or Eric? Yes, it is that. Okay, Thank you. you Thanks, Deekman. Deekman's world. Uh, so, Bob, are you can check this out for the channel. Uh, if there's a demo, I'll play it. Gimmick combo video? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't show anybody, though. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be for me. <laughs> God, he looks so horrifying. Yeah, that's not a great looking cat. There's so much going on here. The title of the game is Gory Cuddly Carnage. The developer's logo is a razor. Astral child, awake. The cosmos is in danger. The theme song is a metal cover of na 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 na. Legends live forever. Build a new and survived while crafting. I thought we were out of the section. You lied to me, IGN. <laughs> you come back. He's he's the Riddler. <laughs> Thank you for that world premiere. You just got trailers for Quiet Farm, Ship of Fools. You just got trailered, bitch. <laughs> right here on IGN Summer of Gaming Expo. If that was too much excitement, relax. This next game looks extremely chill. Here's a look at Coral Island. Is accidentally an ad for the military. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the military's very chill. It's very chill. I wonder... I think we're going to have to actually change stations for the Netflix thing, because they're on their own channel, I believe. Mm. Which is upsetting. Uh, yeah, we're going to change the channel and stations. Yes. I'm going to go outside and make sure the dish is aligned. Adjust the ears yes. on the TV. Mm -hmm. I will look up a mirror for that ahead of time. Thank you. Oh, it suddenly got dangerous Spooky, at the end. just in time to end. <laughs> oh, intrigue. I thought the mammoth wasn't animating. <laughs> it's just yeah. sliding <laughs> mammoth. Oh, this looks really ugly. <laughs> Igrork, the game, the movie. <laughs> I played this game oh, in middle DS. school. <laughs> yes. It's like after so many good Pixar games that it really hurts to see this at the end. Uh. <laughs> yeah, thankfully, Jeff Keighley had a stream. Yeah, he hosts that one. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that's why the summer of the Netflix gaming is important. <laughs> Yes. Yes, we saw this game yesterday. And it also was ugly then. Yeah, it was, it was just making me mad as I like farming games, but it looks bad. And Agro goes, I don't even like farming games, so <laughs> there's nothing here. Is this the same one? I thought that had it a is. Name. Roots, oh, Roots of Pacha, yeah. That's same damn neat. thing, yeah. Okay. Ooh, exclusive. Egg. Hello, kids. Today we're going to learn about yeah. ships. I was about to say that was an educational <laughs> company's name. Oh, right. another thing that's horrible Stardew. looking. More oh. Stardew Valley. Welcome to Is the this? Wholesome Direct. I know, right? <laughs> Fuck! That's <laughs> not how <laughs> magic works. This looks so much like Stardew Valley, even. Yeah, mm -hmm. this might be the same devs or something. No, uh, I no, like... the, 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 the main dev is currently making something, I think, called um, 
Is that was about it chocolate? Cookie witch or yeah, something? Yeah, like, like haunted <laughs> chocolatier? Yeah, okay. <laughs> something like you cookie like, witch? Were you, were you, were you like by cookie witch? Were you like other dimensions to make chocolate or something? Ice cream shit, zombie? Look, we I took a detour wow, looks, into the wholesome this, direct. So. This looks yeah. fucking exactly like it. I would be upset if I was that dev. I'd be like, what you fuck are you doing? Or com incredibly satisfied knowing these multi-team projects will not make near as much money as your one game. That is true. That is true. Yeah, Stardew Valley sold Super like Zoo 20 million story. copies. Super mm. Zoo Story. Oh, yeah, this is just... Okay. All right. We're just in this section now. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm feeling the suffer of gaming now. <laughs> Dan, I don't know how difficult this would be to do. Uh-huh. But can you set up like a counter that goes up when you press a Steam Deck but a, a Stream Deck button? <laughs> and we we have the we have the furry button, the witch button, and the farming button for the wholesome direct. Yeah, you just get a little sprite to go ex next to each. These are very important metrics that the world needs to know. Yeah, wholesome direct's not till tomorrow, right? You have time. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, that's during the Saturday morning death march. <laughs> Dinkum, dinkum, do says. The time's come. Pacha, Super Zoo Story, and Dinkum. But right now, let's take a quick break. IGN Summer of Gaming Expo. We'll be right back after this. Join this PMC. Like, uh, <laughs> okay. Thank you, Melinger Solid Four. We're we're bringing in Luke Street Fighter IGN Six to Summer tell you about it. 2022 is sponsored by Metro by T-Mobile, and okay. by the Terminal List. Watch the action-filled psychological thriller starring Chris Pratt only on Prime Video. What? Of course it's Chris Pratt! <laughs> Prime Video, they're like, all we have are Chris Pratt things. The show, yeah, the Tomorrow War movie. Yeah, you know, it's like, this is not the same thing that they shipped me a box of Chris Pratt on it. Yeah, no. <laughs> IGN Playlist is all of your games in one place. You can build your library and discover. You can games. turn them into NFTs and earn with them what? or something. Yeah. I don't what? know. How what are we doing? That? Subsume your whole what? life what? into a treadmill to earn cash <laughs> for the rich and powerful. Wait a minute! I'm already doing that. Oh no! But more explicit this time. Yeah, you need, <laughs> okay, you need cool. to be doing it with your leisure time too. <laughs> yes. Fair. Uh, Theo, what were the three categories? Which, furry, uh -huh. and farming. Okay. <laughs> Let me just get this set up. I'm gonna need to work on the iconography, of course. Yeah, of course. User generated videos and art, and a whole lot more. Be part of the conversation throughout the year. Follow IGN on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, and Snapchat. I see someone got to them on uh, Instagram yeah, a little I know, first. That's <laughs> and all the entertainment you can handle, and maybe even some you can't. Cinefix on IGN One, your friendly Friday night home for film fanaticism. You're watching the Weekly Fix, ready to fill you in on anything you may have missed in the world of gaming and entertainment. You should talk about next gen console watch. Yeah, I was like, is that still a thing? Because I didn't see it advertised. IGN One. They turned into a network. Who knew? That thing just exists. I feel like I saw that there was an episode a month and a half ago. I don't think it's ever gonna end. It's probably one of their best performing series exclusively because there are a number of people who don't believe Next Gen started. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can't get a console, so it's not real. Okay. There can't be much more of the IGN Expo left. Right? I mean, right? technically that Netflix thing starts at noon, so I'm like... This is yeah. what we call the bargaining phase. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. I, I, I'm getting nervous. We got six and a half minutes. Would they really schedule it to just overlap with another show? I, I believe so, yes. Return to Enoch in the brand new I think there's something else that's happening the same time as the Netflix thing, so it wouldn't shock me. Fresh uh. with the level 30 boost. Here's a sneak peek of what to expect. No, the Netflix. Yeah, the uh, the Freedom Games showcase is at the same time as uh, the Netflix thing. I thought it ah, was geez. until three. Gamatsu says it's at the same time. Weird. 
I have decided against the iconography. At the, um, the very least, like, uh, we, we know the ending of the IGN thing is going to be a, a developer interview over the A-League game. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So we can definitely turn it off after <laughs> yeah. that. Um, yep. Man. The IGN thing's so hard to read because there's so little of the hosts. Yeah. They're just like, we're just in the middle of trailers. I have no idea if we're near the end or not. Yeah. There's no pacing. You can't, you can't tell what they consider a heavy hitter. No. Yeah, that's true. So you can't really track like the momentum of the show. Welcome back to IGN Summer of Gaming Expo. Up next, a game that combines gritty, hardcore military realism about the horrors of war and adorable rodents. Here's Rat and Reich. Oh. Oh, good. Mouse the it's game. Mouse oh. with tits. Yeah. I, I was trying to figure out what the face was doing. It was like, was that a mask? Uh oh. No. You see, we're making one of those types of games, but two weeks ago, we put animals in it. We were at a, we, we saw a Raid Bradbury thing <laughs> once. We thought, why not? We'll give it a shot. <laughs> yeah, but it, it like, it doesn't play. It looks like it plays like any other top down yeah. thing I've seen. This looks like explicitly like um, one of those. Like, yeah. What is it? It's not Brothers in Arms, but no. it's a similar name to that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Company of Heroes? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sitting here and I'm like, Army of Company. No, brother of Wait, company. What? Company of brothers. Fuck. Also, what? what? No, happened? I know you're tired of World War games, but what if they had a rat lady with swaying hips? <laughs> How big is that ass? <laughs> <laughs> not. Okay, not interested. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> I can't sit here and make the joke and then you're just like a sexy what? rat <laughs> guys what why no use your cards right now please card base this seems sober after isn't the last it, thing isn't it isn't it so depressing that we we live in a world where people scream and jump and stomp their feet about turn-based games unless they have cards for some mm -hmm. reason Well, there cards remind me of gambling, which is cool. Just work. I don't want to defeat my opponents. I want to defeat weak opponents. <laughs> if I was trying to fight mighty opponents, I would not have cards. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh no, that's something I'll have to play for Steam uh -uh. next best, isn't it? Your card yeah. based segment. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Exception is Mega Man Battle Network. <laughs> yeah, I think that is the only one of those that I really got into. Now seems like a good time to go pick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Battle enemies with 300 unique cards. Oh, good. More? Oh, my God. Okay. These buildings are cards. These enemies are cards. Your mouse is a card. You heard of cards? You yourself are a card. Oh. You it's can't. also roguelike. You can't even play with the I'm mouse, the keyboard, yes. controller. We, we send you that scanning, shitty scan console that you have to boop your cards into. It takes a yeah, minute for each one to scan in. Back. I think this is the most aggressive the card game has been. <laughs> yes. Thirty years ago, we thought we had contained the corruption on Earth. We were, we were wrong. fucking wrong. <laughs> but now with these cards, yeah, now with these, we, we were able to survive with these cards. <laughs> we have a chance to fight back. <laughs> Oh no, he's biting neck to the corpse. <laughs> I'm scared now? 
I mean... Yeah, show me more attacks where it looks like there's frame drops. <laughs> yeah, that's how you know it's cool. I sure like Diablo with one right click move. Well, <laughs> you know the rest. What, that, no, what? we don't. What? <laughs> no, no, we don't. What does it mean? You don't? <laughs> Oh, All what right. are you doing here? Hey. Exert? Oh, this Just kidding. Why? Oh. Yeah, this is the one they announced apparently back in April. Did the three Yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah. I remember buying the one of the ones, one of the ones of these that was on the 3DS, and I'm like, wow, that was really low rent. Yeah, every every one of these that's <sighs> other than the Ruby City Girls seems so low rent, it's almost unplayable. It's it's really bad. I love it. it's like learn about the Three Kingdoms where if you're playing a Kunio Kun game, there's a good chance you've played a game that has the Three Kingdoms in it. Yeah. Learn about the Three Kingdoms. I didn't know that Lu Bu was a giant punch lady. <laughs> I'm glad I know that now. <laughs> Thank you. Beneath Oresa, Orcs, Superfuse, and River City Saga Three Kingdoms, right here on IGN Summer of Gaming Expo. This Summer of Gaming, remember, is sponsored by the U.S. military, some weird credit card, and a literal vampire. <laughs> All right, so yeah, this thing literally is running over the other one. Oh, so we need to leave? Yeah. Yeah, that thing just started. Those. These stupid assholes, right, are created equal, but some more Dan. <laughs> is Danimal Farm the Danimal Cannon like lo-fi beats? Actually, no. That's a lot of people get that confused. No, Danimal Farm is the uh, grass-fed yogurt. Okay, that's, that's a grab and go sort of thing. Yeah. A lot of people mix that up. Blue beast that's hot on your heels. That's all coming in Point P. We have. The first official look so at Point P. Spam Point P in the chat. Wow, this is so sad, Netflix. So this is made by the Downwell guys, I think they said? Okay. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. well, I like it. Oh, but you're going up. up. Oh. This is radically you're different. It's cute instead of like really low detail. No, not in it. <laughs> I think, they meant, chat. I think they meant their chat. No, no please. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't help them here. Oh, no. Yeah, we do point B 1984 here. <laughs> I mean, Dan Downwell guy made a good game. I'm sure they've made another good game. Is point P, what is point P? Is point P the character? Oh my god. Point P might be the character. They have upwards of, they have tens of point P's. We have more point P's in our chat. What happened? <laughs> this is pre-recorded and they're guessing how they oh, no. think spamming a chat works. <laughs> what? They should just have a spinning like numbers. Like obviously a thousand people have said point P. Yeah. Who or what is really point P? <laughs> Nightbot <laughs> <laughs> just the helper. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's the beast, it's though, just on fire and it's tugs <laughs> lashing about. Like, yeah, feed the beast. There's a lot of point to the point to wiki. Can someone start that up right now? Oh, man. I don't even I believe that's you. tied it's to their chat at this ridiculous. point. It went up <laughs> so <laughs> slow. Yeah. I was yeah, like, no, can no, you can you unmaximize it so we can look at their chat? <laughs> Oh no, they re it easily the passed it within seconds. <laughs> of course! Th that I'm willing to bet they made before and went, surely 26 is our limit. <laughs> surely! We don't want anyone calling us out and making up big numbers. <laughs> Digimondo yep. says, uh, can we have helper sounds? <laughs> that would be pretty good. P is available right now. Oh my god. Wow, I'm so hyped for Point P. Netflix members around the world can Point P literally is some poochy yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is dystopian in a way it's that a no other show has been. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's like, this could have been announced in so many ways that didn't make it the grossest shit in the world, but you just fucked it up. I gotta, I gotta go look up the Netflix gaming app. Oh no. <laughs> That's your new segment now. Yeah. That's trashy. No, it's cool. Bob will get Steam. I'll get Netflix. Uh -huh. 
Two <laughs> things to. What the? F I thought we were supposed no. to stay here, Jeff. No. <laughs> he was like, "Shut it down! Shut it down!" Okay, let's see how they're going. Are Are yeah, you guys? I think, I think they're still going. Are you guys? Yeah, big news. I no, point be. You're starting in an hour. Yeah, that's a, that is the next thing. I think that's Rebecca. Okay, Rebecca. <laughs> yeah, Rebecca Games Spotlight. Becky wow. Games presents. Becky Sucrose presents. <laughs> oh man, I wonder if anyone stuck around and watched the the end of the IGN Expo. If there was anything good in there, um, I don't know. I'm gonna take this to the Bob Cam because I'm gonna see if I can play Point B on the MacBook. Ooh, I'm excited. Um, I'm, apparently, all uh, chat Epic could enjoy Point B. Showcases in ten minutes. Oh, cool. Can you get a link in the Discord? I'm trying to set up Point B. Yeah, what's what sure. it called? Epic, Epic Game Showcase. Game Showcase. Oh, yeah. weird. I guess that just got announced, didn't it? This is bullshit. Let's Look see. at that. Look at that. They're like, I don't know what Point B is. And that's bullshit. Everyone knows what Point B is. <laughs> okay, How do you I not know? For it. They're there fucking lying to me like this. Well, all right. IGN Expo is way better than Netflix Expo. Yeah, it had games that I remembered and cared even remotely about. Yeah, yes. that, that yeah, had some yeah, that's true. In, in my heart, the Netflix one is a B plus, but it's actually an F minus. Yeah, yeah, it's actually the worst thing maybe ever made. <laughs> yeah, but it was genuinely the funniest thing I I've seen the from most a summer show it. in this decade. Absolutely. Yes, it's it. It was very unreal. I hope this epic game showcase will be unreal. I don't know if Devolver could have made a funnier show on purpose than that was accidentally. <laughs> Can, can we get a Kroby Cat uh, video that has that in there? I wonder if my other drink is sawed yet. What'd you have? I, I got like this tea thing from Taco Bell. Uh, it, the uh, thing huh? being the what? important word. It, yeah. Weird. You got a purple ass tea from Taco Bell that's like Lipton ass fuck. <laughs> And I'm like, what's oh. it taste like? And he's like, ah, uh, cherries? <laughs> Probably. It I thought like that peaches. was an option. I was just too scared. Wait, wait, wait. I can play point. Okay. Okay, this is unreal. Uh -oh. One second. One second. Ladies and gentlemen, point B. Okay? All right. You go up and down, as you saw in the point B direct. Uh-huh. <laughs> What if I told you, and this is unreal, what if I told you, you can change this to be the least playable game of all time? Yo, Portrait Point yeah! B? Look at this. Look at it. Why? <laughs> you have one of the biggest phones on the market. And they're like, what if it was an image? <laughs> okay, I need to know if I can get Point B, point B on my iPad, because maybe that'll oh, make sense. Oh, oh. I bet on iPad it'd be pretty good. I bet on Mac it would be pretty great. Hi, I'm Dan Video Games. I would like to play all your phone games on my thing that can run it way better than a phone. Please let me, you assholes. <laughs> They're like, buy an iPad. <laughs> now I'm like, shut the fuck up! <laughs> this is stronger than most of the iPads I can afford. Netflix Point B, yeah! Wait, that yeah. doesn't bring anything up. Uh, let me take the Netflix part out. I don't know why it auto populated yeah. that. I mean, it is called Netflix Point B. It is, and it didn't bring up what it hyped that in, but now it's bringing it, it up. It does make me log into my Netflix account when I launch the game. What? Okay, that's pretty yeah. funny. It didn't have me do that, I guess, because I logged in on the Netflix account before I closed that app. It somehow figured it out. I should probably mute that. Log in with your Netflix account to get unlimited access to this game. Yep. That's uh, not a good sign. The pictures of this show it in a box. <laughs> I'm, I regret to inform everyone I'm unable to point. You're unable to point? Said, does it not support Android? No, I, I can, but okay. I don't. Oh, uh, okay. You yeah. don't have Netflix? Don't have I Netflix. definitely have Netflix and am not borrowing it or have the password from someone else. Dude, that's what I'm doing, but I know what the password is. <laughs> I've forgotten it long ago. <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. Yeah. Y'all playing Point B. It started. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I'm glad it started. One moment. I need to let Twitter know about the new, the new coming. <laughs> the second coming of Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they've done this to us. I can't if, wait to put Point B in my media thread. You shall know, know him through his deeds. What Point B is. <laughs> You're missing out. <laughs> Yeah.
gonna the Netflix password. I should use the hashtag. Hashtag point be sweet. <laughs> yes. Okay. I need music though. Yeah. I don't need that music because it's probably claimed. Right. We could but we could get that uh that good old yeah, there it is. It's about to end. Back to the beginning. <laughs> no other songs until she's not only good enough. No. <laughs> no. You know you know the rule. A platformer game song per day. It's <laughs> just one. Uh, you can do a lot worse the, than athletic, so I guess it's fine. Yeah, and this is like good athletic, not like Super Mario World athletic. I'm broken. I know. I, <laughs> I'm sitting here like looking for my Netflix password by going to a like uh, one of the other sites I use for that. Mm -hmm. And I just sit there like I can't find Point B on this this <laughs> on this menu. What happened? <laughs> Bob's like, what's my point B password? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> so some are games, huh? <laughs> I, I'm just sitting here kind of sad that I don't know immediately where the lightning to HDMI dongle is. Uh -huh. So that way I can play it to carry us. That'd be, that'd huh. be all right. Yeah, I don't know. It's not taking I, my login. That's weird. Really? Yeah. I, mm. I guess they're doing um, they're doing Street Fighter Six previews in the coming week because like mm -hmm. one of the press people I follow just tweeted that they're playing it. Cool. That's neat. But yeah, it's like Thanks, Dragon please. Fruit player. Yeah. That's oh. Dragon Fruit. Yeah, okay. I think that's the deal. It's not bad. I mean, I've had a dragon fruit, and it's... I wouldn't say disappointed, but like, <laughs> it was fine. It was too exotic for me. Is Point B a scrimblo? Absolutely. It's 100 fucking percent. <laughs> Look at this guy. Shoe in for scrimblo of the year. <laughs> yeah. The Point B yeah, sweep. Yeah, the Point B sweep. Oh, this seems like a good time to use the restroom. I'll be right back. What are you talking about? We're just staring at Yoshi's Island logo. You have a minute and a half to pee. Good luck. I got this. <laughs> go, go, go! See, I kind of also want to pee, but then there's point pee. I can't do both. You can't point pee? No. The world's not ready. I assume it's fine. I assume it's a fine whatever game. It's what? <laughs> it seems good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more interested in this yeah. than I was Downwell, because Downwell seemed like a game I wanted to play on a controller. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this, um, this has decent enough, like, game feel and animation stuff. Yeah, it looks really smooth. It's very cute. You got, you got this guy. Yeah, wow. That guy's great. Yeah, he's bloated. <laughs> Okay, I unlock the double jump, so this is immediately better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gotta, you gotta get those double jumps, and then also get uh. Oh. Air dash. Air dash. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Okay. Uh huh. Oh, now there's a timer to feed you fruit juice. I see. Eric, what is your favorite Mario, and why is it Mario 64? I, I, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Go on. Please tell me all the reasons. <laughs> I, I love that I can count the pixels in his nose. That's, imp <laughs> that's an important feature. Mm -hmm. Man, I made it back. You, oh, wow. Good job. You diffused the bomb just in time. <laughs> Why is why is Epic Game Store playing this Mario music? That's fucking weird. They'll get claimed by themselves. And an extended look at some of our favorite upcoming PC games. I've seen it. We have a lot of great games to see today, so let's get started. So this is going to be the PC gaming show, but me. The Forge is fire. All right. I mean, at least gold. Epic pays for exclusives. That's true. Under the mountain of Cuphead the DLC is eight bucks. Okay. They could have charged more than that. Yeah, they could have. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah, really Jesus. could have. Shadow took our treasure dolls. 
Did you have chat rate the no, last conference the Netflix thing? No. <laughs> That's fair. I can do it. I mean, we can no, also it's like write a dwarf it. game. I'll get them started on a writing at first. Is there going to be a, a point that, you, uh, that, off, that shows off the entire uh, <laughs> metrics? The statistical <laughs> outlier of point B. <laughs> This is like Deep Rock Galactic, but like like Warhammer and Warhammer 40k. Just <laughs> you're still mining and fighting stuff, but it's in the past. Okay, it actually oh, is wow. Lord of the Rings based. People were saying that in chat. I was like, really? actual oh, license. God. Return. Go back to Moria. It's fine now. Don't worry about it's, it. It's better. <laughs> it's not as racist. <laughs> as? Not as? Not. I mean, not racist. <laughs> after after the, the Netflix gaming show. Isn't everything else gets a buff. I mean, wow, yeah. <laughs> so, Bob, like, that looks like you video say game. That, but we know the wholesome direct to isn't gonna to have a point. To the <laughs> Nothing can! Of Doom. Saturday may genuinely Hello there, kill this me. This is Jordan from Phonic, <laughs> and today I'm excited to give you a quick look at the Ectoplast, one of our ghost types in Ghostbusters. Oh, they're actually gonna show this game pl being played? Cool. Ghost types Ghostbusters, Spirits Within. Variants, which further <laughs> 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 I'm like, that's not the title. Effectively haunting any building. For point B, <laughs> who wanted like who wanted this game? Ghostbusters. I thought that this was the VR game, but no, I'm not this sure. Seems to be something I, mean, I can guess no, who this wanted isn't, someone this isn't to this game. This is an asymmetrical <laughs> <laughs> multiplayer thing, I guess. Slimer's noxious belch hurls a massive amount of slime. I guess I get it. In a powerful stream. Yeah. Last but not least, there's the Ectoplast ultimate ability, Slime Nado. Flailing massive amounts of slime out around Some you is a great way to get yourself out of four years from now is watching Bob and Mike play through of Mega Man Extreme 2 on Game Boy Color. Yeah. And is sitting there screaming, watch. What? In God's green <laughs> earth is point. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I forgot you're doing a you're doing a real stream after this, so it's just ruined. Yes. Aliens have found ancient archives of this lost civilization. <laughs> right now. Clearly, Point P was a powerful political or religious figure. <laughs> right up there with the other ancient deities of um, Morbius. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one second. Oh. Uh -huh. The PC building simulator to open beta is now live. Is that just the new emote? Is that... <laughs> I didn't think that there would be a PC building simulator too. Maybe I'm an idiot. <laughs> I get. I. D hmm. I don't know, chat. What do you think about Point B edit? What do a gunslinging space frog and a sword wielding robot? He seems like he has an eye infection. <laughs> a little bit. That's what. Yeah. Up next, we're taking a look at shoulders of giants. I don't think this guy's voice is matching no, his lips. I knew all. it. I was gonna say, I like in the corner of my eyes. I'm like, is he dubbed? Yeah, I prefer the dub. All right, a frog in ride armor. <laughs> right. You could do worse ideas. I mean, we just watched the Netflix special. We know there's worse ideas. <laughs> Like, for example, what if you were a game that directly followed up Point B? Haha, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> How unfortunate. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> I didn't expect this to be a four player co op game. It's very strange. No, that I did not expect. How many types of frog can I be? Oh, it's an oh, they're animals. Okay. Uh, oh. All right. Soldiers of Giants is an Epic Game Store PC exclusive. <laughs> Risk of Rain 3 whoops all frogs. Hey, if you're, hey, yes, you're going to host a conference, maybe figure out how to make footage look normal. Today. No. I refuse to believe that man is ashen and gray. <laughs> Summertime Sifu? Boy shorts? I don't get it. Gold. None of these are better than playing as Shaggy. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, what do you mean low gravity? And then I noticed the other thing. Oh, not yeah. other that, that's cool. Fight through the raindrops? <laughs> Oh, you're adding bullet time? That's gonna make that uh, mod that has Neo fighting and endless amount of Smiths even better. <gasps> 
Tifu seems like a game that is endlessly cool, but I would be absolutely miserable playing. <laughs> it is pretty tough. Yeah, yeah. yeah I crushed my balls. I can't get through stage three. <laughs> oh, that's how you say it? Chia. Thank you. Cha, dude. Chia. Chia. Because I was... I have no idea how to pronounce that every time it's shown up. Yeah, I've just been saying yep. cha for yeah. years. Right? And this is the thing that was originally on Stadia, isn't it? It might have been. It, it, well, it was supposed to be. And then, it, then they canceled that and like, yeah, we showed up the PlayStation. The, the Wind Waker cross Mario Odyssey game? <laughs> yes. Yeah, this looks pretty... I mean, it looks great. Look cool. at it go. Become Bird. Okay, guys, that means uh, the Netflix... Netflix Geeks Week colon gaming conference got a... Th Point three six GPA from chat. You know, <laughs> Netflix Geek Week colon recently. The Point B Showcase. The Point B Showcase. And get updates on a few Can we get a rating on Point B? This is in case you missed it. Good. The more of this game that I will never play. Yeah, I genuinely don't know how I tolerated playing that. <laughs> If I could get some scores from the co-host, though, on uh, the Point B Showcase. Bob I mean, F. <laughs> KZ. F. <laughs> Feel. F. Eric? F and I'm sending a note home to its parents. Oh, well, that's not fair. <laughs> I, I'm going give to give it the same D minus. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just, I put that on the exact same level as the limited run games for one reason. Yeah. Point B is basically a Mega 64 <laughs> game. <laughs> and that God gives it any it. lasting power. In fact, I don't doubt Point B makes it to next week's big think. Limited run couldn't make it to this week's big thing. <laughs> yeah, we forgot. Oh God, we forgot. Yeah, we yeah, forgot completely to about it. We totally forgot, but instead we covered the Sonic Central. Yeah, yeah I, Bob I, fucking I, I, brought it up right after we stopped recording. Yeah, it was like 20 minutes later. It was like, oh yeah, we didn't talk about that at all. <laughs> like, and I'm sitting there and I'm like, Sonic Central, that happened. Wait. Wasn't there something else? I don't think so. Valorant's on Epic Store. I thought it was only on their store. The Valorant launcher. Weird. Yeah, they let you install. The I mean, now don't get me stuff. wrong. On a personal human level of watching a train wreck, that was an A plus. I haven't laughed that hard at anything in a long time. Right. <laughs> Wait, did I see Ooblets in there? Is yes. that the game that's been announced like for a decade and haven't released it? This Guessing. year it comes out allegedly. Sure. Yes. Okay, I believe you. Just like Grand Blue Relink, right? Oh. No, no, <laughs> like for real. Oh, okay. <laughs> huh? Oh, I see. Okay, so they made a normal trailer. They for made Super a normal Super trailer Raider. for this. That's really funny. Yeah. I was trying to figure out if it was supposed to look like another trailer. PC exclusive Goat Simulator yeah. 3 has our favorite barnyard protagonist licking their way through all. I guess that intro was supposed to be like the Skyrim intro because you're on the, the cart and you look to the uh, side. Okay, oh. all right. <laughs> it's like, okay, this is something. Epic Game Store will get split gate. Wow. wow. Smile dyslexia is hitting. I thought it said spilt gate for a second. I'm like, well, clean it up. What are you doing? <laughs> Come on, dude. Don't cry over spilt gate. Do you think oh they're God, like, do you think they're like, Epic fans who are like, yeah, I can finally play this on the Epic Game Store? No, I don't. Uh, oh, wow. I actually haven't seen footage of the D Disney thing since that mm -hmm. last showcase that showed up, whatever that was. I assume this is out somewhere, though. I don't, I don't think it is. I think it said update. Wow. 
This has a lot more going on than I'd expect. Right. I'm surprised to see Mulan Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, Shane. Out? Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, uh, that's just an update on things they're working on. Kaiju's potentially good. Yeah, why not? This is Giga Bash. We've seen this before. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember which one of these games it is, though. Uh, distant camera, four players beating shit up. Okay. On board the monsters. Yeah. I think. I figured I'd do something interesting and illuminating to our audience. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So when he comes back, this is how the host. Oh, one moment. Oh my God! What is that? <laughs> your your stream chat. Why though? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I know what's up. Okay. What song is it sucking off? I don't know, but I know it is doing that. Right. Oh no. Oh no. Has this ever happened to you? It just got word. The Bullion Corporation is snatching up contestants for its meat dangling event. Do you have what it takes to raise the stakes? It's like C spam. Yeah. It's different. And here's the fresh meat now. Oh yeah, we saw this last year or something. Yeah, like yeah. we did some sort of soup fighting game. Yeah, raw mm -hmm. men. And which is funny, but Yeah, I have to wonder if any of these games are just like the whole concept is the, the joke. Actually take off. <laughs> well we've got Goat Simulator 3, so Yes, but there's a difference between Ghost yeah. Simulator where it's a single player yeah, yeah, yeah. or yeah. Co cooperative joke game compared to this weird competitive yeah, thing. I mean, j j yeah. yeah, Goat Simulator is kind of like a, a framework for comedy. Mm hmm. Okay. Rocket League trailer don't matter. Anyways, this is how our host is supposed to look. All right. I thought people might want to look at his human form instead of his ashen dead form. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. I spent seconds in Photoshop. <laughs> you you want to just make that the chat background? Oh, no. Actually, you know what? Chat background's probably better. Okay. I don't know where the fuck Point B went. Yeah, yeah. what the fuck? Point B died already. We're I'll soon be forget. <laughs> Let me see if I can get Point P to return to the center of the screen and we can go from there. So is that something that normally happens in Rocket League? Do people normally turn to phoenixes that are golden? Uh, I assume so, yeah. Okay. That seems right. Oh, no, hell. <laughs> yes, literally. <Yeah>. Bye, Eric. Yeah, this is a this is a gimmick multiplayer game that made it big, but it's like a timeless thing of funny Takashi Castle style uh, game show thing. Yeah, and you know, I, I might try it again if there's if there's fewer eggs. <laughs> There'll never be fewer eggs, feel. Yeah, I need to tap in so I can give give the Fall Guys report. I get a get a bean on the ground to see what's actually happening over there. Yeah, I feel like this thing was super hot for a little while, but then did drop a lot, and that's why they're going free to play now. I mean, that is definitely the case. Um, that doesn't mean that I think it's a bad idea that they're going free to play. Oh, no. I think they that's... probably should have launched that way. Right. Yeah. They, did, they didn't know uh, what they had. Then it launched on PS Plus for free, and then it took over. 
and then Epic Bomb them, so it's just Rocket League again. Oh, I forgot that Epic Bomb them. Yeah, yeah. You, you gotta wonder how many times you can see that story as PlayStation before you go, God damn it! Yeah, right. Not saying it didn't work out for PlayStation, it definitely did. Fans of competitive Fortnite rejoice. It is my great pleasure to announce that I just start, started November looking around for a Raleigh, fan of North competitive Carolina, Fortnite. We'll be inviting one yeah, players to go head to They head said fans of competitive of Fortnite, Fortnite rejoice and I'm like what a weird thing for a conference to right epic game. All right. Okay. We yeah, yeah, we're, we're cuz um cuz I reinstalled it. And I was like I might work through this battle pass cuz they have a mode that doesn't have building now. For all the details, yeah. check out at Epic And they're like we have Darth Vader Twitter. at the end of the battle pass. His gun is called the Darth Shader. Okay. Oh, like, all right. I need that. I heard that they didn't that they didn't give you lightsabers for melee weapons. They gave you some dumb looking uh like Yeah. You have a trophy from the Empire or something you beat people uh, with? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really weird because they got a lot of the other things right with like a cosmetic where you're diving out of the out of the blimp or whatever. And just three TIE fighters fall with you. Oh, that's good. And like oh, yeah. an Imperial March taunt. Rumbleworth was real for moments, and then it was gone again. Yeah. What was it? I'll oh, never know. There's PC building simulation simulator too. That's They're very like, cool. play this because you can't get a graphics card. And I'm like, but my PC can't run it. <laughs> Man, we've truly created a prison of our own making. Oh, yeah. hey, Alan Wake too. Cool. It's the same trailer as before, but you know, it's cool to bring it up again. They're like, we gave them $500 million. Yeah, I love Alan Wick, too. <gasps> he's, got, he's got the long hair. Mm. Like John does. I see, yes. Where could you get an Alanathan? <laughs> Maybe. Wait, really? Mm-hmm. Let's pick up the line. God damn it. It's funny how the Epic Games logo kind of looks like a military badge. So I just, I was like, oh, no, military. Oh, uh, we're good. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not IGM. We're on GameSpot right been now. Since open beta, and no. Now the best time to play Rogue Company. We've no. added nine rogues. It's real. Maps, we swear. Nine weapons and 12 you can play it even. Like to thank the entire is that a threat? <laughs> Rogue Company would not be here. It is. I remember that summer now, gaming where it was beating me with it. Launch, you know, I just randomly hit print screen on this dude, and I feel kind of bad because of how he oh, looks no. now. This this, oh, no. this chat background guy, the yeah. host. Okay. Maybe I misheard them. Did they say that the game is now launching? And it was just an early access until now? I think that's right. Uh, Eric, let me catch you up. I just an update, because I remember being on Switch. Here's what you missed, Eric. Celebrate yep. Fortnite. For really? Yeah. Tell me more. We're nope. Not done yet. That oh. was it? Releasing new battle pass Fortnite. Good. Wilds, the statement, skins, emotes, fans of Fortnite competitive Epic rejoice. We have a free and then and then there was a moment of today. me going, why would they say that in a comp? Oh, right. Epic game. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Nah. Got it. I could do this all day. Cool Look at this team. We're going to do great. Hey, Bebop. <laughs> Welcome to the out, motherfucker. I love top down Borderlands. Yeah, I'm like, this is this art style is a little too close to Borderlands, guys. Please. <laughs> I want to go to the crack. I want to do it. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. You must be allergic the two that. things I see the most in the YouTube chat for this stream mm -hmm. is Morbius game with skulls around it and hashtag Thanks Peter Griffin Fortnite. Game store summer showcase. <laughs> That's pretty you good. The fresh look at it's over. Favorite games coming to the store. What, what, what? Don't forget to follow our social channel. It's been 20 know, minutes. Just, it's been, I was yeah, like, someone just said a show was starting in 10 minutes. So it's like, five oh. minutes long. <laughs>
And now, please enjoy this special look at the Saints Row Boss Factory. Take care, everyone. We get to see more of the Saints Row Boss Factory. Yeah. I don't... I think, I think you could have used by now. Yes. How exciting. Um, so the Trebekah Game Spotlight is next. Is that it? Yes, unless something else That's got announced recently. Where, where, do, where is that appearing? Uh, I believe IGN is posting it. Oh. Uh, I don't remember that event in years past. Is that new? Or? It seems to be new. Okay. Man, this, this show is also dire. I don't think there was a single new game. There was a no, conference? It, it, I don't remember there was, anything. It just, it just starts to become one of those ones where I start to fall asleep. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, there wasn't anything to react to. Right? Feels like it's 1.30. I should get an energy drink. I mean, if there was any more of that exact conference we went through, that would be fair. Even I that, starting friend, to think. Boss is uh, so, Bob, F? Yeah, F. <laughs> F. F. A grade implies there was a show. So, 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 what, hey, what hey. is, what is, no, 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 they give you that, like, did not show up enough. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Is that, it, it's, I get it's incomplete. incomplete. Yeah. Okay. I audited this, this conference. I, everyone else You're gave it an F. I haven't, I haven't thought of I, yeah. I grade. It's so long. Okay. Well, that was that. <laughs> What was what? I don't remember what happened. Thanks, buddy. Uh, that was uh, us. Don't you remember? We spent the last 30 minutes just listening to this. <laughs> nice. Oh, no, oh. it's muted. Oh, no. It paused. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> so according to the uh, the IGN thing, uh -huh. the next thing's the Outriders thing, then Tribeca Games. Okay. The Outriders, the Outriders thing must only be right like there. 15 minutes. Yeah, because two is when the, uh, oh the other thing starts. God. I'm so excited. This is great. You gonna tap in on this Outriders expansion, Bob? <laughs> no. <laughs> the, uh, kids, maybe you don't know this. They're charging $60. A little dip, dip in, right? Yeah, it's just a sixty dollar dip. Yeah, it's just a buy the full game again. What? Those Gigaboots influencer powers to uh? Yeah, I'm almost certain. Oh, they're like, oh, they're like, oh, we gave away, we gave this away for free and made nothing. We better make the the only way to get the expansion buying it again. Yeah, see, chat's already where I was gonna head. I'm gonna be like, I don't have time for Outriders World Slayer. I'm playing Point B. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> no. You, what you need to do is you need to get a free copy. You email and say, I'm Bob from Gigboots.com. We started the Point B sweep. <laughs> game, please. <laughs> game, we, please. We, we could do that. Game. We could do that for you, Outriders World Slayer. <laughs> no, we couldn't. <laughs> what, what, whatever. I, I follow the publishers like new Twitter person. They're like, my DMs are open for Outriders World Slayer. Uh, by the way, chat pulls up. Give give a grade to uh, EGS. Sorry, I isn't an option. We don't get enough. Netflix geeked Twitter pictures. Pointy now. Oh, oh my God. that fucking rules. <laughs> they're committed. They know. They know what their star player was. <laughs> yeah, they're just playing a Netflix geek. Just playing pointy. Geek was better because a neuron fired, even if it was pain. This was nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was surprised to see people chat be like, yeah, this was a C. I was like, for, for what? For what? <laughs> they were Specifically what? <laughs> mostly, most of that was updates for games that had already released. <laughs> Complete pointy saturation. <laughs> <laughs> There we I go. Hate the I hate marketing do. on this where they're like, it's point in time. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, tweeted the image of the profile just to show people, like, they've changed yes. it to point B, and I tweeted, it's all coming up point B. <laughs> Jesus. This is insane. EGS wasn't that bad. What are you talking about? It was short, but it was just a distraction. 
Yeah, I, it okay. was one of those ones where it's like, I feel like I can safely tune out because they're not going to show anything. And that's depressing because I was waiting for them to start the show. Right. And then they ended it. Yes, yeah, so I was oh, like, cool, well, sure, pre-rolls, wait. This is wait. epic <laughs> games. They have, they can get stuff. Yeah, I mean, like, we just I, talked I, about I a number of things they had. Yeah. Mm. I, I understand where chat's coming from. They're so used to these conferences where there's something really bad that's like flaying their skin off. <laughs> but that was nothing, and that's also... There are levels of bad that's warping them into thinking bad things are good. <laughs> I need to get a bagel or something. You know, no. I was gonna ask you, have you ever... I Eric, I'm gonna go get a coffee. Oh. Yeah, that's fair. I, I need to do something like that, too. Uh, Eric, I was gonna ask, did you ever beat Crash 4? Did you try? Did I you began to play it, okay. and... Just, I don't know, fell off. Just I fell off because of the slid. OCD thing, where it's just like every level's like, <sighs> yeah. you'll never be as, as, as. <laughs> it started playing three hours of relaxing SNES music. <laughs> no, you're going to put chat to sleep. I'm going to no. need you to stop no, that Water shit World, right no. now. No, <laughs> you'll kill the chat. Waterworld, please. You're trying to ruin my viewership. Oh, you know, yeah, no, that was the, the constant FOMO of go back and play it. Yeah. Like, I just want to keep going. What are you doing? Stop! You're listening to Smooth SNES Jazz here with Dan the Man and Eric. Uh, the Wolf. The How? Wolf. Yeah, there you go. Eric the Wolf. And then that's when you come yeah. in. And do it. Okay, Dan the Man and Eric the Wolf. How? Here on Gigaboots. <laughs> yeah. Kevin Costner was in this game. He played Robin Hood once. Wow. You'll never be the man Kevin <laughs> Costner was. He's nine feet tall and ripped as shit. He's nine feet tall and ripped as shit. <laughs> I, don't, I will forget Ch everything about China, China, Illinois on my deathbed except for that <laughs> phrase. As I slip into death's sweet embrace, I will remember that. You go, <laughs> nice. I'm going to go to a Chili's. All right. Okay, let's see what scores Chad gave it. Uh, F1, because of course. 35 Ds. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> God damn it. It's so weird that they eventually just drop out your ability to view it. Okay. Three Cs. Two As and one B. Ooh, fuck. Gave it two A's. That's what insane. Is, maybe they're Fortnite heads. They're like, oh <laughs> there man. There wasn't any hype Fortnite announcements. I would have given it a buff if they did that. But there was that section that said it was a hype Fortnite announcement. No, they were like, aren't you excited for Fortnite competitions? And I'm like, that's not content, so no. <laughs> you guys, Like, if they had just shown me what Casey was talking about with fucking Vader, I would have been like, oh, this is cool. This cool yeah. thing. Instead, I'm. you're so boring. I'm sitting here thinking about Point B. <laughs> Yep. Oh yeah, did you see they're doing like a mini FF7 event thing on Thursday? You're gonna fucking put our audience to sleep, Fire Emblem. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, Thursday? Like a- Yeah, it's, it, it's oh. literally a 10 minute long thing, so they're probably just gonna put a teaser of that thing on there, because it's the 25th anniversary thing. Oh, okay. Also, people keep posting about how Gact yesterday posted footage of him doing a concert while wearing his Genesis costume. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you mean his personal item of clothing that they featured on the character Genesis? <laughs> right? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, 100%. <laughs> Good for him. He's been sick recently. You may use this he, he, for he's my He's returning boudoir. to singing and whatnot. Oh, that's good. Yeah, he apparently had health issues for like several months. No one was coming by his hand. It was really depressing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's that's pretty rough. Toxic Seahorse is all right, I guess. He's pretty toxic, though. Up until he got canceled. Yeah. <laughs> so you were fine with what he was doing? <laughs> is that what you're saying, Eric? Rot roll. <laughs> Someone uses Toxic Seahorse as their rant sona, explaining why women are bad. Women. <laughs> Good? Bad? Yes. <laughs> to 
toxic seahorse <laughs> riding in the comments. <laughs> Those were old tweets. He's changed <laughs> since then. <laughs> Bob, do you have any toxic seahorse takes? <laughs> <laughs> Not really, no. Uh, well, I, I often think that he might be a crab, or possibly crystal-based. <laughs> <laughs> that's X2, though! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Bob's like everything past X1 is a crab. <laughs> Return to crab. All these Mavericks look like crabs to me. That's racist. <laughs> I hope Sony puts this on PlayStation Plus Plus Plus. I don't, because I'll platinum it while saying, what a shitty version of this fucking game. The one with the smooth jazz? <laughs> yeah. The one where it's like, we can't play real guitar. Let's play synth. That sounds like fucking garbage. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this is the worst. It was a different time back in 2017. Oh, no. <laughs> It's okay, he was really young then. 29, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> been a day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think Poipy could be a Maverick? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. You if you would like to draw Poipy as a Maverick, <laughs> feel free to send that in. I feel like Poipy could be a really strong Maverick. I'm sorry, Toxic Seahorse starting a Let's Play channel with Dark Side Phil. Oh no. Oh no. We we need a little point beat with a little denim jacket. <laughs> that actually would be great, yes. Will Toxic Seahorse show up on Colin Moriarty's show? No. Oh. Yeah. After after his after his broken. <laughs> after that interview. Yeah. He's doing the whole circuit. I'll check into Colin Moriarty's show from time to time, and then he'll say some shit where he has to remind people again that, you know, KO KOF's owned by the Saudis, and no one's willing to report on it but me. No one's willing to no question these No one's willing to things. Re report on the thing that literally everyone covered. <laughs> He's it's like, everyone no keeps fact. saying it's good, but do they know what's going on? And then he just starts ranting about China. Cool. <laughs> what a, what a level-headed guy. He he knows a lot. I'm sure. Every time, every <laughs> yes. time ten, every time ten cent acquires someone, he's like, "This is it." <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sure that also he he gets to upset when Microsoft acquires massive studios too, right? No, he's all in on like America. Of course. I knew that was the answer coming, but I had to know. Who, who where, where, where he Where he's like, <laughs> he's like, don't worry, guys. All of our merch is American made. And I'm like, come on, dude. Come on. You're going to start selling me supplements? Mm, absolutely. <laughs> They'll ward off the, the five Gs. Ugh. I'm just going to tune out and listen to this regular seahorse. Um, trying to remember what else happened. What, I we didn't we didn't rate IGN Expo because we didn't watch all of it. I feel bad yeah. rating that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, like that was the best thing today by far. Yeah, yeah. They actually had a good number of games I wanted. I want to play. Yeah, I, I guess you could give it like a B or something. I I would lock out A since we didn't actually finish it. Yeah, I mean, there's there's this horror that uh, whatever was left was horror. Or horrible. Yeah, yeah, it's true. We should never check it. We don't want to crush the waveform. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, thank you, Chad. You did remind me when that Six Days in Fallujah game came out that they're like, here's the recruiter video game. Uh. Mm. And uh, every everyone was shitting on a calm morning. I was like, I'm gonna interview these people. I'm gonna get the real story here instead mm -hmm. of this biased the liberal games media. <laughs> Were those the devs that said this is not political? Yes. And we everyone just laughed in their face for three days. So do you think that the pointy Twitter account like has uh, 40 or more retweets? 
I, I honestly hope so. <laughs> now you have to check if there is a point to Twitter account. <laughs> you better start one now. Get in on the ground floor. <laughs> yeah, maybe Netflix pay me. Nah, it's probably like Pointy Game or something like that. You know, I don't know how to spell point P. <laughs> P-O-I-M-P-Y. Yes. What with a P? Yes. Okay. Point it's P. not awkward to say at all. We've been saying <laughs> it a thousand times. Point P sweep is actually on the first thing to come up. Fuck yeah. <laughs> In the <laughs> procedurally generated war crimes. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, yes. Point P. The point P sweep. How many, actually? <laughs> Not that many, no. Oh, okay. Oh, well. uh, I mean, KZ is the first one that's showing me. Oh. <laughs> Pioneer. Sorry. Uh, I, I, they're doing a bunch of Sonic interviews with, with staff, and oh. he's a called so Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Unfortunate. Because <laughs> I guess they're like, hey, we want to talk to you about bad Sonic games you didn't make. <laughs> yeah, there's not seem to be a Point B Twitter account. There's just Netflix yeah, no. putting Point B up on there. Now's the time. Yeah, the you closest thing I could find is like the, the developer's point. Twitter, but they're like Japanese. Netflix literally has tweeted out the word point B. <laughs> Just the word point B. <laughs> and it turned his tire. Oh, all Re caps with a period. <laughs> yes, point B. Hey, the official hey, Netflix account, even not even geek. Yep. yep. Why not an exclamation mark? It, you that's got implied by too excited. That's implied by the he all caps. The point loud and proud. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do I need to be a Netflix subscriber to play Point P? You do, yep. Banshee. Yep, you can I'm download sorry. it from the App Store, and as soon as you boot it, it says log in with your Netflix account. And, and then it kind of hitched for me for an entire second as it tried to boot into the actual game <laughs> after the login work. What you got there? You got a bagel? Oh, no, no. Give me your sound. <laughs> what? I want that one. I don't that want one. That one. one. You made it look good. <laughs> Warning, it's got a slice of cheese on it. I was thinking about the slice of cheese. Cool. The Squid Games Twitter tweeted about Point P. And they're not. Yeah, they tweeted, okay, I'll bite. Point P, all <laughs> caps. There are no condiments on it, so. Add mustard or mayonnaise or whatever. Eric's like, nah, I don't like spicy sandwiches. I'm like, a bit <laughs> mayonnaise? Like and can tolerate bodily are two very different things. Yeah. Wait, can you not eat mayonnaise? Oh, no, okay. Very spicy. Mayonnaise is very spicy, look out. <laughs> Uncle Ben, what happened? Point B. <laughs> they then point B. I'm glad we had like over 500 views for the Netflix section. What's up? What? Ah. Yeah, that's, that's the Japanese mayonnaise. Yeah. Gonna... yeah. Yeah, QP doesn't have labels. It's weird. It's pretty fucking weird. Is this Trebekah or something else? <laughs> we're, we're distracting them. One moment. They're like, I could write something, but I definitely can't read. Just don't know. I think it might be World Slay. I'm gonna be honest. I looked at too many different screens all at once. My vision blurred, and I thought it said podcast, and I started losing <laughs> it. Hey, everybody, check out our Outriders podcast. <laughs> we got the dude from On Deck here. And people in the fucking comments are like, "Man, I knew they were square cocks, but this is ridiculous. I've never seen someone suck this much dick." <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. They're not even talking about Outriders anymore. They just keep talking. They just keep talking about Final Fantasy 16 <laughs> on their Steam Deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, please be excited for World Slayup. <laughs> <laughs> I may have zoomed in a little bit too much. I may have gone a bit too far in some places. I need to check something real quick. <sighs> Point B. Yep, it's already bringing it up. Oh, that's good. One moment. Look at this image of Jeff they got. Look at the thumbnail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is perfect. He looks so done with this. Hey, everybody. I'm here to, to read my cue card. I'm here with 13 point B's. God, what layout is this? Broken, evidently. <laughs> it's got an infamous month goal. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why my stream deck just misassigned this. It linked it to Mega Man no Mega Man Maker no super chats. Man, look at this! <laughs> look at this! We're so close to that goal. You're just gonna pick the opposite ones now. Good viewer icon. Point in time. What's up, Bob? Real human thinking, being on camera. I'm just thinking, sitting here thinking about how Point is going to be a word with no meeting in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> no single person on Earth will be able to tell you what the word Point B refers to. <laughs> Disappointment! <laughs> You'll be at the DMV renewing your license, and it's like, what's the date of birth? Point B? Whoa. <laughs> Sir? Sir? You have to come in the back. Stand him point. What? That's really good of you, Shark. I'm going to need to save that one moment. Fantastic. Oh, what is up with the, the weird wealth on Point B's head? Oh, uh, that's that's point B. Oh, uh, that is just point B. Yeah, I know that's how point B is supposed to look. Is it part of the cannon or his head? Is it like, is it like where he shoots the rope out to do the jumps he does? It's a little. Oh, he, doesn't, he doesn't have rope. I think no. He seems to have another one on his back. So I think this is like a super simplified version of like Bub from yeah, Bubble yeah, Bobble. Yes, exactly. Oh. You can't see it because of the denim jacket. I see. That's so weird. Yeah, they literally ripped off Bub, and it's fucking killing me, but... What you gonna do? Oh, oh, what, what do we got for time on this? Well, world slay-up. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Outriders World Slayer podcast. In the final minute, until the thing no one wants to watch... <laughs> They're going to show that same trailer again. The woman's going to do her tender old tag, and I'm going to be like, great. Exclusive. Oh, this is probably licensed music. 100%. Your, your, your text scroll's uh, out of control a little bit. Oh, yeah, no, it's uh, it's angry. <laughs> uh, it gets pissed off real easily. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I use that every stream. I know it. IGN, please stop doing pre-roll music. That's going to get literally everyone claimed. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with them. Uh, they hate everyone who co-streams. I guess. Yeah. That's psychotic, though. <sighs> a little bit. Oh, man. Yeah, they can't be a hero like Jeff who's like, please, co-stream. <laughs> Do it. I wonder what this will be a trailer for. <laughs> <laughs> if we see anything other than Outriders, I will be blown away. <laughs> That will be funny as shit. Outsliders, the Sliders sequel. That would be Dan insane. It's a Sliders event. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Did it break? I hope so. <laughs> I, hope. I just want to stare at a black screen for a bit. It feel nice. They canceled it. We, we can't compete with Point B. Did we cancel the event? Smart. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it looks, it looks like it's broken. We got to this point and realized that we were insane for trying to make an expansion pack to Outriders. So we just... Shut it all down. <laughs> oh man, Point B's dancing. Point B's like, there are no technical difficulties. Look at me. I'm, I'm Point not, B. 
I'm calling this one Doinkby. Stick that down there. I'm, of course, going to have to quote tweet this U Shark thing and be like, finally, our first Poipy fan art. <laughs> This is live, right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I can I, even move this to show you. I, wa I wonder how much ch their chat is freaking out. <sighs> Who am I kidding? Who cares? It's a <laughs> world slayer. <laughs> I always wanted fan art of me as a knockoff of Bub <laughs> from Bubble Bubble. <laughs> there's, Thank there's you, nothing, you Shark. There's, there's nothing funny to me. Oh, this where Enix stream's in... working? No. And they just failed? IGN fucked up. Again! IGN! IGN. <laughs> Stop fucking us, IGN! I don't, know, I don't know how they just let that go for two straight minutes with nothing. Right? No one cared. No one's paying attention. Okay, true. There's it's, 1,700 it's, it's people too... here. That's nothing. It's too late. We need to just stare at the black screen for 13 more minutes. I'm kind of with feel on yeah, this one. that's fair. I am also kind of in there. But fucking, I'm not going to want to sync up. Yeah, I don't even see. Oh, it's, it's coming back. Oh, oh nice. Uh. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> this it's is a coming panic back. screen, but, they, but something came back. They have a Twitch. Oh, ah. <laughs> that man blew up. <laughs> what do you think? 10 out of 10, leave me alone. Something I've never been able to ascertain from any of these Outriders trailers is what the aesthetic, what, what's like the theme of the game is. Uh, don't worry, it's I'm just... pretty sure this, this expansion looks like it's completely changing that. Yeah. Oh. oh. To, to gross core? Like grime and tentacles and stuff. Mm -hmm. See, she's morally gray. <laughs> yeah, this one's about family. The first was... one's like a weirdly serious military-ish story. And mm. With people who start having superpowers. Yeah. And this looks like it's just going fully wild. I don't know, though. Yeah, I was going to say, this trailer and the Destiny trailer should have that legal mandate that toy commercials used to have, where you have to start it as, you can imagine. <laughs> yeah. You and your friends are these guys. Yeah. If you have the pyromancer's burning desire to collect every item of gear, every weapon, every mod, and let's face it, why wouldn't you? I'm a working Listen adult with a life. This is Don't the you want to pour your entire... Wait, wait, actually... Serious. Technically, no, you <laughs> are. <laughs> 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 Shut up! You really just give him potential reasons. Welcome to your biggest challenge yet. I was so used to him today, saying it, I let him get away with it like twelve times today before I went. Wait a minute. World Slayer Endgame, a vast and pretty damn scary place called the Trial of Taria Kratar. Look, I'm sitting here watching Next the Outriders the Expo. Nobody this is work. This, I'm working right now. <laughs> yeah, as as listed on Gigaboost.com, you are a writer. Am I? Other than wow. that, it's still the same description <laughs> from uh, 12 <laughs> years ago. Fantastic. Please keep in mind, as we so many things in life, it's been 12 years. You forgot to fire him. <laughs> you team up with friends and experience yeah. It together. I, was, I got confused a couple of times. He pretended I was looking at a mirror. I got scared I was about to fire <laughs> I did, like, myself. The move with you thing. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Eric, you're... Wait, wait you're me. <laughs> One moment. First things first. You might ask yourself, what the heck... You might ask yourself... And why are we here in the first place? Sam, How did I get here? <laughs> the history of this place just yet. And you take this game, lose $10 million. And you take this game. And with thirty million dollars, <laughs> too much. That this place is deeply rooted in the legacy of Planet Eden. Once in a lifetime. Now, now it's on Game Pass. <laughs> I have to wonder if it's still on Game Pass. They were like, "No, get us off now." Celestial Cage, you can't make that joke yet. Wait till Sunday. 
your right eyes go up. What is death loop? Yeah, you gotta wait till Thunder when we get a death loop trailer and <laughs> Theo begins I'll death spiraling. I'll just walk out. I'll just walk out. Like <laughs> it, it'll his audio will just sound like the Bugs Bunny cartoon where Bugs is on the plane that runs out of gas and starts plummeting to the earth on fire. Mm -hmm. No, it'll just you'll just hear like one of those bits where it's like steps, door slam, going downstairs, car revving. <laughs> Plane taking <laughs> off, <laughs> space <laughs> shuttle taking <laughs> off. Dirigible start. <laughs> Everyone starts at your base camp, conveniently set at the entrance to the trial area. Here you will find. We had a conversation about it on uh, in, in in the Discord chat, where there's that that rumor that it's like maybe they're going to reveal a banjo game because uh, Phil Spencer uh, played Banjo Kazooie on his Xbox for 30 minutes and got two achievements. And uh, Dan said something like, if they do a CG trailer only, I'll be curious. And I'm like, I will blot out the sun. I, I will be angrier than I was for Fable. If they, if they show a CG trailer for Banjo, but it starts with like any studio that's ever shipped a game, I'll be yeah, like, okay, I I'm willing to give you, you enough rope to not say this is fake immediately. The Battletoads people shipped a game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, they didn't. First of all, no, they did not. <laughs> <laughs> Counterpoint, no. Counterpoint, I played it, no. I refuse yeah. your existence and replace it with my own perception. <laughs> Well, okay, let me put someone who shipped a game in spirit, not just in technicality. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, like if, they're, if they're like Banjo Kazooie made by Platonic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be fine because that's Platonic. Or even, or even Double Fine. Psychonauts 2 is fine. It's better than any other thing Microsoft has shipped since they started acquiring companies, even if it's not an exclusive. But yeah, but yeah, I don't really need a CG trailer or something because uh, the last time they did that with Banjo was the first time I've been catfished by a video game. I, I would <laughs> Banjo, assume nuts and bolts, that after yeah. all this time, I feel like the move would be remaking one and two. Nah, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> they God, they might. <laughs> yeah, they might. Because the, the point oh, yeah, you yeah, got to they, they get new people in. Because even if the old ones are available, a lot of people aren't going to go back to N64 game. Which is an understandable stance. I totally get people who are put off by first generation 3D games. Yeah. I like it, but... I feel like you can just do the crash more things and make another one. John, John Juan Doe, I unironically think that they should give the It Takes Two Team some real big 3D platforming franchise. Like, they obviously have the chops for it. I mean, they can't exactly write for shit, but they have good at gameplay ideas. That that fucking book fits right in it, Banjo Kazooie, for being honest. <laughs> it does feel like he was transplanted from a Banjo Kazooie Hello, game. Hello, I'm a talking book. That's already annoying. And we're in I'm like, ah, I'm Dr. Akim. I sound like Phil doing a st strong bad voice. Hey. So come on down to Manolio's Electropod. <laughs> Unlike Sid or Card Gage on speed. <laughs> but yeah, Feel a second ago was like, yeah, you could let the Double Fine make a banjo game. You could see on my face where I'm disgusted. He was like, yeah, you could cross that stand up comedian you dislike with scat. <laughs> I was like, this is this is a special hell he's crafted in my brain. I didn't think Psychonauts was super fantastic, but there's literally no problem with that game. Psychonauts 2 is fine. I don't need a banjo game written by Tim Schafer or anyone at Double Fine. I think that will eat my Even the jokes of those games are in, in Psychonauts 1 and 2 are fine. Mm -hmm. Also... Keep an eye out for our new Sunfall I'm probably letting Tim Schafer as a stage presence override my brain. Yeah, but I did enjoy the story of Psychonauts 2. That's why I wanted to keep playing. I really did. Yeah, you beat Psychonauts 2. I, I liked it a lot. I enjoyed it a good bit, but then realized it wasn't going to make my top 10 list for like game and of the year. Like, I gotta move on. I got shit to do. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, th this is the Hammer of Dawn from Gears. It definitely is literally that. That's so strange. <laughs> Imagine all the connections we will continue to make when we get to Cogist. Yes. Cogist. 
That was fun. Is that what it's You called? are sick. That's the plan. We'll the what? Down. You are sick. The people <laughs> paid for it. Yeah, we have to. It's we'll happening. You are sick. <laughs> volcanic eruption on impact. No, Kuggus sounds like too much like it's like Kuggus, and that would obviously be some sort of Char Aznable month. I don't... Or Iron Mask, or whatever they call them. Overheat and Ash Blast already on our skill bar. Yes, I love Ash Blast. added a fourth one on demand. Nice. 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 You have to use your Ass Blast. First stop by the Taco this, Bell. This really looks like a game that Sheldon is playing in an episode of Big Bang Theory. <laughs> <laughs> that, they, that they had made for the episode and isn't real. That someone from the SVU unit is watching with disdain, like kids are all into this these days. Yes. That's, yeah. Kids love this. They, 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 they destroy their lives. They spend their mother's credit cards all on. Are you serious? I can't believe Point B would do that. <laughs> kids love Point B. And Point B loves kids. This game really does have a Hellgate London vibe. Oh it does, yeah. Where it's like, it, this should be cooler than it is. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is we need to petition Ross's game dungeon. <laughs> Play Outrider. Yeah, before oh, I that. During this time, you will I really need that. Your weapons I, I feel so bad for Ross. I don't think he's come out with a single video all year and he's going insane. <laughs> oh, what happened? He's got like three videos in production and he's got editors he's working with and the whole thing's a nightmare and he's going insane. Oh. We now have the option of progressing to the first boss arena. You know, I've, I've been, I've been interested in uh, people's thoughts on this. From these crossroads. Mm, let's keep that I'm uh, just losing it over the subtitle that said, we now have the option to progress to the first boss. I'm like, was that not in the game before? <laughs> New with this expansion pack, bosses. <laughs> Going to the first boss. <laughs> <laughs> boss that spent the entire Halo infinite energy the entire core game the dude's in there and he's like hey Let's can you let me out <laughs> the door is locked <laughs> new with this expansion boss well how many boss oh <laughs> and boss wow wow wow, 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 wow. <laughs> i will confirm i fought a boss wow. in the regular game when did they get to get that dude from this uh the pitch meeting to co-host an e3 stream and just go wow 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 wow, wow. <laughs> i don't know it's a missed opportunity it really is uh what were you gonna say completing a full run uh because we're like a couple days after the xbox thing i didn't know if eric was gonna be here for it i wanted to ask him how many 2022 games from xbox will we get because currently we're at zero <laughs> i'm gonna guess zero well one i don't know which one do we count they're, they're, ports from ps5 <laughs> oh, yeah do, yeah do we, do we count, count do we count do we count death loop <laughs> what if they can't even get that done in this year well no, 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 no tell me what death loop is because i don't know chance. yeah i, I would think... not count death loop i would count a thing that is xbox pc okay so that would okay. come out this year High risk always comes with high rewards. Oh, is there room for the Xbox or is aggro? Hmm? Is there so room at the Xbox? No, no, the Xbox event has aggro and you up. see how... <laughs> like, imagine a dude twice as big as anyone in this room. <laughs> he took his white pills. <laughs> <laughs> he took his nanos. <laughs> yes. It's really unfortunate. He does not follow the summer gaming dress code over there. I know, right? I can loan him this. Where is a hat? That would be... Where is a hat? <laughs> now it's almost time. I think the Trebekah thing's supposed to start like now. I I thought it was gonna be on IGM. But I don't know anymore. I'm lost. Where am I? How did he get here? Yeah, Mark One Dragon just sitting on the kitchen counter in the back, throwing like tomatoes at the screen. <laughs> maybe IGN slightly delayed because they didn't stream anything for three straight minutes of a, of a black screen. <laughs> right. So they're just off schedule. <laughs> They're very smart. The important thing is that we give Outrider the time it deserves. No. <laughs> at, at, at no. a trade show and never on my television.
I'm gonna be honest, all the footage they showed of this was way more compelling than anything they showed of the core game. Yeah. Before it came out. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm still like... They're like, everyone knows what this is, I guess we'll just show it. It's on Trebekah's YouTube. All I of Trebekah has a YouTube? GameSpot stream. Mm. GameSpot? Yeah, I'll put the link in. Got it. I think this thing's ending. Yeah, it does seem to be. It was just there three minutes late because they did an oopsie. Oopsie poopsie. Yeah. Oopsie poop poop poop. Nowhere is safe. Some tell stories about maybe we're better off sticking with the other thing just so we can get the beginning of it. Yeah, maybe. I mean, obviously. I, I, to tackle yeah, a solo I still work. have it up, so. Well, there's still. You have my infinite respect for beating Endgame by yourself, but you might want to bring. Yeah, I don't know if this thing is ever going to end or if it's just going to run on into other stuff. Speaking of company, where you at, Rami? Okay, it's yeah, that's rough. Those questions and answers. Nope. Or an experience that tells us something true. Alright. Yeah, see, this shit ain't ending. Yeah, yeah, wow. Chances are, you're gonna find a little bit of it in these games. Here are the 2022 Tribeca game selection. It isn't always easy going back to the place where you grew up. For what? Nala, the star of Thirsty Suitors, Going back home for her sister's wedding means that she's it's a very fancy outfit. I it's and I yet kinda a dig bizarre it. teal bed sheet in the background, yeah. right? And the world's worst <laughs> audio. Everything yeah. is wrinkled. Could you could you consider maybe just buying this lady a two hundred dollar lav mic, please? No, all the budget went it's into the, that nice dress. It's the recorder. It's the mic. It does everything, and we could fucking understand her. I'm pretty sure this is um. The one that was in the Star Wars Battlefront 2 story mode that said, I love single player Star Wars games? No fucking way. Oh, no. Nina Gavankar? Plus, I'm. Yeah, I think it's her. Who is also a hyped up villain in Forspoken. God, that's the same person? Yeah. Falcon and fighting colonizers. Okay. Okay, I'm right. Thank God. I didn't want to, like, Attach the face to someone else. And South Asian on a team. I've been in the industry for about eight years by that point, so that's actually pretty shocking. No, I'm pretty sure that's Samuel Jackson, KZ. That's Wesley Snipes. Then who's that? That's Eli Roth. I, I need that to not happen. At least with Bobby, does it with white celebrities? <laughs> and to be fair, their names are Chris Pratt or Chris Pratt and Jason. The Chris's. <laughs> And, and all of their movies are on Netflix. <laughs> Chris and Co. <laughs> or I'm sorry, Amazon. Yeah, Amazon Prime. Oh, this Prime. is that game again. Yeah, okay. yeah. Morning, Ma. Thirsty Suitors is an action adventure RPG about immigrant culture, resolving relationships, family pressure, and finding oneself. Timber Hills, our hometown. I still don't get why we're back here. Jala is an extremely relatable character for anyone. Who God, really stop using that aggressive, deep, or blurring in the background. Everyone thing. is going to do that because they're like, it looks good. Sometimes it looks high there, quality, like a camera that has a bokeh. Maybe I oh, I wasn't Tyler fully paying Tyler. attention. So, yeah. Yes. Wow. wow. Guys, hear me out. Just take a picture of your room out of focus and print a fucking <laughs> billboard. <laughs> And just put it behind you. Interesting dynamic for the player. No, I will ever have my head melt. <laughs> <laughs> Is he wearing a hat? Is Here's he bleeding from the head? We'll never know. Eric, did you play twelve minutes? Every time you battle one of your exes, they go into their own. <laughs> uh, by the way, that that uh, no. pose okay. is humanly impossible. You can't possibly show your ass. Just... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Why didn't you play 12 minutes, my man? Is it because you don't have Game Pass or an Xbox? I can lend it to you. No, we, no, I know we've proven that it can work at my house. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, yes. Uh, I was busy enjoying soldiers. <laughs> so, oh, that animation. Eric, Eric can simply join Feel with dodging that game. Yep. This looks really bad. They yeah, can pass right over me. I, this, I don't say this lightly. I really don't. This is like inverse yik. Uh, I, that's what I Holy thought the moment, yeah. the moment they showed it. Yeah. 
the prior showing for this game did not give me that vibe. I'm getting so hardcore right now. Yeah, I, I my opinion of this went down through this presentation because I remember seeing it before. I love you, Jala. The only non-blurred background had the biggest, a huge wall of DBZ figurines <laughs> in an open door. Yes. They're like, why would I blur that? Conversation we've had. My pride and joy. I enjoyed it. It's so bad. It's something that a lot of people don't get to do in real life. I'm sorry I came on so strong, Jala. I've had this fantasy of you in my head for so long. It's time I got to know the real you. I'm ready to move on if you are. It's like inverted well, yik with Undertale. In a lot of families, food plays a large role in the culture and a large role in learning things from your parents and being able to pass those on. This feels and so outdated. Part of Jala's journey being able to reconcile that like this feels like the kind of project that would have existed a decade ago to do that on their grounds and you know reconnect with her culture like the we like the the extremely performative and ungenuine feeling over the topness mm -hmm. is something that feels really old to me i mean it, it literally comes off as a webcomic writing a joke about a game that's, that's yeah that's that that's yeah. it it feels like it feels like a old webcomic yeah it feels like someone who's like trying to be like scott pilgrim thank you i'm yeah. literally the whole okay. time i'm like it's like scott pilgrim but unbelievably cringe <laughs> and you're I'm talking sorry. about scott pilgrim but see that's the thing scott pilgrim the thing itself isn't cringe Anyone Scott, else, Scott you know, might, be might be, but <laughs> yeah. Scott himself is cringe, and that's part of the point. But this protagonist will never be cringe. He's too cool. And yeah. Living their life. And, the, and the, there's like that lack of self awareness in projects like this all the time, which makes them feel inhuman to me. I can't handle this being about as long as the Call of Duty showcase. Who she is. Look, this is the Rebecca Showcase. They're putting on a, a good big show for all these very important games. Not the chapel. No! I don't I don't know if anyone else is seeing this. This feels a little bit like the 3D animated version the of the Salt and Sanctuary animation style. <laughs> <laughs> all the joints feel yes. robotic. Yes. That's the question facing a child who's found a way to survive in the room. Like I want to give us a chance, but also no! stop. No! Oh no. It's happening to me too. No! <laughs> yeah, that okay, was also good, on mine. Good, that's their good. fault. Yeah, they may get yeah that, that's the, they're dropping frames. Okay. Isn't this a, just a fucking video they're premiering? Oh, it obviously was pre-recorded. Yeah, but they're still musicians. streaming it. And that's hard. Why? I, I don't know, Beaten, but we, yeah, because we're, when we're, we're completely buffering and think it's so bad. That might Jesus Christ, I'm gonna go check out. There's just so many people watching this. There's oh, the there's Game Awards streams, that might be better. Times. Yeah. Oh, the Game Awards, they have it. We started yeah, I'll link it. Yeah, yeah it's ahead of where we were, so yeah. Okay, let me go to Bob Cam, swoop. Of course, commercial success. Come over here. Thank you. Click. Years later, oh, also the volume's way louder here. I figured work. something was going wrong with that other one. Like yeah, GameSpot. Playing golf. They're such hacks. Yeah. They're, they're owned by venture capitalists. Bob, do you think that's like do you think that's the kid ducks really relevant, Bob? That they're owned by venture capitalists? Do you think that would make them hacks? No way. No way. Yeah, this is better. I was five and a sec, five and a half seconds behind you on the other okay. one. Vote populist. Man, I'm really, I'm really sad that I didn't get the exact perspective of the person making this. <laughs> the helmet is radio nostalgia from Mars, a radio station based on Mars, streaming music and stories of Tesla city dwellers' memories of their former home, Earth. Is this, is this the highest quality the stream goes? Okay. <laughs> Um, uh, what? I, uh, it's, is this, this an is adult swim show? For our today, this is future archaeology, future retro. Oh my god! A sci-fi scenario that prompts us to reevaluate the things we already have today. 
from friends and family to whole game about what is retro <laughs> water as marshall McLuhan would say we march backwards uh the end of <laughs> 2015. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the game says damn video games is wrong. The PS3 is not retro. <laughs> Brutalism stands for the 20th century and its apocalyptic war history. It stands for It's not like other sci-fi. This makes you think about the real world. Which led to This one's about the characters and climate change. In the 21st century, we have a brutalism of the soul. A reordering uh, the Eric, was that a direct quote from the behind the scenes uh, of Star Trek Picard season two? <laughs> brutalism of the soul. Brutalism of the soul. Is that so wrong? Just as humanity might. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fucking delightful. Okay. Absolutely exquisite. The, the moment we hit the PS6, March, and I'm like, the PS4 is retro, and I'm like, and then people go, <laughs> if that's retro, why do games still look like that? And I'm like, because we're in hell. <laughs> and then they go, oh no! <sighs> oh, this is not how this was supposed to go. And popular culture. A reflection on our commitment to storytelling <sighs> and world building. The game was that thing that post about anti-capitalist literature having zero teeth. <laughs> did, did, did you did you see what they edited it on to though? Yes. <laughs> Fucking Abe's Odyssey. That I laughed so hard. I was like, oh, that was so good. Open the players' minds and thereby bring a change in global politics and a universal bliss for all humanity. Hey, Bob. Hey. Did you know it's Rebecca Game Showcase is just shorthand for pretentious fuck showcase? I didn't until now when I should have guessed, honestly. Yeah, yeah I, I I assume, um, but... I'm gonna be optimistic about these games. Not these, not two where they've shown. The, 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 the future ones. As the tale unfolds I hope over the next few decades step into the shoes of there's a real double or nothing decide how that night will alter the no need to be so mean to hypes honestly it's true though oh man this youtube chat's actually just bad never mind <laughs> oh no really the, the copy pasta is woke fest 2022. Hello, that seems to be yeah we're excited to be here and we'd love to tell you more about interior night and our game as dusk falls why can't they do some Cool, like talk about Morbius. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Here's oh my god, oh my god it's Tom Tom goes in there. The yeah, Tom goes. <laughs> no, fucking, fucking come, back. come back. Oh, I fucking... guess uh, Rack's off to you. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Joe Biden here doing the fucking <laughs> Yo! raging demon. <laughs> Look, that, those robbers. That's this game barging into this conference to save us. <laughs> Dan, so what's we, need Tim? we need to do a spoiler cast when this comes out. Do it. I think this is a different game. <laughs> no, this is absolutely this is the same thing. lives of two families over 30 years. We have the loving family. See? The picture. The main character going to the mayor. Oh, yeah, I remember. This Besides, you can't look at that guy and not see Tom goes to mayor in every frame they took of him. Yeah, it, it, this is rough. Come on. I'm I'm really gonna enjoy the fucking uh, viewer image for that stream just being fucking Tom. Yeah. You can make yes. it sinks. <laughs> this is what happens when Phil becomes optimistic. You get gold. <laughs> the sound clip of Jefferson alive. <laughs> it's a fucking 12k redemption. And we need to do one of the sam stammering uh, mayor. Uh, mayor. We're gonna get this game. It's gonna be literally the most offensive thing we've ever played. Oh, oh no! It's, no, you played the medium and we played the medium and twelve minutes. I know so it's like it's horrifying. We got the well-rounded package of offensive to the senses and offensive as a message. So I don't know how we exceed that. Our game of the year category is gonna start heating up. Keep the house. Everything goes back to normal. There is our third main character who is Zoe. Daddy, are we every die? reaction oh. shot kills me. <laughs> yeah, every <laughs> shot it, it just looks terrible. It looks it's impossible to take seriously. I know, it's so good. It looks like he's gonna have the most serious story you possibly can too, so that really is Yeah, so that combined with the, the cuts just is it makes it a joke. Do they not know they're making a joke? 
characters and sets a, you a, a life as a joke. <laughs> Peel's quote from the first Nova Slides an original interactive drama is disappearing up its own ass as we want. Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> of course, this is why it looks the way it does. Every 14 days, and no, nothing I say further back than 14 days ago counts. Because I don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> That's, or that, that one was two it's years ago. We show you a screenshot. I never said that. So it's not a linear one version of the story. We have to think all the pieces, all the narrative space, all the branches feeding into one another. It's kind of a 3D map. It sounds kind of fun. <laughs> How could you have felt like <laughs> I love this fucking game so much. I don't know. Listen here, Jack. I never family, I felt trapped. We wrote every character on a place of empathy, and we try not to be judgmental towards any of them. How, try to I don't understand, like, and how you don't look at what you made and see and the comedy. And, and right? Innate. It it's it's the same sort of creator that makes stuff like Birdemic and the room where it's yeah. just just not aware. Yeah, they're just completely unaware of what they've done. And Somehow. I'm glad they're doing it. <laughs> the hair shaking as dusk falls. Oh man, we need a date. Time, we need I to know. know. <laughs> I know. I'm so sick of not when having a date. When does dust fall? On that game. Cooking is a way to connect to the culture and the life that she has left behind. Yeah, whatever. I don't care if you're not going to show Tom. Tom goes the narrative. I am. There, there you all go. <laughs> Wait, did they? Yeah. Oh my God. I yeah, they got, they got Gilbert. him. Here's a taste of what's to come in Vember. How did you get started in game development? Well, basically, I took a quiz online to figure out what my career should be. <laughs> what my personality type was? Right? And then it said I was the... I was... I was said the Joker. I was, says I was Walter White. <laughs> what? We were working on this project called Balloon Man. It was this uh -oh. Mega Man style boss rush game about this depressed superhero whose superpowers are uh, only to make balloons. We were a couple of months into the project when Abby texted me this uh, paragraph pitch of Venba. I was, I remember the day I was eating at a restaurant with my mom and my sister. So you decided not to make the, the boss rush game, which would have had mechanics, presumably. We moved to Canada in the late 1980s. It, uh, but this move, so far, this conference damage. seems to be so developers player, who are very really mad the, uh, they are the not making a film and are doing this game begrudgingly. Yeah, that's a Story lot of indie games. <laughs> yeah. I wish it wasn't, though. I, I want to hold out yeah, hope that this is actually a video game <laughs> in a more regular sense, but it, it's like seventh gen games media where they're like, I don't want to write about video games. Not work on. I can't believe they had the first person who talked about this. They literally, literally took some sort of online quiz to figure out if they should make a video game. I know. That's that's depressing. It's like, don't put that in your ad. I'm sorry. That's not what anyone wants to hear. And he adopts uh, English instead. So as a result, the literal communication between Venba and Coven is quite broken. And you can see this in the recipe book given to Venba by her mother as well, because in the travel, the words and the pages get damaged, so as a result, the communication between generations there too is quite broken. Benba, who feels a lot of guilt for having moved to Canada in the first place, doubles down on the things she holds dear, like her culture, her language, her food, the longer she stays here. So it becomes really important for her to fix the recipe book, um, because for her that's a way for this link to persist across generations. I am extremely happy. Yeah. Dia Dia Diamond also yeah. made yep. Gigaboot's point B fan art that I'm about to pop up with on screen. This is sad cooking mama. <laughs> yeah, cooking single mama. Yeah, there's not even a blockchain thing here. Oh my god, that thing's huge. The <laughs> gameplay specifically was a big challenge. Jesus. I think if he had like a troll dum, dum, F, it'll dum, fit dum, the screen. Dum, 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 <laughs> oh my dum, god! Dum, 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 dum. 
terms of cooking, like chopping an onion Boimpy. or flipping a pan, Boimpy. and turn those into actual gameplay mechanics. This didn't really fit the theme and the story of Venba. I and feel like if Jeff Gerstmann was doing an E3 event, to fruition, he would ask his guests if they had played Point <laughs> cooking game oh i gotta know i am absolutely certain one of your pod lords next week is going to edit a tonberry to look like pointy <laughs> <laughs> i think the tonberry one had to retire for a bit oh no right. yeah i know yeah. i'm sure we'll get a lot of tom goes to the mayor though <laughs> yes <laughs> tom goes to pointy <laughs> what is that thing with the fur on it that's the microphone oh yeah the, on a uh, h4n oh, no. yeah it's a zoom oh, okay. h4n a yeah. real piece of shit yeah. recorder that's the built-in this is oh that's embarrassing guys Don't this is that. you showcasing how you got really good quality i guys you need to understand they're using the built-in mic on an audio recorder it is the thing if you've ever listened to it that oh what is the dude with the curly hair that used to work at giant bomb the young kid patrick klepik klepik did all the interviews with it is not a good mic yeah no we used that mic like 10 plus years ago and it was bad it then was bad. so we didn't use it we used a real mic plugged into it showcases the game it's impossible to do justice to the wide range of oh damn it Jeff Gerstmann's uh, smart. He, he's Instead skipping every show till like <laughs> It's his right. He has a uh, uh, millions of patrons or thousands. Yeah, no, no, say it millions. Was, it, it feels really better that way. It does. Yeah, it was funny uh, seeing his schedule on Patreon June 9th, June 12th. <laughs> yeah. He's just not brave. I don't know what happened to his bravery. He's at least doing the PC game shot. Especially the relationship between first generation parents and their children. I think we saw some really good stuff during the IGN Expo and everything else has been the worst. I, yeah, I know. There, there was some good stuff in there. It is truly fascinating watching them tell the story. And I'm just like, yeah, I'd love to experience that story. This seems like a bad game. Yep. Can you tell this as any other format, please? Th that that last one seemed to make the most sense as a game. Yeah, at least it was cooking it's mechanics. A, it's it's a puzzle yeah. game framed as a cooking game. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna play it because the audio probably sounds like shit. From soldiers of the French Inquisition, swarms of rats carrying the Black Plague, and the supernatural evil coursing through Hugo's. Hey, they're bringing Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance two to all platforms this summer. Cool. Get ready for hand -to -hand cool. What was it Features on the enhanced on the uh, PlayStation 2. Yeah, oh, I was like, that's oh, the one oh, that's from the, the PS2. That's actually the good one. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, it, it features enhanced graphics up to 4K resolution as well as cooperative play locally. He doesn't deserve this. Nice. <laughs> oh, is this uh, that one game? Yeah. yeah. Tale. Tale. Two. Isn't a Sobo Studio the people who did the uh, Shadow of the Beast remake? Oh, is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm going I heard good stuff about A Plague Tale. Is Shitama V showing up? What? Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, this is a sequel, I think. Yeah, it is. She texted me a minute ago, so I assume that's her. The bite. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Gotta give me more than one minute to find out. Did you go to the magic show? Did it cost seventy dollars? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yesterday she brought me dip and dots. Today she brings me cotton candy. Does my girlfriend think I'm eight? More at eleven. Where's she, where's she going for these treats? Your house, actually. These were meant for you, and she brought them here to give to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird that they're showing like a high fidelity game after everything else. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Got a cram, a pound of cotton candy in my mouth. But yeah, it does seem insane to show this after all of those yeah. intensely indie games. And I don't know what's happening to me, Lucas. You've got the plague. I, I feel my mind going. <laughs> You're, You're gonna die. You're a peasant in 1500. It's really not that complicated. Mm. Smell these plants, you'll probably not die. I don't know. <laughs> Let me 
I've never been clear on what the gameplay of this is, because I always just see them running away from rats. Like, yeah. Is that the game? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I saw like, this... a lot of like chasing set pieces. Right. See, that's when he's like, it's really not that complicated. My new boss is a tiny airplane. He sent a ship full of clones out here to kill you. But I'm not a clone, I'm real. Now, this is the tricky part. Oh, nice. The Steam page for Gungrave is up. <laughs> Finally. What was that? <laughs> For our two co-hosts, I hit the Creamy Zeus full explanation button. <laughs> oh, nice! Creamy Zeus, the ranch pirate? Uh -huh. Why are you doing this to him? He's, he's voiced by David Hayter. <laughs> okay. On a, in an adult swim cartoon. Oh, <laughs> no one's, no one watched it, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna hit some of these right. buttons one moment. Uh, splish splash. <laughs> oh, there's, there's like a sneaking third person shooter mechanic to it? Okay, sure. <laughs> Why didn't I give them the power of spamming fascinating? That's a positive sound clip. It is. Okay, I'm pointing you up here. You pointing it up there? I'm pointing it up there. A Sobo did not make Shadow of the Beast remake. Okay. So have they done anything other than the Plague Tale games? I have no fucking idea. Or, you know, bat dirty wells or ticks or whores. Had the wave of rats. Yeah. Uh... They did Microsoft Flight Sim. What? I mean, okay. Guys, she doesn't know about Point B. <sighs> uh, also, the Roll crew the too. <laughs> and Recore. And Recore and Young Conquer. So it sounds like they aren't the main devs, devs on any of these, would be my guess. Mm -hmm. They're more of that Shadow Studio that helps. Yeah. Probably. Like this looks like a game, but after all the other ones, I'm not sure anymore. C'est vraiment une architecture globale qui vient rythmer tout le jeu et bien sûr la narration vient se coller à ça au plus près. Alors chaque fois avec des challenges différents parce que sur les phases d'exploration, on a tout They did the PS2 and PSP port of Toy Story 3, etc. Oh, good. Dans une phase de combat, là, il va être beaucoup plus focus. They made games for that. Uh, on PS2 and, and on PS2 and PC, they did the Mummy, the animated series. Ooh. Forgot that existed. C'est une discussion qui est permanente au fil de trois ans de production, de constamment de faire évoluer le jeu autour de ça. You should sit down. Oh, so that's all you have to say. I can't. I've got the plague. We all have the plague. You can do better than that. You have a whole garrison here. Why don't you really let yourself go? Stop! No! Do you see the situation we're in? Cosplaying is Link from Breath of the Wild. You see, they also do help develop um, the, the Ratatouille movie game, so this is why they're doing rat games now. <laughs> Clearly, it all adds up. It's, it's just logical. Des, des, des prouesses comme par exemple les, les, les gigantesques hordes de rats qu'on voit déferler sur les, sur les villes dans les, dans les trailers ou des choses comme ça. I guess. I was just saying, there it is, the, the wave of rats again. Yeah, there, wow, they love it. It does feel like one of those like engine demo things. It's like, look, wow. <laughs> that is, that's just what this game is from every time I've seen it. I need an edit of this. It's one of the developers talking about their games. It's really deep. It's like, well, and you instead play a clip from Xavier Renegade Angel. <laughs> Seeing her actual face next to what's mapped on the characters, like, oh, you didn't capture that performance well at all. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's, that my takeaway there was they're doing a bad job, and they showed us that they're doing a bad job. Motion impression performance. <laughs> Et on regarde le level en face ou la séquence en face, on se dit tiens, euh, c'est super ce qu'il a fait, mais nous on n'est pas au niveau du coup. Euh, donc il va falloir se battre un peu pour remonter euh, nos trucs et accompagner sa musique parce que. That guy had like a, a, a dual neck acoustic. Jesus. Yeah, look at him.
Oh, Apocalyptic Express is that there is an evil rat pope in this game. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Wow. I wish they were seeing that. I wish, yeah. <laughs> Oh no, the kid's got the plague. Oh no, the plague. Who would have guessed? Oh, what? You think this game's gonna be sad? <laughs> no, look at this happy artwork. I saw it run on the beach. <laughs> yeah, that was the sight of Lost Grace in that uh, yeah. concept art. <laughs> Wait, am I gonna be able to touch grass in this game? Would His Majesty allow us to enter the city by his side? I allow. There's a rat in the logo. Wow. No way. Go down. Switch. Pre-order. <laughs> came out in 2017. The first thing people noticed was the distinctive cartoon art style inspired by the golden age of American animation where every frame was drawn by hand. Now, Cuphead is back with a new adventure called Delicious Last. I mean, that dress is really cool. It enemies and it's so weird to die it's Cuphead again. Yeah, it is. Named Ms. Chalice. So, if you are up for the challenge, get ready for Cuphead Delicious Last Course. Oh, good. More of these levels. <laughs> is this I'm the third? Sure just that, yeah, yeah. These are the oh, old levels. Yeah, like that, that was the first okay. running gun. Okay. I would, I would likely show clips from the thing you're selling. No, I'm sorry. We can't spoil that. Is this the third Cuphead thing that's happened to the, the, the Summer Games Expo? Maybe. Uh, the delicious Last Course, there was a Netflix thing, and then this. Yeah, but it was all together uh, for the Netflix show. Because oh. I forgot about this ad. Yeah, this is really good. Making the real models. Is this the third time today? What? more fantastical cartoon See, there we go. It's a true second helping of screen filling, boss battles, imaginative stages, and new powers. This new adventure and expansion lets us really give Ms. Chalice a chance to shine. We had always envisioned her playing a really important role as part of the main trio of heroes. This was our opportunity to further- Then why was she dead in the original game? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh no! <laughs> Not again! <laughs> this woman, very important to the plot, died. How does it keep the happening? Of the original Cuphead character, we probably went through about 300 concepts. We began brainstorming in the 1930s tradition of giving in and <laughs> It's like we ran, began brainstorming in the 1930s. Like, shit. <laughs> it's been going on for a while. We no, they're doing the 1930s tradition. Uh, so you have to get in that mindset yeah, yeah. of being racist. <laughs> I didn't want to watch a minstrel show. <laughs> and then one day we just had one of those amazing aha moments when a loose sketch of a silhouette of a cup and a straw began to take form that would eventually become Cuphead. Funny pretzel. Did you guys beat this, or you tried beating it in between other games? Yeah, we beat it, because okay. okay. we, we were doing that alongside Horizon. Yeah, that's what it was, okay. Explore this world that was stressful. Special yeah. Fans while taking our time on the little details and making sure we're getting them just right. In so many ways, Cuphead game and character has been with our whole team through life's many changes. I wonder. These characters have become like. I wonder if they're gonna move on to something totally new after this DLC is finally a out. To take them on I, mean, I hope so. Yeah, hopefully. You know, hopefully, you know, like Cuphead too. <laughs> Wait another six really years. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, the next one's Cuphead X. Supernatural coming of age story. Okay. A teenage girl named Alex and her friends. Do we move forward the animation style by a little bit? <laughs> yeah, ni 90s <laughs> mecha cell animation. Mm -hmm. So it all looks like peak anime. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Problem, the story's now absolutely rotten and stupid. <laughs> 
figure and it's out. about people going maverick. <laughs> <laughs> this is just, just... Oxen free two lost signals. Welcome, welcome. For some reason, I saw Oxen free two already can't. Oh, I guess the, maybe the subtitle like a DLC for it. Mm. Or maybe I'm wrong and the two didn't come out. You remember when Cuphead was an Xbox console exclusive? Blue Chase, that was so long ago do you, now. Do you Xbox think we're going to see, game. uh... You think we're going to see, uh... Goodbye Volcano High at this show? No. What? Uh, no. no. Uh, that game doesn't exist. You dreamt that up. Uh, do you think we'll see my dad? <laughs> no, feel. I don't think your dad went to the gas station to get cigarettes and wound up at the Trebekah Game Show. <laughs> Because I feel like if there were a place that game could show up, it'd be here, but that game probably is canceled. I thought he was going to say prison. <laughs> There's a place it could show up. Prison. Yeah, I don't know, Phil. I don't think... I don't, I don't know if it's coming back. You're invested in their well. It is crazy that they that showed up in the Sony show. It was we'll, huge. We'll see Jimmy Hoffa before <laughs> Is Dan chugging a beer? No, I haven't gone full Mike's to Klossy yet. I got 60 more pounds to gain first. And, and also save that for tomorrow when we're drinking at 10 in the morning. Sort of pretty. You know, after today, I'm like, tomorrow's going to be better. <laughs> so we, um... There's going to be no po point be tomorrow, we, but... <laughs> we got a gigaboot out of context quote post just now. Did you play anything else that reminded you of Boruto? No, luckily. I mean, he had point be and a single still frame of Richter's back. That does nothing for me. I'm sorry. He turned, <gasps> oh, he, right. turned oh, he turned though. He did. It's true. His, that was hype. his face was surprisingly feminine. I don't think of Richter as overly feminine, even when drawn by Ayami Kojima. So I was kind of surprised by how his face looked. I was like, oh, interesting. And, and then it ended. And I was like, hmm, that shows me. I was surprised it wasn't canceled. So, you know, that was that. I, I said multiple times, I think Castlevania is like one of the most, their most successful animated things. So if anything was going to survive, right? It makes sense. The great culling. I, I think they decided to cancel any untested projects. Yeah, so new they're things. Like, this might do well. Okay, cancel it. Yeah, this the, that's a good sign of, you know, a healthy uh, content creator, right? Yeah. When they just cancel yeah. all their new things. Hanging out here in the woods and not being creepy. Jacob actually has direct ties to the events of Oxenfree 1 and particularly the history of Maggie Adler. Maggie was the woman he has direct ties to the events of Oxen Free One, which none of you do because we know no one tied to the events that really oh. kicked off the whole story. He said it a couple times in various games of the something to the effect of you'll get really invested in these characters. I'm like, thank you for telling me how to feel. That sure does sound like this this group's vibe. <laughs> Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. And that's something you get more and more used to if you just stream every event. Yeah. Look forward to the uh, wholesome direct. Mm. <laughs> Her last name is Adler. She has a job to do. Flex grip smooth pour. Flex grip smooth pour. Flex smooth pour. This is a neat effect. Hey, it worked. I think Dan and Bob should stream it and lose their minds. You know, we we did the medium Kung Fu Chaos in 12 minutes. I feel invincible. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can kill you now. I, I've been through a lot. Except and I, human. I have been through a lot. And I have not killed myself, despite what that game told me to do. <laughs> I feel invincible. Other ghostly characters, portals are getting open when they don't want it to happen, and so they've got to deal with the ramifications of that. Portals are fascinating. Very poor. Portals are cool and interesting, just like me. You don't. You don't say that. Yeah. Every time, every time I think about the fact uh, that that guy from Naughty Dog was like, "Oh, I sounded so embarrassing in that video when I talked about the squeeze throughs." 
and how there are areas you can squeeze through. Mm -hmm. I go, you have no idea. That doesn't even place in my echelon of like insanely dumb things devs have said during E3 week. <laughs> right? This dude's out here like, our main mechanic is interesting. <laughs> What is it? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> uh, the main any, character. Have any, have any next gen features you want to talk about with your game, the medium? No. No. <laughs> Riley, come in, Riley. Can you hear me? Riley? Riley, are you there? Pointy descends. <laughs> and that's when Pointy opened one of his 12 mouths and sang the song that ends the world. games her story and telling lies. You don't just find one, you find three unreleased films spanning over three decades, and they all star Marissa Marcel. Pointy. I'm. <laughs> They all star. What were you Point trying B. to say dramatically? <laughs> I'm just, I'm trying to not say anything extremely mean about this, and it's the shitty. You can see the seam on the blanket. I know. On the, it, it, I, it, like she did, they didn't even steam it or anything. Get or like anyone it. else Marissa to host? First heard about Marissa Marcel. I can't hear her. Her background looks like shit. I think you told her you could edit it out, but you didn't. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's a green sheet. We can we can green screen you. And then they forgot to. I'm sorry. Actress who shoots three movies over three decades, and none of the movies ever comes out. I was interested, and uh, after the party, I went home and I googled and found very little of anything online. I my name's Dan Video Games. Are you thinking about doing a conference during E3 week? Here are some hot tips. Tip number one. I need to be able to hear you! Yeah. If you don't know, it's a bit of a fairy tale. So Arthur Fisher, the great director, who uh, you probably know from his movies such as Marion and uh, The Man Who Dreamed, was casting for his new movie, Ambrosio. And so instead of casting a recognizable face, he... Uh, Is he, he doing a Dick Cavett impersonation? I, I had the name uh, and it's gone in my... Johnny Carson? 20, Is it... Yeah, so it's either Johnny Carson or Dick Cavett, yeah. He picked you. Yeah. Two years ago, we were approached by an anonymous donor who handed over this huge. I thought she said anonymous stoner. <laughs> who are you? I'm anonymous, <laughs> man. Completed shots from the shoots. As far as we can tell, this is everything that remains of the three Marissa Marcel movies. Before I go, I would like some token of our friendship. I'm like, wait, was that actually Johnny Cars? I uh, no, I don't think so. We brainstormed how best to use this footage, how to make it available to the world. Um, so first we very carefully cleaned and scanned. Now I don't know, but I also don't kind of care. So. Chat, chat is confirming. Like all this is real. Chat is confirming that is not Johnny Carson. And I'm like, yeah, that, yeah, that didn't look like, like, like him. Johnny no, I thought I was doing an impression of Johnny right, Carson. Yeah. <laughs> Me too, but then they just kept leaning into this bit. And I'm like, wait, one moment. We created a virtual movie a way of looking through the footage as if you were back in the editor's suite with Arthur Fisher or John Durek. And to build on this idea, we came up with a new mechanic. A kind of visual concordance. What I, is this fucking CSI game? By match cut. Oh. When you're watching, at any point, you can stop and point to an As you can see, Robocop <laughs> blew his dick. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> You know, I bet so this is a less maddening experience than playing 12 minutes, so I can't even complain about what the gameplay looks like, right? Wow. Why would you show me all clips with this white woman? Right? Why would you set it up like that? It's insane. Every time I zoom in on a face, it feels like like the <laughs> missed book noise. All of my dick <laughs> gone. <laughs> Dicks stolen. Dicks stolen. I don't use the word haunted. Thanks, Halo announcer man. <laughs> Zoom. Okay. Enchants. 
I swear that title wish you lived in logo the and the burning of the poster showed up at a prior event and they showed no gameplay at all and we just went what the fuck is it in american town in the 1970s where the future seems brighter than ever like the other citizens of arcadia this game should have the mst3 cave shadows in the yes yeah, that would be pretty good when Trevor learns the truth from a rogue technician, he goes. This is the same game we saw during the. Uh, you escape in a world yeah. Where yeah. Everyone is always watching. During the Jeff Healy show. In American Arcadia, nada es lo que parece. Mm. Now in its 55th season, American. Let me get you up to speed. You move from left to right. What? Yeah. This, this is a game before. where you move from left to right. Cool. Yeah. Control subject on the run on camera 4025. Interrupt broadcast immediately. Bienvenidos a Arcadia, una ciudad retrofuturista de los 70, donde todos los ciudadanos disfrutan de una vida de confort y de lujos sin saber que están siendo grabados las 24 horas. Did they speak Spanish in the other one? I didn't even notice. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think we had dev okay. interviews. Then. Okay. I think we just had a trailer. I thought they cut to devs. Life was mundane. Y cuando descubre la verdad, I don't remember that for that one. Okay. I mean, maybe it was there. Stop Look at him go. Stop. Run. Keep running. Okay. Come on, man. Por otro lado está Angela. Es el ángel de la guarda de Trevor. Es una hacker dispuesta a todo con tal de. Her job is to do the normal. the DreamWorks smirk <laughs> everywhere. Uh, that's unfortunate. So is the conceit of this game that like the 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 Paradise the City is the evil show? By three yeah. Yeah. Cameras. It's the Truman Show, but big. Close to the cameras and upload the loop footage from my cell phone. Are you aware what Uno goes on in 2022 America? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> yeah, people watch the Truman Show now and they go, oh, lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like the gilded cage doesn't work so much as psychological horror anymore if you live in the United States. I would, I would agree. I'm inclined to agree. On one side, we have the Science Scroller in 2.5D with action and platform. God, I wish I was Truman. Sure, our gameplay looks really uninteresting, but we have an interesting story. Well, I mean, at least there's games. Uh, so we're doing this game, and it's unclear what people's relationship to your character is and you start having memory lapses vanilla sky fuck he saved the movie get out <laughs> they had the one from five different investor meetings <laughs> they just scramble every time they hit the ground and crawl like feral <laughs> Uh, <laughs> our gameplay is uninteresting, but there are two of them. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> if somebody, if somebody, you know, if somebody makes... Oh, did they say they were inspired by Logan's Run? And I'm like, but you're not funny enough to be Logan's Run. You need to have a person who's clearly in their late 20s go, I am 18. Soon the event will happen to me. I wonder if flying into the meat blunder at the top of the room is painful. <laughs> they say it's ascending. It's really funny that they would say Logan's run was like Terminus. <laughs> Well, they they want to evoke the uh, '70s style, so they I refer to a movie that's from the '70s, right? Or '60s? Or '60s? Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, is that better? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't meant to be funny. No, it wasn't. <laughs> what a shame! Arthur, authorial intent. You're in terrible but. shape, man. Did you get any exercise at all? <sighs> no, not not. Yeah, I should use running man as a base. I don't know what you're saying. Because my metabolism. I don't easily gain weight, so I don't use to Okay, okay. I'm not here to judge your lifestyle or your dietary habits. Just save your breath and keep going. Bye -bye. But, but see, America, it's also Korea, funny. What we want to tell is that you don't need Hilarious, to even. just for getting likes on social networks. Just do the things that make you happy. You don't need to care about what the others think.
Do you think that's the end of the direct? I guess so. This is yeah. These are all the studios. So that was it. We made it, guys. We got through Trebekah's that's, that's showcase. That's weird because it just it said it was supposed to go for another forty minutes. What? Because I'm what, gonna need That's what the uh. Baby. That's what the Gematsu thing says. This is all. <laughs> Three Eastern to four thirty <laughs> Eastern. Feels dry. So I don't. I'm sorry. Although their stream immediately died, so... Yeah, I can't believe the stream just, just cut off like this. Hey, Tosh, how's it going today? Tosh with cult leader tattoos or cult oh, tattoos? Oh, the Freedom Games Showcase is starting now. <laughs> oh, God, the Freedom Games Showcase. I made myself forget. Uh, time it's to find out if it is as right-wing as we thought. And where is it? We, should, I don't, we saw it, I like, know. a year ago, I feel like. It's totally had a kind of little... IGN is streaming totally it, but happened. they're unreliable. Well, get damn it, they're all we've got. Yeah. The fuck is what? Finally, freedom. Oh right, we have to mute their stream because they they will play copyright music. Tosh got to go to a carnival while we were trapped here by IGN. I know. Yeah. It was their carnival. It's okay. I brought, you, I brought you guys cotton candy. That's cool. I ate most of it already. Yeah. I'm going to go eat more of okay. it. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. You know how long it's been since I've eaten cotton candy? Um, the last time we went to the Mullet Festival. Yes. When was that? That was... Four or five years ago? It's four or well, five. The whole festival has to exist, so we're going back pretty far already. Yeah, we right. are. <laughs> I remember there was the time the hurricane made the mullet festival not cancel because in order to get their insurance claim, they couldn't cancel. So they had to play chicken with the festival date in order to get the insurance payout. Did you say mullet festival? Yes. Yeah. Look it up. It's like uh, about the fish. Yeah, the, the beach, not the, the haircut. Yeah, it's fun. come on, guys. Who would celebrate a dumb haircut? We're here to celebrate this fish. You know what we should be here to celebrate? Pointy. Fish grits. Fish grits? Fish and grits. Mm. It wasn't an and, it was an um. I go grab a bagel. I'm it's it's, it's to walk step away. Right? My my Durgan face paint. What, got Bob, smudged. are you saying we can't leave the stream in the highly trustworthy hands of Tosh? I, I mean, we can. I don't know if, if yeah. you if we should. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's like, we're perfectly capable, but should we? I was like, oh, my God, I fuck with OBS. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't notice. I didn't notice. Mission but also made a point B for us oh as God. a maverick. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> There's a lot of point piece today. It is definitely the highlight of today. There's going to be no point piece tomorrow. Yeah, keep in mind, you can make as many point pieces as you want, chat. <laughs> I will add them to the My point piece. My impression of the last three hours of the stream, I wasn't here. Yeah, so. she, was, she wasn't fucking... You see... One second. <laughs> one second. Let me just punch in on this. Uh, can you turn your face that way, Tosh? You see this fucking dragon on her face and you think, yeah, she's been watching this shit. <laughs> non fungal fung fungal fungible fungible see a doctor. point piece. <laughs> see a doctor. See a doctor if you have non fungal If your fungal is non. <laughs> Thanks. I was having fun. I love this pointy. This is a good pointy. <laughs> what? What stream was that? What do you mean I got them Why backwards? Why did I call what him pointy? Oh my god! Pointy. Pointy. We did an extra. I'm just S. melting. Pointy. I mean, I think I'm gonna need something stronger than these teas and sodas. Are you fading? Yeah, there's not enough point. There's point not enough point. Yeah, there's not enough point. Point is a better name. We all know it. 
Slorpy. Did Casey and Field just die? They're on break. <laughs> but yes. Yep. Yeah, there's nothing There's nothing to comment on. Not that there has been anything to comment on <laughs> most so of today. Far. Yeah. I love him. I like that point B in the corner. That is the viewer. Yes, the point B on screen is real good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop that though, because we've been running with that one for a while. We'll use the other one. What do you think of this one, Toad? <laughs> pretty good. That's a good one. It is good. I like it. It's got the logo. I don't understand what a point B is, and I'm getting upset. <laughs> Who's saying that? <laughs> Rat <Right> elf. <laughs> it's it's point B. I'm, I, do you people not have phones? <laughs> <laughs> We're watching the stream, Ken. You could do both on our phone. Oh. <laughs> oh, that does make that complicated. Huh? <laughs> Shit. Well, you know, if I had if if I could find the HDMI out dongle, <laughs> our stream game today might have been pointy. Dan, I'm gonna beat you up, maybe. A crap with the gun. <laughs> laugh, laugh at the non-point build. <laughs> <laughs> Point build. Yeah. What's up? Oh, okay. Uh, wait, that's USB Type C, isn't it? Yeah. No. So I was gonna say we can use the iPad, but I would need to figure out how to sign in. Why? Oh, that's okay. Well, maybe if you can get it. Okay. By then. Later, um, whenever that is. Right. I should. Have... Oh, yeah. I don't know where the Freedom Mill is. How dare you try to show me Day of the Devs again? That's deeply upsetting to me. Da -da 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 -da. Jay Flores, 1999. Mm -hmm. I forgot that the show happened today. Anything good get shown? Oh, it's not the show. It was countless shows. And no. <laughs> it did say shows. I don't know if I... Oh, it sounded like you said show. Uh, yeah, no. Not really. You were supposed point to P. talk about Point P. That's it. Point P's it. <laughs> Imagine Netflix tried to push their own poochie. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Point P is, and it's funny as hell. They hired Jeff to come on stage and be like, tell them Point P is important. And Jeff's like, oh my god, look at it. It's Bub from Bubble Bobble, but they shaved off some corners. They buffed him out. He's he's less. Oh, goofy. I figured you'd just replace Bob while he eats. Uh oh, okay, that works. Yeah, that's. I know the audience craves Bob chewing sounds. You don't want your coffee? Oh, well, I need that. Eric drinks it. Ha ha! Just drinks Dies, it. there's creamer in it. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Bob's lactose intolerant. Oh, wow. Starting in 38 seconds, the Freedom Game Showcase. Can I get a hashtag Freaker Gang? Yes, Umbra. I have been emailed. Yeah, I was, I was, I, I inducted her <laughs> in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Three whole teams. Freaker on Gang, now. where's my chance? He looked yeah, they took chance, chance away. Back. The bastards. Oh, how dare. Can I get a hashtag point be gang? Point be gang. Jigglypuff. 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 Is that hair or is that yeah. probably hair? Damn, this is loud. Holy shit. I'm it's almost expecting that diva song to play. <laughs> yeah. 
This is like a Splatoon core Welcome back opening. Welcome Summer of Gaming. Yes. The festivities continue tomorrow, but right now, we'd like to let the good times roll. Freedom Games is a publisher founded in 2020. Why are you trapped in 240p? Supporting independent developers and helping them get their games made. In partnership with Freedom Games, IGN is proud to present a showcase of all the upcoming games they've got in the works. Enjoy. All right, here we go. It was always a dream to, well, make a video game. I oh, that's glad. I'm glad you're here and you wanted to be here and you didn't depend on a poll to tell you to make video games. So we decided to leave everything. Ugh. What started off as kind of a passion project turned into having a small staff. We're going to meet a dev during this that's just like, I, I make vi video games because my mom made me. We knew it was like... Kind of way more than we Your mom made you. My mom made, made me make, make video, video game. Oh, okay. There was someone at the last conference who said, "I I, I filled out a pro a poll online and it said I should get into making a game, so that's why I made this game." And we're like, "What the fuck's going on?" So when you took that test uh, in school, where they're like, "Hey, this is what you have the aptitude for." Yeah. It said games, make games. And you said, yeah. But no, it's more like they did. They went to Facebook and one of their friends posted a. A, a what meme. What should pool. you do? Oh. Yes. Mm. Yeah. With procedural map generation. They did a compatibility for Story romance test, test in high school. And of all the pulled kids, it said a Game Boy. <laughs> so. Yeah. I know what that is. I enjoy that. Everyone in this seems horrified to be in this. Especially that one. Oh, yeah. He definitely, yeah. Very worried that they were put in this game. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that, that, that should be our viewer icon, frankly. <laughs> Traders are building roads and trying to find unique resources from other cities. The team events gather the team together. Slaying a boss or organizing a beer festival can be team events. The world of Good Heavens is created procedurally. Moreover, Good the heavens. races, the cities, and their cultures... We actually got raided by Rig yesterday and by Jack Not Jack today. Streaming early in the morning is fucking weird because now all these weirdos I watch overnight who stream until insane hours can raid me back for once. But normally you're the weirdo who streams yes, overnight. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Normally I'm the weirdo who streams until 2 a.m. And then he goes, have fun! The roles have been reversed! Once we create the world, so we keep cracking jokes of, yeah, we just cover E3 conferences. That's all we ever do. We do it every week. Every day. Could you imagine that hellscape? A living nightmare? Yeah, because it's like, oh, there aren't new ones anymore. We're going to go watch old ones again. Uh, I mean... <laughs> yeah, no, no, gonna... We just need to go through every EA one, just those. Uh, How about I set you on fire, Casey? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If you're watching this, he's like, like, do it for Pele. Yeah. Oh my for God. Pele. Oh my God. I managed to get that out of my mind. The Pele? whole Pele segment. <laughs> I don't Pele remember. Morals. I don't even remember that. You got Pele unpilled. <laughs> yes. You can play forever. You can play Good Heavens in a casual way or in a hardcore way. It's up to you. The game has a massive scale map. We have different biomes and we have different... But yeah, we've been wanting to run through uh, with aggro old conferences that were important mm -hmm. since before Digital Foundry started doing that. And when I watched their version, I'm like, we really need to do ours. Ours is very different. <laughs> that is like a frightening tree. It's just a little tentacly. A more developed city and they go into a, a small town and then they become a, a larger town and then they become a city and then that man's then nude and knows it became <laughs> metropole, but no. he's trying to cover up no. late, late, they need to find all the resources uh, <laughs> he's just constantly like why <laughs> please this looks almost like a... you get a quest from them and then for yourself, you uh, try to don't uh, starve. Improve your base, oh, okay. improve your character, so Art style. You kill some monsters. Uh, you hunt for some animals, and 
uh, you craft some things for your base and yourself. You can switch around these and names. Time, <laughs> I wouldn't game, say this uh, looks like Flapjack. Uh, I kind of get what I you're going with it. I get it. it. Like, yeah. And there's some kind of a new story. Because they do have, like, the crazy eyes. That's the procedural <laughs> part of the game. These cities will have different ambitions. They, they will have different It's also the proportions. Uh, mm. The proportions and the grunginess and, and the teeth a little bit. Uh, yeah. The there's no candy wife, it's though. Yeah, well. Yeah. To tell different stories every time you restart the game. I mean, we don't okay, want a linear the, game uh, that's the same every time you play. I mean, the magic of procedural generation uh, is to give you a different challenge every time. Why the so, fuck uh, not? Your <laughs> and uh, you're, you might try to uh, be a farming character, for example. Or it's just not possible. Character, or a trader character. Starting with uh, the biomes, uh, each of the biomes not, you can hold different bastard. places. And each of Why not, you stupid bastard? It's uh, just not possible. Uh, depending on those Why cultures, not? Uh, they have Why not? That absolutely killed me because I'm like, this is great. It's a combination of my favorite things. Crash Bandicoot jokes and American Psycho. Yeah. That's me toward every Crash mechanic. I'm like, why not? How you start the game. A single player or two player or seven player. The oh difficulty of the game will change. Player. Our procedural generation. Like Diablo 2, I should play Diablo 2. I need to set it up in land mode. Play by myself, set the players to eight. Yep. <laughs> That's the best way to play it. <laughs> Gonna be strong. Gonna get strong. Love <laughs> being strong. God, you stupid boy, <laughs> 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 Oh man! Since we started working on yeah, I, I'm I'm agreeing with Rado here. I really need to stop seeing the same few seconds of footage over and over. Some of these technical challenges. We're not the first overcoming those, but it took some time, nonetheless. Do you think there might be a reason you can hire voiceover people? Nah. Okay. What? All right. I'm sure. Violence. Yes. Legends tell of a golden time in years past of great clashes. Where yet another thing started to look a little bit too much like every other Flash game. <laughs> He's getting golden! <gasps> Hot damn. Golden. Holy Whoa, shit! Excuse <laughs> Oh my god, big her lady! Her attack animation just leaving her ass facing the camera for that long really did set me. Holy I was shit. just like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> they have to know no one's paying attention. The editor for this trailer deserves a raise. Yeah. He's like, I got I got, I got it. I, I got, got some you. sales. I got I got you. I got you. We got guaranteed sales, don't worry. <laughs> I walked it in. Turn the lock, lock it, toss least, away the key. At least this oh. looks like something I might play. Yeah, everything about it, aside from the early art style look. Because this, fine. The mechanics, fine. The the moving the units around, I, I really don't like how that looks. Hey but Phil, everything else is David fine. Chaffee awake. <laughs> they make them in that size! <laughs> I start arcing electricity. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it did have some ogre battle elements to it where you select your team composition for when it hits someone in the field, which yeah. is good, great. Yes. yes. More ogre battle in the world. You like ogre battle? Yeah. I didn't even know. <laughs> well, let me tell you about a little series. I miss go the ass go back. <laughs> <laughs> I miss the ass go back. I'm sorry, Mukbun, we can't go back. <laughs> Symphony of War, the Nephilim Saga, is That's the first all good. strategy game series that we are developing. You got it working? It is a you got Point B on, on iPad? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Army officer. Some shocking events happen. You get framed for murder. You have to clear your name. There's so many... Okay, you're a video game. Got it. Saving the world, as you do in these games. Right, get to the big I woman. <laughs> what do you show me? You need to no, this back. this is uh neurons are acting. What are you right even now? fucking talking about, Jamie? delivers that exactly. It's turn based and the bulk of your micromanagement is done before you go into a mission or a chapter in a home based sequence. And I love that. 
in the home base phase, you will be able to buy stuff, and that's that character portrait. Conscripts. They keep yeah, the character like, portraits are rough. Yeah, it just looks like. Uh, you'll be Should I get up. Diet Coke or Coke Zero? Wait, and, you know, have the what's the difference? Other, Shit. The events of the world. You can do friendships, <laughs> bonds, which is You're fucking with me, complete phase. That <laughs> took me a second. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Is the other half. Your squads that you built are plopped down into a map. <clears throat> Boom, that's my army. That's my setup. It's beautiful. Mission go. So we've got open terrain, which includes your plains, your roads, grasslands, stuff like that. <laughs> Crap of the gut. One of the Steam screenshots of this game is just a shot. Yeah, the people working marketing, marketing now. That's freedom. <laughs> That's why they're paid. <laughs> they're letting those bells of freedom ring. <laughs> no, I'm very... They're letting them clap. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> The enemy is there, oh, oh my god! And she steps! She stopped. Come on now. So, <laughs> I love the classes. There's heavy infantry. Heavy the interviewer's armor, like, what, you can, what can you tell me about the big lady? And he's like, it's not really a character, it's just a unit. And he's like, why not? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is, uh... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> shut up! Shut you up can, about this big lady. There are character you classes on you screen. You should show so much of the big lady. People wonder if you can make a team without her. Beautiful, very well animated. How is she not the main character? Dude, I don't know. I don't know. Some some motherfucker was like, I wonder why Seven Deadly Sins was successful. I don't know. <laughs> it's the same. Re it's the same people who are in charge of uh, the She Hulk show. Just like. Years and years large and women? women? How absurd. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. <sighs> Myself. I know how magical that feels. Yeah, once again, this looks fucking terrible. And I hate the portrait art. Yeah. And I hate this yeah. art that doesn't match any of the other art. It's available now. Oh, I thought they were going to work on it. Okay. okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> He's ascending? Yeah, I guess. He's been point pilled. To 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 Nenen. To to Nenen. To Nenen. To Nenen. To Nenen. To When we forgot who we are, we were ungrounded and destroyed our world. We remembered who we weren't. But now we remember. That wolves are scared. Oh God! Run! I had forgotten. <laughs> Jesus, get in the cave! <laughs> Yeah, stove. <laughs> are grateful. We are grounded by the air we breathe. It's it's amazing how we could just segue between hideous game that looks interesting mechanically to another survival mm. game. We are not separate from the universe. We oh my god, it's that jungle gym thingy. Ourselves. You mean the thing you uh, hate? That's the biodome? Every forgotten star. I didn't and hate also that one. a big monkey bar. Okay, so you're okay with monkey bars, but wait, not... no, you hate monkey bars, but yeah. you're okay with jungle gyms. Well, yeah, because I can actually you climb that shit. That's fair. I see. And you are here to find I mean, if you're strong enough, you can climb monkey bars. Make There's your own trampoline. No, I'm not strong enough. But what if you were? But I'm not. What if you were seven feet tall? <laughs> Some developers out ladies? here are brave, brave enough to ask these questions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Common happen. I don't know. I was like, I'm willing to give this, and then survival shit popped up, and I'm like, okay, I'm just. Mm. Mm. My name is Justin Hosford. I'm the founder of Head West Studio. And yes, please explain that extremely basic survival to game to us. Oh, thank God. That's what I'm here to do exactly. Uh, so you can go in the water uh, and you can go on land wow, and there's really? wildlife and oh you can build God. stuff. But wait, and then can you hunt stuff? Some, uh, yes, some oh, stuff, wow. but it also hunts you. Oh, what? No way. I've never played a game like that. I've never so seen that in a video. We really liked Ark, but not the mechanic. dinosaurs. I know. Your it's like you took the, the dinosaurs out of Ark. What do you fucking have left? If you're the HUD. Drains, your health starts to drain, and you lose the ability to do things like uh, light a fire, craft items, sprint, 
hold God, your breath out of water for very long. So you need to keep your yeah, spirit level up. You want to tag in? The way that you keep your spirit level raised is through meditation. All right. I can tag out. It's <laughs> totally fine. Okay. My life. It seems like something Ever. that maybe Ever. the world could use Badly well. more of okay. now. And oh, if this little game can... You should probably give Eric or Bob his chair that, back. I it's, it's You're like, I don't want to. This, this so chair's nicer. Oh. Oh. My ass deserves this chair. Does it, though? Does. If it does, then why don't you own one? I own... Yeah, I do. It's at home. You, wait, you own a secret lab chair? I didn't know that. God damn, we all own one. Shit. No, I sat in the chair and went, Ooh. My, this pleases my ass. Oh. What does this game also have a giant lady? No. No. Oh, and and they haven't the explained that either. <laughs> what is wrong with them? Oh, so we lost our co-hosts. Oh, really? Uh, uh, I'm yeah, here. I was wondering, I'm just, what am I supposed to say? I know, uh, right? I, I, I'd like to apologize. I was muted because there are lawn people in the back. Oh. Yeah, I was about and to explain I, that. And then I forgot to unmute and I was just speaking for the past three minutes. <laughs> Bob, did you see the giant lady? Yep. <laughs> no, I just always ask if I miss the giant lady. <laughs> cut, cut to sitcom-like situation where we're hanging out and Bob comes in like Kramer and he's like, was there a giant lady here? And we're like, no, Bob. And he's like, okay. All right. I'm going to. All right. This Thursday. I think that they're very immersive environments. Uh, I kind of want this. I, there it goes. My I wish. There isn't a map or a compass. They, All you have the most prevalent genre had not well, become gonna kind of have to survival <sighs> building game. Things are. It's like it's like there. worse you because the most explore. popular genres are shit I'm really not interested in. Because it's survival <laughs> stuff <laughs> and roguelike <laughs> Metroidvanias. <laughs> and I'm like, I on paper like Metroidvanias, and I on paper like roguelikes, but I hate the combination of them more often than not. the wood off the ground, the scrap wood and driftwood, and turn that into a beautiful wooden structure with the technology. There is no wasted item in, in the collection system. Every, everything has a purpose. Nothing is wasted. Hope and then where are the giant ladies? Where where are they? You're wasting my time you have without these, giant ladies. You have the, all these pixels and screen space. Wasted. So it goes from kind of elementary basic survival. Man, remember that... Uh, 505 event where they showed off the a survival done, game like this that yeah. was even less done. It was so not done and they just would not shut what up was about it. Like, among the goblins or something? Among the trolls. <laughs> okay, close it up. <laughs> I want this to be you know, this, this game, the Symphony of War game is out. And just <laughs> yeah, it is. Peaceful environment that they use their just noting that is a game we could play. And they're a part of the environment. They even they have, have the exact frame. Come on, you know what you're doing. Because <laughs> when they were like, "Yeah, they have the giant lady on the Steam page," I'm like, "Yeah, of course." But no, it goes a step further. So this is like the intermission sort of. It's like yeah, the they made a little between. Yeah, they made funny little animation things. Anyways, this is like the sixth image or fifth honest, image on Steam. I beg you, listen this is to it carefully. The exact frame. Yeah. <laughs> the exact frame. I recently settled in the village. I, guys, just go all in if you're gonna put that in your game. Come on. <laughs> but during the animal fair. Robust. <laughs> Armed troops attacked the village and tried to kidnap us all. We now have been crashed. I barely escaped, only to wake up completely alone. Stop. Point chat, I got you. Ooh. That doesn't feel like home anymore. <laughs> I, I am starting to lose all sense of reality. <laughs> So oh, I, really I have been informed. I have been informed <laughs> that uh, since 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 fuck this uh -huh. thing on the screen, uh, Square Enix created a special scrimblo for Pride Month. Yeah, we saw oh, that. Yeah, that thing looked win. terrible. The that rainbow on, kangaroo. It's on their YouTube banner. Oh, is it the kangaroo? rainbow kangaroo? I don't think it's a kangaroo. It's like is, I think it's supposed to be like uh like a tactics advanced style moogle. Oh, I thought it was a bird. Everything. 
Hmm. We all have a different takeaway of what this thing is. If by chance anybody is listening, I was not aware of the uh, of the pride scrim blow. They should have made a game about this creature instead of Balan. It's not. I mean, one of course, <gasps> of course. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What the heck is it? It looks <laughs> what is it? <laughs> you know what, what it is? It a giant lady. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It was new to do director of Answer Experience, the studio behind Broken Pieces. I am also the sound designer and audio director for the game. Broken Pieces is a game that's set in a coastal village in France. It's an adventure game where you play a character oh, named Elise. That's like what it some is. Kind of All right. Phenomenons that are happening inside the village, and she cannot escape. That's clearly outside the village. <laughs> No, this is a villain. All right. Oh, <laughs> oh no, it's Fred! <laughs> <laughs> uh, a world that's feeling very real. Something that's tangible. You Putting another image for chat in the corner. Something, and then you switch there. But yeah, we, we kept seeing that, <laughs> that Pride Scrim blow whenever we went to their yeah, Square Enix YouTube page to look for some event today. Meet. So I, that's yeah. when I first saw it. Yeah. Yeah. The realism, the player would question at first and then integrate inside its perspective of the world. God, look, guys, people from Alan Wake. not everything uh -huh. that's trying to be a point and click accidentally makes the medium. <laughs> so we can have some hope that these guys actually care about the genre. Yeah, uh, that'd be cool. <laughs> oh, they made that Pride mascot last year. Huh. Oh, interesting. So this is them reusing it. When you want to play music, you actually have to use the tape player inside the game. Deep. And I think that's that's what life is about too. Sometimes you listen to music because you want to break. Sometimes you have to listen to tapes. Because Sometimes you uh, look at everything in a room that unlocks the next thing you do, even though you did nothing. Constant soundscape of what's surrounding you. Surely no one would design a game like that. All the environment where sure, like. my associate Benoit, he drew... I don't know, say, I'd say there's a pretty good chance. Remember when I'd they just there was showed a trailers? Medium-sized chance mm -hmm. that someone would do that. Extra uh, medium so chance. That's, uh, not seen a lot no, that's this chick over here. She's extra medium. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, what's I'm, I'm not a fan of the, the genre of show that is like, we have six we minutes of trailers and 40 minutes of this. Of yeah. So yep. Very, very interesting because I like they, seeing more about games sometimes, but not this much. <laughs> you always give them, like, way more they need. Like, the, the, the same thing with Days of the Devs, like, it's neat to hear more about your game. Organize it. Space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Please. The game is pretty unique. At least this isn't a survival game. A survival or crafting game. Things. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's got that. It's got a leg up already. Thanks a lot for checking out Broken Pieces with us. Et on espère que vous serez au rendez-vous. Merci. Wish list. That's uh, okay. that's on the next three months. Oh, weird. Hi, everybody, and welcome aboard. I'm Stefano, co owner of Stellix Software. And this is our project. That's a hell of a last name. A game called Monorail Stories in a modern day pixel art oh, setting. They get a monorail? So what's yeah. the game about? Well, monorail. We'll start two different protagonists, Sylvie and Amal, who live in the city of L. Each day on the same sure. Road. That's where I live. No, <laughs> no. It's where we're all living right now. Directions. Along the way, they will meet different people and make different choices, but they don't know they are sharing. But they don't know so, about Point P. What will <laughs> That's <laughs> truly why they live in the city of L. <laughs> so every choice the player makes will have repercussions. Every choice will bring the player. The player moves by it. Different <laughs> ending. But half the speed of smell. <laughs> so first, the game has a story. Yep, Look at go. Branching storylines and multiple endings, but we also want to offer something new and not common in this kind of games. So we decided to add an innovative asynchronous multiplayer mode, uh, where what one player does on his turn will impact how the story plays out for the other player. And last but not least, we also want to offer a kind of endless story mode with new contents. You know, 12 minutes had an endless story mode. <laughs> Thank you for traveling with us, and I hope you enjoyed this short first ride on the monorail. I'm Stefano, welcome aboard. <laughs> I am the monorail. I'm of uh, Static Software, very, very small husband and wife uh, game studio. 
my wife's she you wouldn't be interested in monorail stories it's more of a shelbyville kind of game <laughs> no we're interested we're interested <laughs> So the game uh, will start to uh, different protagonists. So be in a mouth. I'm doing this in interview alone now because my wife left me while we made the game. On the same monorail, but they never meet because they travel at different times and opposite direction. So along the way, they will meet different people. They will make different choices, but they don't know that they are me. sharing a common story <laughs> because what the character does on his route has consequences on the route of the other character. So. Basically, every choice. As I was talked about on Big Think, Big Think three weeks ago, <laughs> we are aware. To a, uh, different story to a completely different ending. I left my wife because she wasn't giant enough. <laughs> this is a problem many people go through. <laughs> it's so weird that the an the legs were animated with so many frames, but the coat moved zero. Yeah. <laughs> Just straight down. Here we go. That's how I walk. Legs flailing about, torso perfectly uh -huh. still. Swings. <laughs> you're 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 the mobsters from the fucking uh the perilous perils of uh Penelope Pitstop yeah, or the wacky tune racers. Mm -hmm. He's just like they all group together and the legs go. His wife left him because he didn't get a good game enough. Not mark. only can be played <laughs> single player, but we added this innovative uh, uh, asynchronous multiplayer mode for two players. Well, in the multiplayer mode, two different players. Innovative mm -hmm. is honestly one of the few pronunciations I hear. Share the same experience. Where I just go insane. Yeah. <laughs> Where I'm like, yeah, I ate a Tataka bowl. Other player. Had a Chalaba. With a friend of yours or with a complete strain. Innovative. And share the journey. It's fine. Innovative. It's fine. Innovative. It's gone. It can't it's, hurt you anymore. Because it's Please. novel. This multiplayer mode, you can. Uh, it's just. Or you Portilla. Can with, uh, on Wacky Tune Racers. Jalapenos. Oh, Wacky Tune Racers. Don't you mean Pokemon Emerald version? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> People who so miss really, that Pokemon just have no uh, idea. <laughs> Right. Together, so play together. Really, we're going to get a game about editing a live indie developer showcase in real time, like Night Trap. Adding the multiplayer mode to narrative games, we really. But see, that's weird because, like, I feel like then, then you realistically, the editors would be the girls in the house, and the horrible monsters would be all these people without mics. <laughs> it's very, very easy to play. It's it's really a game to 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 enjoy. Uh, our idea really came up from uh, our daily commuting and uh, trying. To Imagine play, having a uh, webcam that blurry, and, all the passengers all the and then saying, "Yeah, Nvidia, can you blur out the background?" And they go, "The what?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean your face? Got it. <laughs> yes. I love the auto exposure too. Yeah, it's, it's just a, it's a seizure. Yes. <laughs> All I got was like five straight minutes of video noise. I, didn't, I can't tell what is what. That's not how you edit one of these. What the fuck's going on? Yeah, just cut to black with no sound, no nothing, and then just showed that image. Okay, that was that was their edited thing. Okay. Okay. Is this uh, the bow and arrow game? Shit. Towerful. towerful. Looked a little squish, squash, a stretch. Towerful yeah, animations. Uh, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I have no Maybe. idea what those guys are up to. <laughs> Need to set up a widget to make the viewer icon bigger or small. <laughs> <laughs> Based on channel points. I don't like the way your character flips when you turn. Mm. Was it like a Paper Mario flip? Yeah. Yeah, 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 I see it. I think it, it just doesn't look done. Yeah, it seems weird when you're looking at the backside for that to happen. Right. Because in Paper Mario, you're like facing the camera. Yeah, it works with the aesthetic of Paper Mario. Like, you're, right. you're supposed to be cut out of paper and My everything. Name is Reese. Right. I'm the creator of Boundless Games. We're currently working on Monster Tribe. 
which is an open world RPG. It's a monster catcher game. Do you think I could scam my way into one of these conferences? I yeah. mean, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I was really driven to develop games when I opened a fortune cookie and it said, you should make games. Your production value will be 10 times better so they think you're a megaton game developer. Like, wow, this guy's one of those, one of those Super cool dudes who are good at multiple arts that Dan forgot the name of when he started talking. Secrets, whether that be treasure or resources or materials that you can use. There's a multi die deck? Uh, no, I was thinking of polymath. That was specifically what I was. Uh, and mining. Renaissance man. Uh, that's probably more fitting, but I find the term polymath hilarious, and uh, anyone who advertises themselves as that is horrible. This is our downtime, our off time to offset the balance between battle after battle. What makes this game open world and you know non-linear is you can tackle any of the areas in the game at any point that you want to. So it's trying to be like a Pokemon anywhere. where you're catching Pokemon and, and battling with them, but it also wants to have Collecting monsters, but there's no the traditional like throwing some progression or, like, or object at it. And so in our <laughs> game, instead, what we've the, done oh is man, these scrimblows sir look hideous. DNA <laughs> as yeah, and these are not good sprite work. You DNA really needed something better than that. I'm sorry. Revive and resurrect these creatures to then, you know, have them. If your artwork team, reminds me of monsters from monster the LCD game the scanners. <laughs> So maybe take another pass no. just uh, in this game you just scan different steam pages uh -huh. <laughs> of creatures and so we just kind of thought like why not throw that into the players hands yeah like mm, their half of those are recolors class, great and also their design <sighs> look they, they, that's how you create variation mm. once we actually get into the battle encounters it is a team-based <laughs> battling system so you'll have four slots for your monsters and so you can have a four versus four uh, battle and this takes place on a three by two style grid oh my god this looks like one of those nightmare battle, battle systems that just the front you saw on a few super nintendo games systems, yeah dodging moves all right i'm drawing energy from chat angry that i mentioned scanners <laughs> no you're right to do it <laughs> that one that one second from the left mm -hmm, absolutely mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I was just looking at the one on the far right that was just a feral uh, ferret. Yep. <laughs> like nothing yes. else. Yeah, it's just it's just kind of angry and tall. <laughs> or long. Process of making it and becoming a better developer because of this game. What is scanners? Well, Irameshi, I would play the ad for you, but the battery on my yak back died. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's trying to be Battle Network, but it's obviously not. But it's weird Battle Network where there's a team. Yeah, no, that's not Battle Network ass because he's not controlling. Oh my, oh my god! god. Oh. Sounds of eating carrots. Oh, this reminds me of um, num, num, num. emo game. Uh huh. Which was a flash game from like 2003. Oh my they had god. Character portraits exactly oh. like that. I yeah. thought you were trying to yeah. figure out the name, not that it was called Emo yeah. Game. Yeah, he's talking about Emo Game. <laughs> Let's oh go. God. Meanwhile, for me, I'm like, this is like if you took and sighted and took the any graphics at all slider and just kept pulling it to the left. <laughs> Can you make it the least appealing thing a version of this possible? <laughs> Siri, please generate okay, the least I'll appealing try. version of this. <laughs> Let's throw it in that uh, AI generating software. Yes. <laughs> My name is Enrique. I'm a solo dev for Neon Blight, which is a small... Let me explain to you how we made this game. We're pretty sure we know how this is what this game is about. A huge passion project that I've built since I was 17. I describe Neon Blight as somewhat metro. You know, that's... You know what? <laughs> Maybe, maybe don't say that considering Field just said you reminded him of an emo game. God, what are those faces? Terrible. It is definitely a bullet hell, especially with the, the bosses and some other attacks. You go into a room and then you, you shoot everything you see without You know, covering the game industry back in like uh, the 90s and aughts, mm -hmm. it's like, wow, we have so many games coming out, so many new games keep coming out fast. You never really hear about a game for all that long and then it's out. 
Look at this large variety of things. A lot of these things look pretty near the top, even if they aren't made by top tier developers. Nowadays, it's like 95% if you cover all the streaming events. It's maybe it has a great personality. Trying to collect the ultimate weapon before, you know, something bad happens. It's a story that teases a lot of stuff. It makes the player question what kind of world they're in. I think it will lay the grounds for further expansion. Oh, face. I didn't ask for that today. Like, he made all of the money was 17 and he never update any portrait at all it's like i, I was i perfect that uh, i based time. all my character profi pro profile images off of uh memojis from ios yeah right i i love the summer gaming <laughs> it's so summer explore different shops talk to to some people yeah, Freedom Game I Showcase may be banned in the future. I don't know. Yeah, this is this is really bad. <laughs> I can't believe I wore my hot pepper swimming trunks for this. Yeah, did you guys even notice? I bet none of you looked at Eric's ass as he walked away. How Unbelievable. I did. I did. <laughs> well, thank you, KZ Man Respector, hanging out in chat. Thank you. Thank you for respecting men and appreciating men. I was like, oh shit, Eric's got a whole set going on. That's impressive. <laughs> There's robots also. I'm just going to cut to the full uh, cam and right. see if you can. You can barely see them. You can just right at the bottom of the yes. frame. <laughs> there you go, chat. The right, summer, gaming. Summer. summer gaming. Summer gaming. <laughs> summer. <laughs> that's, that's a little much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Eric's not a giant woman, so no, I didn't. <laughs> so, um, together, silently right? gray and chat going, tomorrow can't be worse than this, right? Dude. <laughs> I don't think it will be worse than this one right here. Uh, yeah. The the, the only saving grace of this whole day was the IGN Expo. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if we'll get that tomorrow. And to a lesser extent, the Netflix. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the, the Netflix for a different reason, but maybe yes. a more important reason. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Prepare your limbs, contestants. It's game day. Oh no. Wow, this is fucked up. Side scrolling Fall Guys. I mean, Fall Guys would be better if you died horribly when you failed. <laughs> yes. I, I can't believe they're finally making a sequel to Doritos Crash Course on 360. <laughs> I know, right? What took this long? Some have spoken out on social media to say that this section has been designed simply far too hard and it's cruel. What were they thinking? <laughs> what were they thinking? Ass! <laughs> Ass! Yeah, this is the best part of this show. <laughs> Meanwhile, Eric's like, oh, this looks like uh, Ogre Battle, and everyone else in chat is like, <laughs> it's ass! <laughs> it's ass! Uh, oh, good. The developer interview for this one's going to be so bad. I know. Yeah. Because it's like, that's literally all we need to see from this. That told us what the, what, what it was in every way it could. Tinkering around with game engines. I started putting games oh on the web. Is that a Switch hyper? It's a HyperX like, cloud uh, headset. Uh, 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 he went to a GameStop and it was like, yeah, that's is good enough. Anyway. I can do my interview on this. It's usually an area of frustration, but when you can see your, your character's head just flying up and blood's going everywhere, it's like, uh, <laughs> you just got nothing but humor there. Sure I come up with the idea of having like a Ninja Warrior slash Total Wipeout <laughs> death competition. I was actually working two jobs at the same time as developing the game. I'd have all these oh, fantastic shit. ideas while I was there. You know, What's wrong with HyperX Cloud, Bob? You're hearing it. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what else I need to say. This sounds worse than the worst co-host mics I've ever had. It's just flipped my life to where I want it to be. So to finally be able to do this as a job is just insane. I love it. Well, good for him, but okay. also, man, please invest in a be better mic. No, never. <laughs> a 
Okay, surely this is it. We're on the final game. This is the final leap and we're home. <laughs> I hope so. I don't want another 20 minutes. Yeah, it'd be tragic. And survive and craft stuff. Yeah. Wow. I've never heard of a game like this before. I'm yep. confused how all of the, like, most of these must do okay, because <laughs> otherwise they wouldn't keep making them. Yeah. One of the, one of the first buildings they showed them make was literally a building from SimCity 2000. <laughs> wow, these, the, the pro, they only showed the profile for a second, but these art, this art has the fluoride stare. It, yeah. it does, <laughs> but I still like the portrait art more than the game art. <laughs> Except him. Oh no! Oh no! Get out! <laughs> That's what you're it's me. complimenting. You're, it's me, your smoothest friend. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, he's got cooking. Flash, flash. Wait, there's something else to this? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm isn't it another? Now. That would be. What is the it, rest of this? The rest of this is a survival game where you build stuff. You're lying, damn it! I'm not. I wish I was. <laughs> You go to you go to a planet and you make the stuff. Oh, and you punch with mech. Right Wait, armor, go. Oh my god, that looks terrible. He's yeah, I know. That two was frames. three frames. <laughs> One lonely outpost. This year. Oh yeah, we saw this at some point. Before. That does sound like a familiar name. Good at making video games. My mom just sent me a fortune cookie said so. <laughs> yes. Like eight. My mom told me to make this game. <laughs> was, uh, like, here's a drawing you made saying you made a game, so now you make games forever. I just told myself, no, I, there's no way I could be in management. But through she handed me Night Destiny that day on a hastily scrawled napkin. Efforts, I overcame it. Now, <laughs> what was drawn on that napkin on that day was, in fact, dick butt. <laughs> through this process, I've really learned how valuable people are. There's 20 people on the team. I'm just one of them. And I'm hoping to convey some of that through the games. Oh my God, that diagonal walk cycle. <laughs> it's... I really... We gotta get out of here, Scoob. I really don't like your main character they keep using. Yeah, it's, it's really horrible. I can never tell how soon the shit being shown off is. Yeah, that's later this year. Mm -hmm. Even though it looks like it, no world should have come out this year. They're making a Duke Nukem movie? <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. From the, <laughs> the Cobra Hollywood Kai Port. creators, that's pretty oh, good. I mean, I that's so. a perfect pick. That's the boomer show. You, <laughs> it is the one. <laughs> it's great because they'll probably go with that Duke is washed up and everyone hates him take. <laughs> yeah, that's the only way you can do Duke at this point. Oh, this looks kind of neat. This is jump. like the best game in the show. What the fuck? I know, right? How did you get this? <laughs> All right, Switch good. between elemental armors. That's great. Does any of them have a giant? Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Isn't That's... that Saint outfit? I mean, it is so Saint <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, I was also kind of thinking of it. The iconic Knights of the Zodiac. I walked along the avenue. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird looking run cycle. It, it is. is. <laughs> it is literally what I thought it was. This tiny fucked up bear. <laughs> Art's pretty good at least. Nine years of shadows. We can wish wish. Of wish, course wish, it's no when you're done. Fuck. Right? Oh, never mind. It's Q4. Four. Okay. We're good. We're good. Anytime something's like wish list now, it doesn't say on the same screen. That's the only oh. game without a dev interview. <laughs> what in the world? Good. Hey, we wanted to do a dev interview with you. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't have a mic. I'm not going to ruin my life. <laughs> they're like, I don't have a camera. And they're like, oh, okay. okay. I guess Marshall we'll have to make, make an appealing part of the show instead of an unappealing part. So do you think you craft things in this? I'm absolutely certain you craft things. This... I'm really enjoying the ambient game showcase. <laughs> It's working. <laughs> this is the ambient day of Summer Games Fest. Yeah. This is I, I know. That's the shame, though. Uh, we have to go into playing a video game after this instead of going to sleep. <laughs> it's, why? It's Humanity. 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 
Humanity. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's and this one name. has a dev interview. Uh, no, go away, please. Hi, uh, my name is Yaz. <laughs> I like zombies. Ah, we know. Have you seen Daisy? What if I symmetric? What if I made the worst melee animations humanly possible? <laughs> Would that excite you? <laughs> Rush Stigenberg and Shed says, Humanit Zed. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe. Wow, you made it worse. Thanks. Everyone in, like, Canada and Britain are like, I don't understand this title. Uh, open world is one of the, the main things. Unlike us, we got it instantly. We got it. We're, we're good. We're very smart. Up to eight by eight kilometers, so people are gonna go uh, I'm bored again. I'm going to scale up this ass it even can, more. It cannot <laughs> render him driving the car. <laughs> it just started dropping frames like crazy. So there'll be obviously zombies. No there will obviously be zombies. Thank you. I hear every video game has to have zombies now. So I'm doing that. Random item spawners that are created for each building. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even see the viewers at all anymore. <laughs> what, what is that? Two marshmallows? <laughs> Chat going bigger. <laughs> two, 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 two Eskimos rolled their igloos up to each other. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my bicycle pump. Just start. Oh, the snowman fell over. You just felt like it'd be so much more. Oh no! <laughs> Have a community Jesus. of your sort of buddies, and you could sort of go different paths to sort of cater for the whole community. That one be a builder, one be a combat guy. Obviously, we still want to be able to see the game. Kind of so, yeah, you could kind of Obviously, see. there's so much so happening. The best for, like, there's zombies. We craft <laughs> stuff. We survive. You can't yeah, even fucking well, tell what it is. Water play style. When you die, you lose everything. To learn the lessons from the last time, and don't make the same mistakes again. Who knows, Excel Diamond? I, it could be anything. That was one thing we What's up, Phil? Yeah. Was was something like this game specifically? Uh -huh. I'm tr like, what is the motivation from the developer angle? Is it like I like these games, but there's these micro niche issues that I can't stand that I want to make a version of this that doesn't have those? I assume, yeah. Cause, cause there's no, there's not like I, I want to make a game that's like this that has my own story and aesthetic and stuff. Cause it doesn't have it either though. Yeah, I am struggling to see. Like with, with big companies, you can assume there's like some kind of bureaucracy where they follow like the path of least resistance. Right, but this is an indie guy. But, but if it's an indie thing, I'm like, what, what inspires you to make this? My tastes are just the most plain imaginable, but I still want to make creative things. I mean, Somet okay. Sometimes missionaries too quirky. <laughs> yes, that's right. Mark it off your bingo cards. <laughs> Dan compared having very vanilla taste to missionary again. <laughs> I, I know you have a flow chart. Oh, it's coming soon. Good. Wish list now. But this is going to be it. Though. This is the last. This, this is the last game. Surely this will be the last one. Stop giving you, me hope. The you freedom. made it to ask. <laughs> Sands of Aura gotten a show. Oh my god. Do you guys remember when I covered this? Oh, yes. oh, oh no. How could oh. I forget something with a name that terrible? The Sands have buried its kingdoms. What about the Aura, though? The Aura safe, though, right? I get to feel I get to feel sad again for Bob. Wait, it's, it's out? So we're just doing it up? Oh my god. What is this? Uh that's a giant pixel art ass in the corner. That's what this is. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry if that was unclear. It was. This looks this looks like one of those games that is an asset flip on Steam. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it feels. That's really unfortunate. I can't believe it ended up in a show. That's insane. I thought it would just be one of those things. Yeah, I played it on the, the Steam Next Fest because they'll let anything on there. <laughs>
Wait, it's in, uh, content up to, to early access? It's still not out with the, okay. Be excited. I'm so No, filled. you can't make me. <laughs> When's the next next fest? Next week, gently use coat. Oh, next God, week. I'm sorry. They got their their <laughs> red dot sights set on me. <laughs> Part of my brain went, should I try and get him? Like, no, that's Bob's gig. That would be disrespectful. Wasteland of sand that was caused by this spell plague from ancient. When I played it, we didn't they didn't have that boat thing at all. That sand boat seems neat. Um, okay. Maybe what they okay. I'm but sure that the gameplay is no better on, on the regular part of the game, though. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Kind of brutal. You guys looking for the wholesome direct? Kind of I am. After this, it'll be yeah. better than yeah, this. Yeah, absolutely. I'll I'll definitely see more games I'm interested in like I there than on average today. You, you know what sucks? I'm also at that point where I'm like, I remember significantly less interviews than that. Overcoming these challenges. Yeah. And usually, if an interview happened, it'd be like half the length of one of these. These bosses mm -hmm. are like the climax. This is like the 505 so event if that was so when you get there, we 10 games cool, long instead of amazing, three. Difficult and, and almost cinematic <sighs> encounters. Five, five, <laughs> the combat is not as instantaneous as a traditional action RPG. There's, there's I think the 505 was more spectacularly bad because it so you do have to be deliberate had a guy who could hardly speak uh, English. Oh, good. Do that dance. Yep. Try and explain a survival yeah. crafting game as if you've never heard of one before. Then the breathy host was too much. The, yes. The, honestly, the, I, 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 all of these are, everything's the gone except, uh, less punishing and they'll come less. Except the Saint Seiya uh -oh. looking game it's, we just saw. No, well that and, cause it was recent and I already forgot his, the Scrimblow's name. We talk point about the grind point difficult point the game can be yeah point p the, the, that's all that survived from today <laughs> i love that you had to write it in the big thick like, channel okay, i can kind of reassess myself i can think about what i want to do yeah we don't want to forget about point p and you can gain that'd be tragic if we then we'd be like everyone else on earth you see the whole horizon in front of you of and we can't be like that we have to prove our memory keep it alive that whatever feature you see out in the distance there's something there to go and explore there's something there, Bob. The simplest uh -huh. I could qualify how I <laughs> Oh my god! I think when you what was it? It's gone now. It's oh. not, something's out there. I don't oh. see anything, so I think you're lying. <laughs> there's a lot of gray tones. There's a lot something's of light out there. No, it's probably a Dosaku again. I think it's... Yeah! ...that are brilliant color and foliage and flowers. And... All the different things that you can see in the game, like everything has a meaning, a reason. Story, We're so purpose. sophisticated everything here. Has a, a, a reward. If it's Absolutely. A reward, mm -hmm. I mean, reward, whatever it is, or an NPC or a character, like there should be always be something. Somebody stuck me in a sensory deprivation chamber, and I'm like, time to make my own fine. <laughs> that's that's fair. Oh, it's still going. We want you to play. It lets you forge your play style. Make I've builds. And, and I, I know. I mean, whoa. I, mm, wait. Slow people. down, please. When make. What does that word mean? <laughs> that actually mixes up the gameplay. That actually makes you think about what so you're doing. So if you guys didn't know, this guy, this game also <laughs> wants to be a so Dark Souls sure game, and it's really, really bad at. Oh, that. I'm going to sleep. Character is as you I mean, earlier he was describing a boss innovatively as we want it to be like the climax of the level, so he should be big and cool. The rune system lets you go. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Like, let's say you want to be more armored, you get put in more armor runes. Armor runes. You do haste runes. But on top of those, there's Spellblade, which is an elemental enchantment. No, I will not be diving back in to like tell you about the updates for this game. I'm not going to buy this game. I played it on demo. <laughs> you can have big hat and big pants. Set effects. That make the gameplay and very please cover the eyes. Yeah. Why? Weapon, there's weapon heads that have an effect. There's the weapon handles that affect the animation and have effect. Are you and then serious? You have to make that okay. All have like a poisoning effect, or like when you hit an enemy, there's projectile. So remember the insanely convoluted so weapon so system for Vagrant play. Story? Was was cram it in here. Going forward, this is great. Big wow. So going to be a lot that you can check. Hey Spiff. Worth hey Spiff. Uh, Oh, how's, how's it going? Team yes, this is traditional. I'm proud of our team. I'm proud traditional of our team. clothing. Everybody enjoys it. And yeah, we're all ready for Florida. Mm -hmm. Hey, Spiff, guess what this conference is? I think it's. Yeah! <laughs>
Is that it must be over now, right? Yeah, I'm sure that that what stands no. more is how you end a conference. Please. No, it's okay. This one's the last one. Oh, we done. I think we're done. It seems like yeah. You know what I remember about the last Freedom Games? It was 20 minutes and we're like, why is it already over? Oh wait, maybe there's one final thing. Maybe it'll be something instead of nothing. It's right, this looks one. neat. Oh wow, uh, it's, uh, I mean... Maybe it has a great personality! <laughs> uh, so, Tyrant's Blessing? It's a... It seems like a strategy game that's using something like, um into the breach type mechanics where you can like slam people into things. Yeah. Yeah, I played a chunk of that. Yeah, yeah, it is like that. I wish the art weren't so rough. But that's the case for most of the games we've seen in Bob, this row. you're superficial. Yeah. It has a great personality. <laughs> that is true. I'm playing Spoink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know you are. My favorite mascot, Spoinpy. Definitely not Spoinpy. Spoinpy. Oh shit, I'm ranked two. Whoa. You rank up in Spoinpy? Yeah, it gets you new abilities. At least that seemed like a game that people could like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't just. Yeah. Brutally, like, yeah. this is for the dev alone. <laughs> Man, this, yeah. this really is Don't Starve. Yeah, I was gonna say Don't Starve looking at. But vampires. Whoa. Okay. Mega Man Extreme 2 is canceled. Only Point <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Legit, though, we are gonna play Point before we get into Mega Man Extreme 2. <laughs> Man, if only a dev here was able to talk to me about this game for 10 minutes on a run. Interrupted. I don't think I can figure out that it's a farming slash crafting game where you play as a vampire. Slash tower defense, maybe? They're like they're like a vampire. Have you read the books? <laughs> Yo, Mor Morb, Morb Jr. <laughs> the vegan vampire. Hey kids, you're I'm Face and you're watching <laughs> Morb Jr. <laughs> Going insane. Okay, so he's one of those he's one of those Chinese clay soldiers and he's coming to life. A terracotta. Yeah, terracotta army. Yeah. So so this is the third mummy film? Yes. Okay. No, Dan, it's just it, Made by some Western studio who only knows what the Terracotta Army is if you ask them what China is. <laughs> That's how this happens. How's that different from the third mummy film? It's not. Oh no! <laughs> China is rock, soldiers, and big wall. Yay. <laughs> the big wall of China. It seems like there's some neat ideas for puzzles they've yeah. shown. I, again... I'm this sure looks it has really bad a great <laughs> visually. Personality. <laughs> you just fucking called the terracotta. Are yes. you insane? Oh, well, they've just given up on developer interviews. Thank God. Thank God. Those were the worst part. What? What am I looking at? Um, space taxi tank. Open world. I feel oh, immersed. Wait, what? This is not an immersive open world. I'm sliding around as a portrait. What are you thinking? You can't yes. just say <laughs> words. Is this Unlimited Saga? <laughs> this is making me go insane. Oh, this is oh. like saying there's what an immersive the, open world and voice this, of cards. What, what the in the world? world? What? This is that RPG I played on Congregate in 2013. <laughs> right? <laughs> what is going on? Okay, but seriously, that dude is more core, right? Yes. Oh, yes. 100%. Okay. <laughs> Are you telling me there's crafting, too? And it's card-based crafting. Card-based crafting. Card -based crafting. Building? Oh, man. Fucking epic. Sunny. Sunny and Sunny 2. Those were the games on Congregate I played. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. You ever just feel like screaming and never stopping? <laughs> 
But Dan, what if you had to survive and craft in I'm space? Going back to, I'm going back to point. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I think about crafting in space. I've made my stance clear. <laughs> charge oh yeah definitely you know you know the poipy is gonna just be a battery drainer oh yeah 100 uh, percent. this is like a resource hop this is probably using the new version of metal you know <laughs> doing that background data streaming tech spiff has no idea who spoipy Spoi is how did you miss out on spoipy they're obviously a revolutionary new icon yeah. in gaming yeah spoipy the future of spoipy and spoink <laughs> Oh no, it stopped working. Did the game kill? The stream killed itself. It did it on both sides. It's just oh. IGN shitting their pants. Uh, again. Blood and zombies. Oh, and zombies? In How one generous. game? Oh. Please don't wow, die. Please You're don't die. You're done. Oh my god. It's four o'clock. Why do you still show games? Honestly, what the <laughs> Watch various streams of gameplay? What? 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 I mean, wants, did, wait, what, what did kind it say of that? game is this? What? Okay, it's different games. Okay. Oh, okay. Jesus. Coromon's been out for a bit, hasn't it? Yeah, because the boss this, played this that. Is, this is like a, was, this is like yeah. a fundraising thing, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. okay, I remember seeing Coromon in the last Freedom Game stream. Where we're like, okay, wow, this is a montage, so I, think, uh, so I think we're about to be done. Thank you. Yeah, man. Do we want to crown this the worst? <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is... No. <laughs> oh, wow. This is bad, but I'd say it was one of the... In the bottom half of the bad ones today. This and Trebekah really blend together. <sighs> Neither had games I wanted to play, but I guess this had one. Is that it? Is that it, Rooster? Please. Let us free, you cock! <laughs> For me, playing games is like building memories. We're pouring our passion into this game, and it motivates me. This is like twice as long as the Rebecca game show, like though, isn't it? Surreal it? I'm pretty sure. I come from a background that has nothing to do with video games. Yeah, Trebekah was probably the worst because it didn't it didn't have uh, certain assets. It had a the really, show had. really pompous nature to everything in it. Yeah. Wow, who would have thought their stream it, over splash screen would have been that? Did yeah, you expect that over there? Is, 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 wow. That. Wow. Whoa. That's incredible. Bigger. <laughs> There's not much space. Come on. <laughs> yeah, they make it larger and all you're going to see is the crack. <laughs> They're like, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and start the poll for chat. And then we can do our rankings while they vote, and then you guys can get the fuck out of here, and we can start <laughs> yeah. a normal fucking Friday live stream. This is about when we would go live for ours, too. Yeah. That's fucked up. Uh, all this did got... was just remove sleep. <laughs> right? Like, all of it. Mm. This has been an interesting stream. I mean, Toge got so much taller in the middle there. Yeah. <laughs> she did. <laughs> Freedom Games Showcase. A, B, C, D, or F? Uh, Bob. I'm trying to not just rate everything today in F, but it's so hard. <laughs> it's it okay. So save, save, save the optimism for tomorrow. I'd say F+. Plus. Okay. It got substantially better when it just started showing trailers. Yes, that helped. And but there, there was, was so much death of, of the dev interview about a game that's self-explanatory. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I'm going to let it sit in an F. There's one game I wanted to play, but that's it. And it was an hour. So an F? Yeah, an F. KZ. F minus the worst one we've seen. I can't even tell if I liked the later parts where there weren't interviews because I feel like part of it was me coping. <laughs> uh, feel. F, I, I, I won't remember a single thing of it in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna try to grasp onto that uh, Saint Seiya armor <laughs> thing. That's it. Yeah, yeah that's oh. good because the only thing I could grab onto <laughs> is um, Symphony of War. You know, yeah, I yeah. thought it was a really interesting game. I I bet Fire Emblem fans will be really happy. It had like a huge array of mechanics. Yeah, and it seemed classes. like it was bustling with yeah. mechanics mm. and yeah, unit I types. I feel like there's at least one feature they could port to a Fire Emblem game. People would be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least one feature. I could think of a couple. <laughs> Just like one or two. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give it an S F plus because of that. I'm very upfront about this. <laughs> Legit, though, that game actually did look good. It had hideous art yes. styles all over it, though. I know. Like, if that game actually visually looked nice, I'd be all for it. But, Same. oh, man. Yeah. There's like that one cork to it that's like, okay, that that you're doing something interesting. Am I looking at Pixel Booty? No, that's two scoops of ice cream. What are you, <laughs> fucking weirdo? <laughs> They're melting. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I have a reference image for this game. I mean Is the F? Let me let me check real quick. What what are you talking about? The ice cream? You yeah. say ice really weird. <laughs> Anyways. Uh sorry, it's my accent. Okay, anyways, here's here's uh, the game. <laughs> As you can see, it seemed cool. There are interesting unit types. <laughs> it's, it's even better. I bet better. that one has more health. It's even better when you cut to the wide. I know, Spiff! That was the funniest fact! It's just like, while they have a giant lady, in two seconds on screen, she just goes swing and it goes whoop. Yes. Somebody Boy. in the Foley room just picks up sheet metal and just... <laughs> <laughs> none, none, night, night. Ass! <laughs> oh man, who the heck did this? I don't remember the developer's name. Symphony of War is such a bad title that I remember it because of that. Oh, it was some other really generic something Nephilim for the subtitle? Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Once again, want to do a shout out. Make sure you guys are following Feel and KZ. Uh, Hell yeah, we were we were here. <laughs> we made a we made a career choice. <laughs> Mr. Feel was last playing Canis Br Bridge of Spirits. I didn't yeah. even know that. <laughs> yeah, that's when my SSD exploded in the middle of a stream. Oh my oh. god. Oh no. It's, it's fine. I had a spare right there because I expected that to happen. Plug it right in. So that's going to do it for today's summer of gaming 2022. Um, tomorrow we're coming back with more. Yeah, of course. I'm, I'm much more optimistic about tomorrow, frankly, because Netflix was about as bad as you could expect, and I didn't even expect it to be that bad, but they found a way to. <sighs> Really moved the goal. Yeah. <laughs> I'm st it was funny as shit. I was like, cool, they're going to announce I, the animated stuff I'm interested in. They're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> We're announcing fucking games, <laughs> idiot. Yes, we got a phone games. Is, which I make no promises I'm showing up for Gorilla Collective. That shit's at 9 a.m. for me. Yeah, yeah that that's sucks. fair. Actually, I think it's at 8 a.m. for you because here in the schedule, it says 10 a.m. Yeah, I, I'm one hour before you. Oh, right, right. Oh, okay, I thought you were two. Oops. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, the whole, really puts I, me I, in pain. I, I expect the Wholesome Direct to be the best thing tomorrow. Tomorrow is really dark. <laughs> I, I'm excited to see the future of play events, the one where they constantly get voice actors to play off each other, right? Um, or is that the future, future game, game show. showcase? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, so that one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, so that's tomorrow. I'm excited to see exactly how they do that this year. That's going to be fun. Let's see if Whether or not it's a good back. showcase, who knows? That's up in the air. Wholesome Direct, I expect to see at least three games I'm legitimately very interested in. Gorilla Collective sometimes gets good stuff. They just are horrible at representing it. So maybe they'll cross that bridge yeah. and figure out how to do it. We don't know. Maybe they'll die in the snow fight. <laughs>
Maybe. <laughs> no, that, I'm sorry. That the, the, the dying of snow fight won't happen until the second Gorilla Collective event on Monday. Mm. <laughs> Uh, and of course that starts tomorrow at 10 a.m central daylight time <laughs> eric winces no i'm awake at that time yeah luke, good good for you yeah will good eric return <laughs> yeah will eric return in summer of gaming events day three uh we'll see uh? i will oh, oh, i'll oh, think oh. about it okay uh but I want to thank Phil and KZ for making it through because, oh boy. Yeah. No, I, I'm, yeah, it was uh, a little uh, bit rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm was. looking forward to tomorrow where it'll end and I'll start crying and pissing and going, please, <laughs> Xbox, please, please. Xbox is like, we're so happy to announce nothing. <laughs> and then they just lock guys with the camera. <laughs> nothing for, <two> for 50 <laughs> minutes. And then Phil Spencer <laughs> walks across the stage, <laughs> looks at the other camera. <laughs> Then I start mummifying until Nintendo tweets. <laughs> Please, uh, Nintendo, you're the only thing that can actually save us here. I know. Yeah, I know. It's at least that, that Capcom show on Monday, at least it was for Street Fighter, which oh. is dope. Yes. Okay, sure. Yeah, the, yeah. The that's... Capcom thing's going to be great. 